Now we're good. So I should fix my tracking again. That wants to be annoying. Did I have achievement? No, okay. So I don't think there's any other quests to do. Wait. Oh yeah, I died. Not about that. <laughs> Let's go heal real quick. I should really go heal. Okay. I'm still switching characters around, so... Let's go do this thing. I'm just gonna get my stamina up just in case. Blow up three exploding barrels. Oh, I didn't get that. Oh, I did. Okay. I ho was hoping that would be fighting. But it was not. Mm, I think we can forego the lost and found report. Does that count towards that? Oh yeah, that hasn't reset yet. <laughs> I should go get these things, where are they? Above me, below me. Keep you know what, let's go fight. Okay. And a lean team, level one characters. <laughs> Fuck. Well, I fell down here. <laughs> I plunged into it. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I can hit multiple at the same time. I could use the wood anyway. I need the drops. Oh, then you able to pass. They didn't seem they dropped anything. Oh. Wait, how am I supposed to go there? Unless... Can I hit it, please? Ah, that is south. Okay. Yeah. What did I trigger? Oh, that's NPC again. The story behind it. Tartaglia? What? What am I doing now? Place the object. <laughs> oh wait, right here. That looks like a better spot anyway. Okay. <laughs> well, it is all she says. <laughs> My mom's really old. <laughs> Okay, what's down here? There's not really anything down here. That's disappointing. Any rocks to break? Um, no. That was disappointing. Now I need more stamina. Okay, we're good. Can't get enough stamina to get out, yes. Those are big birds. I'm trying to find things that fight. Some arrow might be better for that. Hilly turtle specifically. Oh, what are they doing here? Mining.
But it's not a treasure hoarder. Actually, what does Navia need? I might not keep Traveler in there. May or may not. Let's level Navia. Okay, now I need to fight these. Ice wind spike. The suits, whatever. I need to fight this thing. Okay. It is this way. Actually, I could follow the path that way. Other way. Oh, there's a viewpoint. Is it this one? Oh no, but it can take me there. This one can take me right there. Okay. Is this it? Uh, okay. I don't know which one I need. Uh, hold on. I need spare clockwork. The heart like one. I need this one. Uh, so I assume that one maybe? I don't know what I'm doing here. Hopefully fighting. Yeah, it is fighting, okay. One with the force. Let's light it up. Judgment is upon us. Their penance is due. Fuck. Oh, then again, I'm going to die a lot because of my world level. I should lower it back down. <laughs> Do 
Fuck this. Fuck that. I don't think I can lower it yet. In five hours I can. <laughs> I'm not doing that one. I need to do it. But, ah. Good deeds and bad. In the end, all will be placed upon the scale. I like how he did that, and then his idle animation did this. Can I enhance his weapon anymore? Oh no, I need these. Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday. It is Monday. <laughs> I still can't get the this to level it up. So let's see other characters. I think it was this team. I see why it's rough now. <laughs> oh, that's the one I'm using right now, though. Oh, it has Dendro. As a bonus. Huh. Okay. Mess. Let's use, let's try this team again. Actually, I remember the direction for it now. I'll try fighting them again. Probably not going to go very well yet again. We will see. We will very much so see. Surrender! Through me, 
Let me heal real quick. Guilty. He's staying condemned. In death. I was not dodging there. Leave it all to me. Fourth, my blade. Fuck, I'm trying to dodge that. I'm out of stamina right now. No, I'm good. I must leave no stone unturned. I should heal a little bit. Time to clean up. I'm doing so little damage to him now. I gotta wait five hours before I can lower my world level though. Thanks for the follow. How goes it? Let's light it up. I'm very badly, just barely. Uh, I'm barely just getting by on this. Let me get Bennett's ult. There we go. The point of this is to try to level up my characters a little bit. I need to level my world level, but I can't for five hours. Full well, six hours, basically. Your is due. It all to me. Let's heal some. Yep, as a good night show. Someone needs Fuck. assistance. I can patch myself up. Before I die, let's do this. Okay, this is harder at my world level here. I need to level up my characters first. I must leave no stone unturned. Okay. There we go. One with my blade. From whence you came. 
Die? No. I'm going in. Let's light it up. Surrender. Through me, justice is served. I keep using all this food. Leave it out to me. Fourth, my blade. Spirit blade. Attack. The scourge Fuck. of evil remains. That's what killed me. This is hell. Needing to use all this food on them. So the so little damage I'm doing. That basically, you know what? I don't care anymore. Bye. That's hell. Oh my world level where it is. I'm not doing that one right now. level them up anymore or I can I just gotta do the other things for it. Ah. And then for him I need to fight the bird thing and to get more flowers. Oh yeah I could craft these. Okay. Let's see. You know, I could do some quests. I have to, would have to do this one. Let's do it. This A of Raiden. I suppose one did too. If the Tenryo Commission won't assist in dealing with the thunderstorm, the consequences could be catastrophic. It's well, not that we're unwilling to do our part. We just don't have any spare hands right now. Exactly. So let's keep the discussion going and see if we can find a solution. Hey, Toma! What's going on? Ah, hello, you two. We were just talking about what an impact you've made in Inazuma. Greetings. What a Thank coincidence. Thank you for delivering Miss Hiroki's <laughs> letter that time. Ah, so they're friends of yours. I'm Master Kamaji's servant. Call me... I well, the Tri Commission's work used to consist of gathering information for the Shogun and carrying out any duties she assigned. But recently, she announced that she wishes to spend some time in solitude and self-reflection. Since she is refusing to receive any visitors, there is no one to tell us what to do. We all understand if the Shogun needs some quiet time to gather her thoughts. The only problem is, in the meantime, the thunderstorm out at sea has been getting wilder. Yep, that's the one. And all the time it's been there, the storm has never changed in shape or size. But now, it seems to be drawing closer to Inazuma. What? 
So her will's changed and she wants to destroy Inazuma now? Or is this her way of trying to get revenge on? Uh, nah, uh She lost to us. Paimon's not scared. <laughs> Why would Paimon be scared? Paimon's just, you know, a little concerned that she might be angry. Yeah, that's all. Just a little concerned. <laughs> I don't think you need to worry about that. The reason we're concerned is that we've never known the Almighty Shogun's will to falter before. Considering Liyue's god left not too long ago, it's hard not to take it as a bad sign. A lot of people now believe that the thunderstorm is getting wilder because the Almighty Shogun is having health problems. The fact that she won't see anyone right now makes us concerned that things are only going to get worse. Right. So, before rumors start spreading, Miss Kamisato got me to come here and discuss countermeasures with the Tenryo Commission. We need to make sure we're prepared to deal with the chaos if and when it arrives. Unfortunately, the reality is that the Tenryo Commission is facing huge internal instability at the moment. The Kujo clan has lost control over the other clans. The Kujo clan is still awaiting the Shogun's trial for colluding with the Fatui and nearly destroying the whole of Inazuma. Everyone knows that a change of commissioner is inevitable. It's just a matter of time before the Almighty Shogun hands down her decree. To put it simply, no one will take orders from the Kujo clan anymore, but there's still work that has to be done. <sighs> if Mr. Takayuki was in better health, there might be a way through. But now? My lack of ability is to blame. I failed to uncover the truth in time, and I failed to stop my father. And now, as acting head of the clan, I'm failing to quell the unrest. Don't blame yourself, Master. You have to at least keep your chin up until your older brother returns. The Kujo clan can't cope with any more instability in its current state. Yes, you're right. Masahito has enough on his plate at the moment. It mustn't cause any more issues for him. Okay, Toma, let's revisit this discussion in a few days. Right now, I need to go visit Takatsukasa Susumu, head of the Takatsukasa clan. He's the only one capable of taking charge of the situation now. <sighs> I suppose. Well, okay, no problem. A speedy resolution to the Tenryo Commission's internal issues is in our best interest as well. I'll come with you, Master. No need. I'll handle this by myself. Oh, uh, okay. Take care, then. Come back soon. If you think about it, both the thunderstorm situation and the issue with the Tenryo Commission have been caused by the Shogun's decision to take some time. If things carry on like this, people will start to panic. Huh? You can actually do that? Don't know for sure, but we may as well try. Whether she takes us up on the offer or not will depend on what mood she's in. Sounds like you guys know what to do. Uh, shall I leave it up to you, then? Uh, you know, everyone's worrying about the Shogun's condition, but if people got to see her in person, it would put their fears to rest. <sighs> Thank you very much. I owe you one, again. The way Paimon sees it, there's only one person who might have the chance to see the Shogun while she's isolating, right? Let's take a trip to the Grand Narukami Shrine! Oh, that's up there, okay. This quest is up here, okay. Now, Miko's probably at the tree. I wasn't expecting to receive VIP shrine visitors during downtime. <laughs> so I suppose you're here just to visit me? What a smooth talker. Though your eyes <laughs> do not lie as convincingly as your tongue. You came because you need my help, didn't you? Still... Your answer has put me in a good mood. So tell me, what is the matter? We heard the Shogun decided to take a break, and since then the thunderstorm around Inazuma has gotten wilder. Rumor has it that the thunderstorm is affected by the Shogun's will, so people are... <sighs> <laughs> Alright, 
There's little purpose in keeping anything hidden from you anyway. Since the battle, the Shogun has been greatly troubled and her temperament has changed drastically. What? Her power was already on the decline. Then you dealt her that fateful strike. The defeat was a heavy blow to her. It also didn't help that I forgot to bring her some tricolor dongo and light novels when I went to see her. Oh, the poor thing. Without desserts and books to console herself <laughs> with, she was so angry she quite simply lost it. Crying and ranting and raving. Desserts! <laughs> oh, I could hardly bear to see her that way. You expect us to believe that a god would throw a temper tantrum over something like that? <laughs> Before you get too indignant, consider the fact that your concerns sound every bit as nonsensical to me as that blatant lie did to you. Faye seeks eternity. To her, mortal lives come and go in the blink of an eye. Of what consequence to her are mortal concerns for her well-being? Uh, you're saying she's fine, right? I don't know the details. She said she wanted to rest, and I have nothing pressing that requires her attention. So there is no reason to disturb her. I have heard about the thunderstorm, though. As to the cause, it is not inconceivable that, as you suggest, her will has wavered somewhat. I am the only one in all of Inazuma who can visit her while she is resting. But tell me, why should this concern me? The why people of Inazuma. <laughs> I like that answer. Here is the pass permit. Show it to the Okuzumeshu at the gate. And he will let you in. Thanks, Miko. My question was in jest, but since you answered it in earnest, please stay true to your word. Oh, and don't forget to return the pass permit to me after you have finished with it. I need to do this quest anyway. Go over here. The Almighty Shogun has requested solitude. No visitors allowed. Oh, we've got a pass permit from Miko. Don't be ridiculous. Lady Guji never gives her pass permit to another person. Not even esteemed travelers like your Guji Yai is only authorized to hold that pass permit because of the trust that the Almighty Shogun places in her and her alone. Wait, this is authentic. Understood. Then, as the Shogun has ordered, I must not stand in your way. Apologies. Please proceed. Since the Shogun is resting at this time, please be especially respectful and make sure your behavior is- I can skip the message. Okay, bye. <laughs> Are we fighting again? Look how she's pacing back and forth. Don't you think she looks a little anxious? Oh, I'm not fighting, I don't think. Yeah, let's walk. That nah, doesn't really matter. Huh? How did you get in? Trespassers are to be eliminated at once. Wait, no, it's us! Why are you treating us? We made amends, didn't we? Also, we got in by totally legitimate means! Denied. Use of force has been forbidden. <sighs> Anyway, be gone. Do not disturb my solitude. That is of no concern. This is my recuperation state. Uh, what do you make of this? She's acting strange. This body has no need of rest. But I am an assistant to the one within. If she wishes to rest, I must follow her will. Paimon gets it. So this is all Anne's doing. But why? Surely you going about your business doesn't interfere with the plane of Euthymia. She's got plenty of space in there. Seems like it would be the perfect place for rest and relaxation. I do as she wishes. I can say no more than this. Why not put their minds? In my current state, even if I went out, I could do nothing. I am currently unwilling to deal with any business. I am also incapable of it. What do you mean by that? Hmm. Well, we're fighting. 
please refrain from making me talk any further. <sighs> what should we do? It feels like this conversation... Oh, it's you two. It's been a while. The Shogun can't do much at the moment. Come straight in and see me. Ah! Hello! <laughs> Shut up, I mind. It's not your first time. I don't see what there is to be so alarmed about. So, is the Shogun broken? I don't Shut up, I mind. The Shogun's not broken. I've just temporarily disabled many of her functions. Currently, the Shogun is unable to handle any business and cannot appear as me. So the easiest solution was to announce that I am resting. As I said, I need to think about Inazuma's eternity. And thinking takes time. But the Shogun is still running based on her old rules. I can't allow her to make any mistakes while I am working things out. Have you tried turning it off and on again? No. Shut up, I'm on. She was not created to ever be turned off. Furthermore, I had even predicted at the time that I may wish to modify the Shogun's operational rules at some point in the future. However, such changes would not be conducive to eternity. That's why the Shogun has a robust system to safeguard against modification. It's also to protect against unforeseen circumstances. For now, while I figure out the form that Eternity should take, it's more effective for me to temporarily disable some of the puppet's functions, rather than attempt to modify her rules. Oh, Paimon gets it now! The thunderstorm's getting out of control because some of the Shogun's functions have been disabled! Hmm? The thunderstorm is getting out of control? This is the first I've heard of it. Huh? Okay, well, let us bring you up to speed. We tell A about the thunderstorm. Hmm, I see. So the thunderstorm is drawing closer. You can fix it, right? It's just a minor error. This kind of thing was bound to happen. A small modification to the Shogun should fix it. Don't look at me like that. I've never had to tinker with the Shogun before, and she's very complicated. It's practically inevitable for something to go wrong when you start tweaking things. Yes, that's it. I'm not making excuses. It's the truth. Oh, you're it's making excuses? Fine. Just as long as you can fix it is all. <sighs> not much. As before, I can see the way forward, yet there are still contradictions. But there is no urgency. To reach an ill-conceived verdict in haste just for the sake of having reached one, would be a confusion of priorities. Hmm? Why we go for a walk? If everyone sees that the Shogun is in good health, it'll put all the speculation and rumors out there to rest! And who knows? A change of scenery might put you in a different mood and give you some fresh inspiration! Uh, you mean... leave the plane of Euthymia? It's you unnecessary, left it alone. as far as I'm concerned. But since you're inviting me, a change of pace might well be nice. All right, then. I'll come out for a while. Oh, since the theme of the day is a change of pace, you can just call me A. I'm not a great fan of rigid titles. What? But you're just A's conscious- I have my ways. I would never subject myself to imprisonment voluntarily. Oh, great! Then there's nothing to worry about! Allow us to be your tour guides. Tour guides? What's a tour guide? Someone to show you around the Inazuma of today and give you tips on where to eat and how to have fun. All right, let's. All right, Paimon. <sighs> There's a familiarity to the scent in the air and the firmness beneath my feet. Hmm. Now, time for a change of pace. Where should we go? To the liveliest place in town! Which is where? Where is the liveliest place in town? I'm on. <laughs> I gotta go... <laughs> Level up my stamina with Inazuma, or not Inazuma, I mean in Monsanto, anyway. Uh oh. 
It tells me that now. I gotta do this quest, okay. You get him out of the quest. I gotta finish this one. I just want to get the quest out. I just want to get this quest over with. Hopefully it's just chatting. I really hope it's just chatting and just get through it. I really just want to get through this. Okay. We don't care about reading this. I just want to get this through. I really want to get through this. I think what I might do is have another account to actually slow down and enjoy things a little bit more. Other than Archon quests. The little quests. I don't think I can do this quest yet, can I? No, not that. Oh, I can. This is the quest I want to do. Oh, is this the marketplace? It's a far cry from how I remember it. Oh, the stores have changed, and so have the vendors. Well, that's to be expected. It's the Shogun. What is the almighty Shogun doing here? Uh, isn't the Shogun sick? This is quite sudden. Uh, I appear to have frightened the people. Well, what did you expect? The almighty Shogun makes an impromptu appearance in town? People are gonna freak out a bit. Patrolling the streets is the Tenryo Commission's job. The Shogun has a lot of information to process and orders to give out. She doesn't have time to deal with it herself. Additionally, the Shogun has no need of recreation. There would be no need for her to come here just to pass the time or to relax. So, what do we do now? Should we go away for a while and make a more low-profile return later? Why? It's not like I'm here to cause trouble. Let's just relax. It was more the ordinary people that Paimon was worried about. I... Never mind. This definitely seems like your style, eh? People still use Mora in commercial transactions, I assume. Yep, same as ever. Just as shiny and just as hypnotic. Wait a second. Hey, are you saying you don't have any Mora either? Of course I don't. There is no need for commerce <laughs> in the plane of Euthymia. Hey, look, another if broke archon. Something, I can simply have one of the commissions bring it to me. Wait, what do you mean, either? Anyway, Zongli. people seem to be behaving in a very orderly fashion. I don't see the liveliness you spoke of anywhere. Uh, people aren't 
exactly gonna let their hair down in front of the almighty Shogun? <laughs> what is this doll selling? I don't believe I've ever seen this before. <laughs> What is this stall selling? What's the shogun doing here? What am I supposed to do in this situation? I'm so n Sh Shogun, I uh <laughs> excuse me. It's all right. Relax. I'm just here to look around. I'm having a change of pace today. Could you tell me about the items you're selling? Of course. I've got all kinds of snacks here. Takoyaki, dango, and uh, uh milk and so on. Huh? Milk? Sounds kind of like the odd one out. It might sound odd, but it is in fact my specialty. You see, many of the stores in town are already very well established. I couldn't compete with them no matter what I sell. So my idea was to create some new combinations to give customers a novel experience. For example, my latest concoction is this dango milk. When the dango are worked into a viscous form, they mix very nicely with the milk. The focus is not just the taste, but also the unique texture. Oh, dango with milk. Hmm, I've never heard hmm. of it. What made what you want, made to, you do want this? to do this? Uh, I'm sorry, Shogun. I've got no bone to pick with eternity. I said relax. There's no need to go treading on eggshells. Do you really think the eternity I pursue is something that can be shaken by dango and milk? Huh. Why do I feel like... She's different than I expected. Actually, it came to me by chance. A friend was catering once and made too many dango, so they gave some to me. But there were more than I had used for. My milk wasn't selling well at that time either. And both dango and milk have a short shelf life. So I thought I'd try mixing the two as I had nothing to lose. To my surprise, in the right proportion, it tasted superb. A chance combination. Hmm. Interesting. May I try this drink? The Almighty Shogun wants to try? Well, well certainly. And you two should try it too. We drink the dingo milk slowly. Mm. Nice. It's sweet. <laughs> the sensation is not so different from eating a dessert. <laughs> a unique beverage indeed. Yeah, it's definitely a drink, but it also feels like eating food. Hmm, it's a little bit like... Uh, porridge? Mm, but the resemblance is only superficial. Anyway, I like it. I'm very glad you approve. I imagine that an item as delicious as this dongle milk must sell exceptionally well, no? <laughs> well, I won't lie to you. Sales are very average. Huh? So it's selling slowly? Why is that? Uh, because most people aren't willing to give it a try. They think it's an unusual combination. Even though everyone has tried it before, rates it highly. But I'm not saying the Almighty Shogun has unusual desserts. taste. <laughs> Who really Please, says that? don't take it the wrong way. Ah, oh, I see. Well, that can be fixed. I'll just have the Yashiro Commission order a few hundred cups and go door to door delivering them. <laughs> no, 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 Almighty Shogun, that's too much. Is it? I just want them to try it. It would be a shame for them to miss out on Dongo milk. <laughs> I... Uh... <laughs> oh, I would l uh, No. No need. That would be needlessly indulgent. <sighs> There's nothing like dessert for improving one's mood. Much more enjoyable than meditating alone all the time. By the way... Miko mentioned that she founded something called the Yai Publishing House. <laughs> some sort of light novels. She's always bragging to me about it, but it's difficult for me to really imagine without seeing the place for myself. Can you take me there? Sure! Let's go and have a look! Yeah, let's go over here. 
If I don't keep running out of stamina. Shogun! Uh, Almighty Shogun! What brings you to the Yai Publishing House? Do you have instructions for us? No, not at all. Don't be so nervous. I'm just here to look around. Apologies. I still don't quite understand. Are you here to look into the management? Or publishing regulations? Or fire safety measures? Uh, she just wants to browse your books. The Almighty Shokin wishes to... read light novels? Yes. Any recommendations? Um, the Yai Publishing House's novels are mostly targeted at the general public. And the content is all kinds of strange. I'm not sure we have anything quite to the almighty Shogun's taste. I'm just here to try something new. There's no fun in reading the same kind of thing over and over again. Relax. It's just words on a page, isn't it? What could I misunderstand, really? In principle, you're absolutely right. It's just... It'll be fine. If there's anything the Shogun doesn't understand, we'll explain it to her. Well, okay then. Uh, please proceed to the bookshelf over there. It has all the latest bestsellers. There are some winning entries from the This Novel is Amazing competition. Uh, I have just this finished novel the is amazing. Available form. Um, <laughs> don't take them too seriously. It's all just a bit of fun. Okay, let's go then. Huh. How can this be? <laughs> Did I underestimate the caliber of this material? I know every individual word in these books' titles, so why is it that they make no sense to me in these particular combinations? Take this one, for example. The good thing about being reincarnated as a hilly churl is that I only need to eat sunsetias to become stronger. <sighs> it's so long! Is it true that hilly churls grow stronger from eating sunsetias? Well, surely it should be some sort of meat, at least. It's just a narrative device. Narrative device. It's imaginary. It's whatever so they also want it to be. Made up? What's the point of that? Without being grounded in reality, how can the story be believable? Also, I'm fairly certain that Hilly Churls can't write stories. So, does this author claim to be documenting Hilly Churl life from an outside perspective, perhaps? Uh, Paimon's starting to understand Kuroda's reservations right about now. Uh, how about we choose for you? We can pick out some novels that are easier to understand and give you the scoop. Oh, yeah, why don't we? I believe myself to be relatively well-read, but with stories like these, I don't even know where to start. I have high hopes, though. This seems like Nico's style, so I'm sure the stories are very entertaining. All right, leave it to us. We'll be back in a jiffy. Pick a book for Raven it to read. Be a pretty tough job. Let's see what we're up against. The UA Monster Arts Daily Life Romance. Uh... There you go. Be born as Raiden. No. With a premise like this, it's no wonder Kuroda was. Uh, Hyman thinks yeah. it might be best not to bring this one up with A. We might get the author in trouble. Well, if I'm gonna pick another one. And did a bunch of stuff, then I wanna do another one. Maybe this one. The romance or the other one? Ah, the suspense is... Paimon only skimmed through, but Paimon can tell this girl has loved the main character with... Uh, right! Yeah, it's just a novel. But please let the author have a heart, please! The plot is really gripping. But would A... Would... Oh, it was a martial arts one, I think. I don't care to read this. 
also know that it go through. Okay. Why would someone want to be a novelist that badly? Someone like that could easily become the top martial arts pro in the world. It's about the journey. And a character so determined to follow their ambition is likely to appeal to A, right? That's all of them. Let's try to explain them to A. The looks on your faces tell me you found some good stories. The martial arts. Goodness. Are people in Liyue really so complex these days? Even though the protagonist refuses to acknowledge his innate talents, he has a rare dedication to justice. Where is he now? Does he have plans to visit Inazuma? If so, I will instruct one of the commissioners to bring him to me on his arrival. I would very much like to spar with him. Uh, he's a fictional character. He doesn't exist. What about the antagonist, though? Don't you have any thoughts about their part in this story? The antagonists? You mean all the people who behaved foolishly? What can I say? They're bad people, and they all got what they deserved. End of story. Uh, A doesn't seem interested in the supporting characters at all. So what do you think of Yai Publishing House's light novels, eh? Do you like the stories we pick? What I take from these stories is not so much the content itself, but what they represent in terms of the effects of time upon Inazuma. Back when I decided to isolate myself in the plain of Euphania, there was no Yai Publishing House, and certainly no stories of this kind. In accordance with my wishes, the Shogun did her best to create an eternal nation. A nation that, in theory, should remain entirely unchanged over time. But the fact is that both the food and the stories have changed with time. It's human nature. I disagree nature. with your point of view. That's what I would say if we were still in the plane of Euthynia. But the truth is right here in front of my eyes. And I can't deny it. And that's exactly why we brought you out. To take a look around and get some fresh ideas. Sure, it's not the same as you remember, but one way or another, people are loving life in the present. That's gotta be a good thing, right? Yes, you're right. I'm wary of any and all change. But I do not wish for my pursuit of eternity to stop human lives from changing for the better. Thank you for inviting me out. This trip has been quite eye-opening for me. This may be an everyday occurrence for you, but for me, this trip has been quite an occasion. I've seen a lot, and it's made me think Why don't we take a photo? Oh, great idea! A's had a wonderful time, and a photo is the best way to remember it! What's a photo? Take a photo? <sighs> Once again, I'm faced with a combination of words that makes absolutely no sense to me. Okay, come with us. We'll find a scenic spot and show you what we mean. All right, we're going up here. All right, I guess this is scenic enough. So, uh, what are we supposed to be doing? We're taking a photo of you. Just leave the hard work to us. All you need to do is stand over there and strike a pose. Basically, a photo makes a visual record of you at this very moment in time. So it makes a great souvenir. Okay. So what exactly is striking a pose? A photo ah, is a visual representation. So in other words, I need to do some sort of visually agreeable action in front of you, right? Oh, the more I think about it... The more embarrassing it seems. How should I pose? Help me out here. Try relaxing because... casual. Uh, how about this? this that works. Okay. Let's get started. Let's pick a good angle to record this moment. Yeah, definitely from. casual. Try 
trying to get some of the background too. Take a look. Here's the wow. This is astonishing. Is it some kind of magic? It seems to be another copy of me. But she doesn't seem to be able to move or talk. It's just a record. I thought it would turn out poorly because I felt rather rigid. But it actually looks more natural than I imagined. The pose is exactly the same. And so is the scenery in the background. I can't imagine how it's achieved. That's what makes it so special. Hang on. I'm still struggling to understand this. I need you to explain it again. So, the one in this photo... Are you sure it isn't me? If it's not me, then why does she look exactly like me? And if she is me, then... Who am I? Uh... Okay, that's way above Paimon's head. Over to you, Traveler. Hey, that's right! Do you think the Shogun counts as you? Of course I do. It was never my intention to place control of Inazuma into anybody else's hands. So then, who does that make you, here and now? Well, I'm still me. There is no doubt about that. My existence... Hmm... So your existence huh. isn't singular. I think I understand. I am me. There is only one of me. But I can exist in many different forms. It's not important what form I exist in. The Shogun, for example, is one of my forms of existence. The question of whether or not she is me is not determined by any of her components. In that case, this picture is one of your forms of existence, too. Hmm. So even I, who seeks eternity, am constantly changing my form of existence. Then... How can I ask Inazuma, and everyone who lives here, to remain unchanging? Inazuma will always Everything be Inazuma. Everything I have encountered on this journey with you has been from beyond my existing sphere of knowledge. <sighs> You've seen a lot of my ignorant side today. Maybe you can't tell, but all this has challenged my understanding of things. Based on what I have seen today, I am forced to accept that Inazuma is a completely different place from the one I remember. But it would be incorrect to conclude from this that the Inazuma of today is no longer Inazuma. Right. Both the Vision Hunt Decree and the Statue of the Omnipresent God were conceived as a means of bringing about eternity. But if I were really getting closer to eternity, none of this ever would have happened. Hmm. Perhaps... <laughs> Perhaps I've been holding on to everything too tightly. Sounds to Paimon like Ace figured things out! And that means that we've done a really great job as her guides! I haven't Master figured Kamaji. anything. Master Kamaji! Hmm, why is it getting so noisy down there? Oh, that sounded like Ipe. What could be the matter? Ipe? Is that someone from the Tenryo Commission? Yep. Let's find out what's going on. Where am I going? Oh, down here. It's you. I... Huh? The... The Almighty Shogun. You must be looking for my master, Kujo Kamaji? I, I am very sorry. He's not here at the moment. But, but if it pleases you, I will gladly deliver a message on your behalf. It's okay. I'm not here to see him. We just heard you calling out, so we came to see what was going on. Are you looking yes. for your master? Master Kamaji still hasn't returned from the negotiations, and I'm starting to get worried. In fairness, he does have a habit of taking long walks and coming back late. It's perfectly possible that he just found somewhere he likes and lost track of time. But for some reason, today, I'm particularly nervous. Kujo Kamaji. 
A descendant of the Kujo clan, I presume. That's right. Uh, apologies, since the head of the clan is in poor health at the moment, and Master Masahito is rarely home, Master Kamaji is currently serving as representative of the Kujo clan. I have heard that things are quite tumultuous with the Tenryo Commission at present. Does this have anything to do with Kujo Kamaji? Forgive us, almighty Shogun. The Kujo clan has failed in its duty. The Kujo clan's reputation is damaged, and its power over the Tenryo Commission is in decline. Plus you, um... <clears throat> You have yet to issue a verdict on the Commission's future. So, Master Kamaji decided to enter negotiations with the Takatsukasa clan with a view of having them take over. Surely they would be discussing something like that at their headquarters, right? Why are you looking for them here? Actually, they decided to hold this one elsewhere. I'm a little confused as to why, to be honest, but I didn't feel it was my place to question the higher-ups. The meeting place is in the mountains near the Grand Narokami Shrine. I believe the Takatsukasa clan have some kind of base there. Takatsukasa? Another familiar name. They have been faithfully serving the Kujo clan all these years? Yes, yes, that's why Master Kamaji decided to discuss things with them. I understand they must have had a lot of ground to cover, but still, there's no way it should have gone on this long. I've searched all over the city. If he really hasn't returned yet, then... Maybe they haven't finished. Yeah, I thought of that possibility too. We can go no, check things out. Need. I'm probably just overthinking things. Besides, if they're still at it, they'll only blame me for interrupting the negotiations. I'm only a lowly servant. But Master Kamaji and I grew up together. It'd be terrible if anything ever happened to him. I'm not as smart as Master, so I can't really share his burdens. But the last thing I'd want would be for him to come to harm when I could have done something about it. Hmm. What do you think, Almighty Shogun? Let's go see what's happening. With me present, they are unlikely to blame you, even if we do happen to interrupt the negotiations. Besides, this has only come about because I failed to make a timely decision. This issue started with me? And I shall be the one to finish it. Thank you so much, Shogun. I'll keep looking around in the meantime, too. Let me mark out the location of the base for you. I hope everything goes smoothly. I'm gonna lower my world level and then do more farming. I'm gonna do a quest till then. Actually, how long until I can lower it? Five hours. Let's teleport over here. Oh, it looks like we're gliding down. Okay. Also, uh, let me check something. Okay, I'm just making sure I didn't miss any chat messages because I didn't see stream elements say I went live. The electro archon whenever you are troubled. What? Another flawed one? But everything's good. Oh, let me try again. Let's see something else real quick. Luck can swing the results of a single game. Okay. It's bound to run out sooner or later. What? Talk to the Electro Archon whenever you are troubled. The Electro Archon whenever you are troubled. I do try to lighten the mood sometimes, <laughs> but I'm not the okay. best judge of other people's sense of humor. 
You know, might as well get this thing real quick, since I'm next to it. See, how can I glide and get it? Yeah, I can. Okay. Now we're good. Okay. Let's then go down here. Hidden mountain base. Uh oh. I think there's some fighting involved. <laughs> Whoa! Look at how well hidden this place is! I can't think of a reason anyone would want to build a structure like this deep in the mountains. I feel something attention. that doesn't belong here. I sense danger. Huh? We should proceed with caution. The Kujo clan descendant may well be in trouble. How do they have Raiden built? Illusion shattered. Adventure time. There's more. Defeat the opponent is blocking the path. Remove all those who stand in our way. Scatter! Illusion shattered! I don't need Raiden's ult right now, so. I'm in health right now. Let's light it up. Finally, Hussa. Okay. Now notice us. Okay, now I can heal. Teamwork is teamwork. Spring forth. Trying to heal some. Oi. Pretty sure it's that I think. There is no escape. Let's light it up. Yeah. Scatter. Illusion shattered. 
Everybody stand back! I can't see. Get down to business. Propagate! There is no escape! Let's light it up! Nowhere to run! Say no more! Now, I should get a team character to solo the abyss, right? <laughs> more? Teamwork is teamwork! Die! Die. I'm not even worrying about health. Next to you. Let's light it up. Shine down. Surrender the fairy. There a chest here. Actually, yes. I'm gonna get all the loot out of this. Our chest on the other side. Actually, let me go around and make sure I'm not missing anything over here. I am not. Okay. I'm not used to hitting five. There is no escape. Defeat the opponents blocking the pathway. Scatter! Inazuma shines eternal! I can use my ult now. Everybody stand back. Let's light it up. Any chest I can get. Um, no. Ah, oh, yes. Actually, there is. Okay. Elevator. With. Oh, oh him. Shogun. <laughs> Shogun. What are you? Descendant of the Takatsukasa clan. Explain what is going on here. Oh, we're just discussing some minor issues that have cropped up in the Tenryo Commission recently. Really, it's nothing worth the almighty Shogun worrying about. And these minor issues warranted the secluded location and the hiring of Ronin and Kairagi to keep guard? Well, uh, uh, there's been a lot of turmoil lately. It was just out of security considerations, that's all. Silence. Descendant of the Kujo clan. Your turn. All right. I came here intending to negotiate, but it turned out all they were interested in was a written confession from the Kujo clan. A written confession? Yes. A statement acknowledging every crime committed by the Kujo clan since the inception of the Vision Hunt Decree, including all the recent misconduct. All factual statements, of course. Not a single one of them fabricated. I can't deny that. But it also emphasizes the Takatsukasa clan's achievements throughout the document, claiming they stood steadfast all along and fought back against the crisis. These are all falsehoods. Says who? 
Why, you two-faced? You're going back on everything you said. I'm just stating the facts. I'm sure the almighty Shogun can discern the truth. All the Takatsukasa clan is trying to do is make themselves look good, so they'll be first in line to replace the Kujo clan. Why else would you push a false narrative in the written confession that paints your clan in a good light and try to make me sign it under duress? What are you talking about? You're not under duress, we're just negotiating here. You've completely changed your tune. I believe I now understand the situation. Don't listen to his nonsense. I'm sure you're well aware of the major failings of the Kujo clan. Surely you of everyone knows. Not a single word they say can be trusted. <laughs> you are quite mistaken if you think your dispute is of any interest to me. Descendant of the Takatsukasa clan, you wish to become the new Tenryo commissioner. Do I understand this correctly? Uh, well, y yes, of course. It's the eternal pursuit of everyone in the Tenryo Commission to offer our lives in service of the almighty Shogun. Then the situation is not as complicated as you seem to have made it. After all, I am the one who appoints the Tenryo Commissioner. The process is quite simple. Anyone who can beat me in a duel becomes the new Commissioner. Uh, sorry, a duel with the almighty Shogun? The first Tenryo Commissioner demonstrated his will with the blade in his hand. That is why the title has been passed down within the Kujo clan ever since. If you want me to appoint a new clan, then naturally, there must first be a new duel. I, uh... Do you not know how to wield a blade? Or do you simply doubt your abilities on account of your advanced age and declining physical condition? Here you are talking about offering your life, and yet you are too afraid to face my blade. Uh, well... <laughs> well, never mind. Exposed? What about one of you, then? Anyone who can defeat me, Takatsukasa or not, will be appointed the new Tenryo Commissioner. Uh, 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 Does not a single person dare to face me? <sighs> I... I will challenge you, Almighty Shogun. What? Descendant of the Kujo clan. Regrettably, even if you win against me, it cannot atone for the wrongs committed under the Kujo name. I realize that. I don't stand a chance of winning against you anyway. I know full well that the mistakes my father made ought to spell the end of the Kujo clan's legacy in the Tenryo Commission. Even when I was executing the Vision Hunt Decree, I had doubts about my father's decisions. I knew that what I was doing was wrong, but that was as far as I went. I doubted, and I ruminated. I understood the situation perfectly well, but I took no action, and I didn't save a single person. I accept the Kujo clan's decline as punishment for my deeds. I can't even say that I failed to prevent it, because in order to fail, you have to have at least tried. To be brutally honest, for someone of your strength, there is nothing you could have done, even if you had tried. Yes. I'm too weak. My father ignores me. My elder brother can't help me. And I even need Ippei to set me straight at times. It's the way it's always been. But if nothing else, then right here, right now in the Kujo clan's final hours, it is I who represent the clan, like my father before me. His duties are now mine to perform. Just as the Shogun said, a forefather of mine once showed his will with his sword. Then please, let me, Kujo Kamachi, end the story of the Kujo clan in the same way that it began. This is my last chance to do something. This is patently meaningless. But I accept. Come forward. Oh, we're fighting? Or are we just watching? The Kujo clan's honor was forged with courage, tempered with integrity, and shines beyond life and death. Show me whether your blade can bear the weight of your name. Ready to learn, almighty Shogun. Hey, we get to fight, watch a fighting scene where he fails miserably.
Does she kill him though is the question. Oh, he dead. He dead. Another anomaly in eternity. Nevertheless, it appears that the Kujo honor still courses through your veins. Kujo Kamaji is wounded. Descendants of the Takatsukasa clan, it is your responsibility to take care of him. You may not have the courage to challenge me, but I trust that you are capable of attending to a small matter such as this. Yes, of course. I apologize. I'm sorry. So, so sorry. I had heard that the Kujo clan is no longer fit to shoulder the work of the Tenryo Commission. The search for a successor to the role of Tenryo Commissioner is indeed a matter of great urgency. However, following this duel, I have decided to postpone the Kujo clan's punishment for the time being. In the meantime, I expect the Takatsukasa clan to continue supporting the Kujo clan as before. As you instruct, so it shall be done. We would not dare question the almighty Shokin's will. Finally, if you still think you can copy the Fatui strategy of providing me with deceptive information to produce flaws in my judgment, you will see me appear once again as I have done today. Only next time, my blade will show no mercy. Understood. Thank you, almighty Shokin, for your wisdom and mercy. That will do. I will have the Okuzumeshu continue the investigation from here. Come with me. Let's find a quiet place. There's something I want to talk about with you. Eh. Adventure time. I'm waiting for my world level to lower. Oh, actually, I gotta wait like four more hours, something. See, how long do I gotta wait? Four and a half hours. And I can at least do some farming. Whew. When it's time to deal with the situation, you're just like the Shogun's. So strict. Oh, you think so? I thought I was rather accommodating. If it had been the Shogun, she would have decapitated Kujo Kamaji without a second thought. Maybe that's probably is what he was I expecting. I do believe he was prepared for that outcome. I could see it in his eyes. The Kujo clan has undergone a dramatic change from its glory days to its present decline. Kamaji is hardly a great heir to the Kujo name, but he has shown me how some things remain the same even as the world around them changes. I also have you to thank. The things we experienced out on the streets, and the photo you took of me, they helped me come to this realization, too. So what's next for the Kujo clan? Will they get to carry on being in charge of the Tenryo Commission? Not a chance. Even if their heir was someone who showed promise, their past mistakes cannot be erased. Still, I will give them a little more time. After all, they are not the only ones who have made mistakes. The Shogun does not make mistakes. She is incapable of doing so. But I, as A, would like to offer my apologies. I have much to contemplate in the days to come. But at least, I can now see the way ahead. 
Or you rule in Azuma directly. I think I'll leave that to the Shogun. The greatest threat to eternity is still the erosion that comes with time. As I said, the Shogun has a robust system to protect her against modification. This is because I anticipated that I myself would change over time. But I've made up my mind. So I will do what needs to be done, no matter how difficult it is. Hmm. <laughs> this has certainly been a memorable series of events. Absolutely. You sorted out the Tenryo Commission, and the people in the city got to see a happy and healthy Shogun. All the awful rumors will disappear in no time. If you enjoyed your trip, we should get you out again sometime. Next time we'll bring you some souvenirs. No need. There's no place for such things in my life. Also, please stop making it sound as if I somehow need the company. Okay. I'm ready to head back now. My but you do need the company. will now continue, but it will not last too much longer. I will leave you humans to deal with any minor issues in the meantime. Okay, see you next time! Considering a lot of what happened was pretty unexpected, things seem to have worked out surprisingly well in the end. The only thing left to do is return the past permit to Yaimiko. Okay, let's go back and to Yamiko. And then are we done with the whole quest? Or do we got a little bit more to go on it? Hold on. I don't got any for it anyway. Okay. Did you know? Well then, you'll have to tell me all about it. <laughs> How amusing. The almighty shogun goes downtown, and suddenly she's like a wide-eyed country girl trying to find her bearings in the big city. Marvelous. What a shame I didn't get to see it for myself. It's fine. She wouldn't mind. Really, she wouldn't. So, from what you were saying, it seems that she's finally begun to comprehend what form eternity should take. That's the most important outcome of this trip. To be honest, I wasn't expecting you'd make such great progress when I lent you the pass permit. Yeah, it seems like she's not gonna force everything to stay the same way anymore. To put it nicely, even deities indulge in wishful thinking. To put it more bluntly, there are things that even the Seven can't do when faced with something even more powerful than themselves. The Heavenly Principle? <laughs> Take a guess. Anyway, it sounds like you had a very pleasant trip and even had the chance to see A's less formal side. Next time you wish to see her, you can come and take the pass permit from me again. She would never admit to it, but she does, in fact, get quite lonely. What? But she said she doesn't need company. Because she is a god. It's not that gods don't need the company of others, just that the idea of a god having company seems indulgent to her. But you don't belong to this world. Perhaps you are just the company she needs. <laughs> Hey, it's done. Okay. Wait, can I do kazoos now? Oh, I can. Oh, I'd have to do that one. Oh, I have to do all that. That's a lot. Oh, I have to do the Raiden one. I have to do the other Raiden one anyway. Let's do Kazoos. Go. 
Adventure time. Hey, it's oh, it's not Hilly Charles. Okay. It's been a while since we first set foot on Inazuma. So many things have happened since then. What was that? There have yeah, been a lot of events. We definitely made some progress on our journey. So, where should we go today? Wait a moment. Huh? Something's coming. Hey, what the heck was that for? Doesn't want to talk, huh? All right, let's convince him to calm down a little. Let's light it up. Yeah, teamwork is dream work. Light it up! <laughs> Can't see? Oh. Who do you think you are? Oi. Huh? So you don't have a vision after all. Seems like I've mistaken you for someone else. At the very least, you should make sure you've got the right person before you go attacking them. No, wait. Even when you've got the right person, you shouldn't go attacking them out of the blue. It's dangerous. Have you ever met someone by the name of Kaedahara Kazuha? He carries a sword just like you. I've also heard that he possesses an animal vision. That's none of your business. Huh. Never mind. You don't look like you know anything anyway. I'm wasting my time. What the heck is this guy's problem? Coming around here, waving that weird sword in our faces, and he didn't even apologize. Seems like a real nutcase. <laughs> well, one thing's for sure. No way are we telling him anything about Kazuha. Kind of great, very hey, smart. Don't be for mean. once. I'm on smart lots of the time. Anyway, just to be on the safe side, we should go find Kazuha right away and tell him to watch his back. Oh, what kind of hunch? I think this guy made a special connection. A special connection? You mean beyond already knowing each other? I can't say for hmm. sure, but yeah, maybe a little. Uh, but then again, most people look pretty much the same once they start fighting, so that doesn't really prove anything. Anyway, there's no time to lose. Let's go tell Kazuo so we won't get into any time unheard that the Crux fleet is stocking up in Rito at the moment. Let's look for him there. Okay, I'm gonna sit back and enjoy these quests some. Now I know how this works. Where's the thing? <laughs> anyway, I'm going back to it. I can come back to it. Okay. That I will do. Yeah. Hey! Uh, hello! Do you know where Kazuha is? <laughs> You're looking for Kazuha too, huh? Guess he must have done something impressive after all. Who? <laughs> Well, we took the small vessels into Rito on a routine supply run, only this time, as soon as we entered the harbor, we ran into a huge crowd of Inazumas, all of them wanting to know about Kazuha. If it's because of that battle on Nizuchi Beach, Captain Beto had a great run there too, but 
I don't see her getting this kind of attention. Kazuna keeps to himself most of the time. In fact, there are times when he doesn't even listen to the captain, but she just laughs it off. <laughs> oh, so you still don't know what he did. I've heard bits and pieces. Something about him blocking the Raiden Shogun's Muso no Hitotachi. Is it really as big a deal as everyone's making it out to be? The techniques. Really? Wow. When you put it like that, it all makes sense. <laughs> In that case, his newfound stardom is well-deserved. He was called away earlier by some people from the Tenryo Commission. They said they had something important to discuss with him. I thought they'd come to arrest him at first. Turns out they couldn't have been friendlier to him. Seems like they really respect the guy. Just really respect him. a while him. ago, this would have been completely unimaginable. The Shogun's mindset was changed. Or goodwill. Guess we'll go pay a visit to the Tenryo Commission. All right then, I'll just stay here and carry on trying to fend off the crowd. That's a bit away. That really is a bit away. Okay. Keep up. Oh, we're going inside. So let's go inside then. Hey, there's Kazoo. <laughs> oh, it's you. Greetings. We were just discussing the repealing of the Vision Hunt decree. Since you're here, you're very welcome to listen in on the conversation. We invited Mr. Kaidahara here to extend a gesture of goodwill on behalf of the Shogunate. Your hard work has secured for us the agreeable state of affairs that we now enjoy. Also, I've been granted the chance to correct my clan's past mistakes, and for that, I'm deeply grateful. The Almighty Shogun has issued a large array of directives aimed at resolving, or at least easing, the tensions that have built up over the years. The Tri Commission has made the recommendation to use this opportunity to restore the honor of the Kaidahara name. Regarding the history of the Kaidahara clan, I trust that you're already somewhat informed? I've heard. I forget. In short, there was That's once a group of select bladesmiths who served the Shogun directly, responsible for upholding and further developing the traditional blade forging arts of the Almighty Shogun. The Kaidahara clan belonged to this class. But there came a time when some of these bladesmiths revolted and fled to Snezhnaya. Both the Kaidahara and Kamisato clans were held accountable for lax oversight and entered a period of great turmoil. We later learned that the whole misadventure had been secretly orchestrated by the Fatui. Attributing all of the blame to the Kamisato and Kaidahara clans was neither proper nor just. Considering Mr. Kaidahara has once more made an outstanding contribution to Inazuma, the Almighty Shogun believes he should not only be rewarded for his achievements, but also receive recompense for the excessive punishment borne by his clan in the past. In the interest of preventing further harassment of the bladesmith clans by the Fatui, we chose not to publicly release the findings of our investigations into these matters. We trust you can understand why this was necessary. This is a true honor. I am delighted to be in a position to receive the goodwill of the Almighty Shogun, and the Shogunate at large. However, would I be correct to assume that this magnanimous gesture does not come without some strings attached? I can assure you that nothing could be further from the truth. We seek only to correct a past injustice. With the Kaidahara clan's reputation and occupation restored, the Kaidaharas will be bladesmiths once more, and your wanderings will finally come to an end. You will be able to lead a safe and prosperous life in Inazuma City with the Almighty Shogun's blessing and full support of the Shogunate. I have grown accustomed to life among the elements. I fear I would no longer feel at home behind the tall walls of a stately abode. Yet my ancestors did indeed take great pride in the name of Kaidahara and the art of blade making for which it stood. I do have a responsibility to restore their honor. I sense some hesitation in your words. Should you accept this offer, I imagine many of the malicious rumors currently circulating through the populace will disappear. Malicious? 
suspicious rumors. All we heard on the way here was so much praise that we almost wondered whether there was another Kaidahara Kazuha in town. Well, to some, the Muso no Hitotachi is something that can never be defeated. They cannot accept the idea that Mr. Kaidahara really parried the Shogun's strike. Also, eyewitnesses saw him using the power of Electro in addition to that of Animo. As a result, the also that Kaidahara Kazuha was using a delusion began to spread. What? Thought it was a delusion. That doesn't make sense. Using a delusion turns you old and frail, and Kazuha still looks fine. That is correct. However, to some people, the idea of a single person wielding two elements at once is a more inconceivable notion still. This is just one of many similar rumors. I am very uncomfortable with being the subject of public discussion, no matter whether it brings suspicion or stardom my way. But perhaps if the Shogunate is willing to publicly support me, this situation will blow over more quickly. This is precisely why I encourage you to give our offer some serious thought. It stands to benefit all of us. Hmm. Please allow me some time to consider. In fact, let us put this discussion on hold for the moment. Well then, what brings the two of you here? Yikes! We nearly forgot about the most important thing! Attack on the outskirts of- Why would such a dangerous individual be looking for me? Do you have trained with? No. This puzzles me as much as it does you. My fighting forms were taught to me by my family, based on techniques originally Hello. developed for blade testing. How goes we it? Go rigorous training to standardize Welcome back. every motion the blade is put through, so that each can be fairly assessed for quality. Over time, these techniques came to form something of a Kaidahara sword. I need to lower my world level because I'm struggling at five, so I'm just uh, buying time by doing story those quests. Are quite different from the more practical ones typically used by samurai in battle. So it's hard to imagine. Even the Napier one's kind of annoying right now. Coincidence alone. All the more reason to watch your back. This guy was a serious nutcase. The Indeed. dancing, fighting he thing. Sounds highly aggressive. Anyone he targets is at risk of serious injury, or worse. In that case, I will send some men out immediately to search for him. Thank you. It goes good. He fell asleep after getting home and woke to me man. being live. So you mean and to say, I woke you? Some time to I woke up life. at eight. Ah. I will first join the traveler in investigating. It goes good. He fell asleep after getting home and woke up at eight. Conclusive answer ah. upon my return. Hey, I mean, at least the rest was nice, right? Please stay safe. Probably not good to stay up so late today, okay. though, right? <laughs> Let's go and track down your aggressor. The detective agency knows the most about what goes on in town. Let's yes, see what I could probably. Say. Let's see, how much longer do I have to wait? Four hours and ten minutes. No, I mean, I not that. I'm good. I mean, if you want to join and want to fight, we can. That's up to you, though. I'm not going to make you do it. I assume when that reset happens, yeah, you hope just give you a little while. All good. I keep doing a uh, story quest for now. I like this cuckoo me fish. <laughs> I don't know how long Kazoo's thing is though. You know, I could probably teleport over here a little bit. Okay, this way still. Ah, yes, you're stuck behind the NPC. Yeah. Hey there! We'd like 
like to ask you a quick question. Do you know yeah, you're doing the Archon quest and story quest, and then after um, that, probably hang out. Ah. I don't know the difference between so the story the quest and then the hangout quest, I unless this is you. considered a hangout quest, to meet you today. or is hangout quest you like Chogyung, so there's multiple we parts. So, oh, Goro, I know oh, it's a hangout quest. You were targeted in an assault? Let me think. I can't seem to recall anything of immediate interest. Mr. Kaidehara is currently the talk of the town, so there are always a lot of people looking for him. To be honest with you, our detective agency has recently been receiving many inquiries from people wishing to obtain Mr. Kaidehara's personal information. Some of them were offering us millions of mora just to gather the information they want. If these were more legitimate commissions, Songo would have snapped them up in an instant. M millions of mora? Whoa! Oh, wait, even. multiple I innings and you get stuff for completing enough innings. Ah! Please. Accept my thanks for looking okay. out for my privacy. Of course. No matter what, we only take on legitimate cases. We don't make our money by revealing details of other people's day-to-day -day life just for the sake of it. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a little off topic. What I'm really trying to say is, it doesn't surprise me that a complete stranger is looking for Let's Mr. Kaidehara. Primo's per hangout. But I wouldn't know where to begin if we want to connect this with an assault. So yeah, they're really worth doing. Then let's put that connection aside for now. Have there been any other attacks or similar incidents recently that stand out as particularly unusual? The Tenryo Commission had very few leads, and I thought you might have some information from different sources. It's true that the commissioners aren't clued up about every little thing that goes on out in the streets. But typically, it's only the most trivial events that manage to They take to like an hour to finish. If oh, anyone wow. had been out there attacking people, so that would be assault. I have done show young, the but Tenryo commission would absolutely get involved. Oh, Actually, I, I didn't sense. do all the endings, uh -oh. but looks like the trails already run cold. I've done pretty much all of them. To believe that whoever attacked you finished you hasn't Bennett's. been causing any ah, the, elsewhere. the Mr. Unlucky. Few people possess your prowess in battle. So unless you were the first person he targeted. Oh so yeah, I hope, speaking of event, I hope he gets an event. Just because of this month, or February, next month I mean. 229. I am well aware of your talents. There is no need to be humble around me. In fact, I'm quite relieved that you were the one he targeted. It would cause me great grief to see someone become critically injured or lose their life because of me. For the poor victim, Adventure time. this would be a completely senseless crime. Oh, or not. <laughs> Something like that. You are every bit the He's probably going to be make you out to giving you, out an event. I hope Surely so. This same concern for your fellow man is what drove you to fearlessly raise your blade against the almighty Shogun. You flatter me. Truth be told... I don't know quite what Then again, I'm sure I'm not the only one that wants a bit for Bennett. <laughs> you are much too humble. Don't worry, I completely understand your concerns. I will try my best to gather whatever leads I can for you. Oh, actually, there was one strange incident over the last few days. It doesn't involve an attack, though. Let me tell you about it just in case. Sure. During times like this, the more information we have, the better. All right, then. Recently, two people went missing from the city at around the same time. One of them is a pretty well-known collector, surnamed Nagato. The other, Amenoma Yuya, is a samurai from the Amenoma You got me friend to start playing in, so he's only playing Amenoma. while talking to now me. A familiar name. So he's only playing while talking to you. Ah! Right. Hey, mean! Yuya is the nephew of You just Amenoma gotta get him addicted Toto, somehow, right? <laughs> two grown men going missing at the same time. Hmm. Their cases are likely connected, but I don't know much in the way of details. I recalled this because Amenoma Yuya is also an he has Diona. artist who is skilled ah. with the blade. Perhaps he is the one you are looking for. I don't know if Diona is any good or bad, so... It seems highly unlikely to me. I neither know this man, nor do I have any idea why he may wish to attack... Let's investigate both things. 
We never know what we might find out along the way. Thank you, Ryuchi. We'll start by making some inquiries at the Aminoma Smithy. Sounds good. All the best with She's your not investigation. Horrible. I'll ah. get moving shortly myself. I was thinking, I want to have just the fun team <laughs> and a meme team as well. If it isn't Kaida Harakazaha, what brings you here today? Huh? You two know each other? So I have to go through and find the worst possible. Yes. The Kaida Hara and Amenoma uh, were both members of the riding. The four clan. worst characters. So traveler. Between the two clans. After I returned to Inazuma. I visited Mr. Amenoma to pay my respects. Ah, let me quickly explain. The Raiden Gokaden was the collective term for the five most acclaimed bladesmithing arts in Inazuma. Better than all the travelers up to Dindra. Ah. were personally ah. bequeathed to the Raiden Gokaden by the almighty Shogun, and over time, further honed and enhanced by the most talented craftsmen. Unfortunately, a series of events led to the gradual decline of many clans in the bladesmithing trade. Today, only the Amenoma clan has kept its art alive. So sad. <sighs> it is a great pity indeed. In the old days, we each had our specialties. And just as iron sharpens iron, so too did we learn much from each other. As an example, the Amenoma art strives Amenoma to art. the abiding patience and determination of water. This is why you can get a sword called There is nothing Ananoma? mystical to our work. There is only practice, day in and day out. Until both body and mind have memorized the craft, turning each motion of every technique into an intrinsic part of the bladesmith's life. As for the art of the Kaede Hara clan, I believe it's called... Wait a minute. The, art. the people I'm talking That's to right now... Ishin art strives for complete harmony between blade and mind from the moment that forging begins. For only a blade thus forged can capture and convey its maker's thoughts and feelings, <laughs> and eventually become an extension of its wielder's will. Indeed. Most samurai choose their blades, but an Ishin blade chooses its owner. You are, without a doubt, the most worthy wielder of an Ishin blade. It gladdens my heart to see that although the Kaidahara clan has fallen on hard times, its ideals and virtues are alive and well. You overestimate me. My actions are guided by my own personal sentiments, not by any noble aspirations on behalf of my clan. But let's get back on topic. The purpose of our visit today is to gather some information on your missing nephew. We hope to assist with the investigation. It may turn out that this case is connected to another we are pursuing. Ah, oh, yes. My nephew. <sighs> I reported the case to the Tenryo Commission, but I haven't heard anything back so far. He didn't say a word before he left, which is very unlike him. I'm still completely at a loss on what to make of it but i've done what i can so far worrying is futile all i can do now is wait for the news from the tenryo commission we heard that there was a collector involved in the disappearance too know anything about that yes on the morning that yuya went missing he gave me a very cryptic look and said that he was going to give me a great gift Okay, I believe gift. he went to collect the item from Mr. Nagato. A fire? Yes. Strange, isn't it? I wonder what could have caused it. Unfortunately, there was very little evidence left behind, so nobody... Hmm. Do you have any thoughts on what Yuya may have wanted to give you? If I had to guess, it must have been some kind of rare weapon. He's never been particularly interested in blade forging. But has always had a fondness for blade testing and can sense even the most minute differences in blade quality he is extraordinarily talented in martial arts particularly when it comes to the art of the sword 
truth be told, we have some information that you may find to be objectionable. The person we are looking for, he attacked this friend of mine. Based on the evidence we have gathered so far, only Yuya seems to match the suspect's profile. What? No. Absolutely impossible. Yuya is not that kind of person. He is, is humble he and kind. Even his training is done with the goal of calming his mind. He has never gotten into a fight before. Huh. Is that so? Yes. If there's one thing ready? I can okay. say for certain, once I get through this, it's that Yuya would never draw his blade without a very good reason. But with that said, it's equally out of character for this for particular him to just part. With neither farewell nor fair warning. I also cannot know what course of action he might be capable of if coerced or otherwise compelled by circumstances unbeknownst to me. Anyway, should you find him, please let me know as soon as possible. Don't worry, you have our word. Hmm. From the sound of that, Paimon doesn't think Yuya was the one who attacked us as well. Yes. We still need to get the information it from the as team. If something happened when the two men met each other. Let's pay a visit to the Nagato household. Okay. Wait, what? Did I not accept that? Oh, there you go. All right, so where are we heading? I have no idea. You on PlayStation. Ah. You know, at least the game's cross-platform. See. Follow. All right. Keep up. I don't have a crazy amount of stamina because I never finished an Azuma leeway. I'm not an Azuma. Fuck. I keep saying an Azuma instead of Monsat or leeway instead of an Azuma. Keep up. Should I start it? I assume. My nev Nevia hit 24 after stream or 24k after stream earlier. Invite. Bring a hydro. Okay. I don't have any hydros built though. That's the thing. I haven't. Uh, I All good. I love Spina di Rosula's logo. It was designed by my mother. Have you noticed how it's shaped like a heart? Okay, I really don't have any hydros built. A hydro application. I mean, I could go like Barbara, but I'll be really squishy. Have I even leveled up Mona at all? I have not leveled up Mona. So I'd have to use Barbara, which is only level 20. That alright? You bring the Hydra then. Okay. Then who should I bring?
Honestly, I should probably build at least one of every element, I'd say. My time with the Spina has taught me that carrying an unreliable Bring Navia for the fun of it. Worse than not carrying one at all. All right. If I w actually, I won't be able to bring Navia in there. Uh, on one of the teams, yeah. The secondary team. Let's see. You saw a thing. Okay. Wait, I have a five star artifact? Wait, since when did I have a five star artifact? The value of knowledge cannot simply be quantified in monetary terms. I didn't even know I had a five star artifact. Okay. Let's see, which one did I even. Huh? From Adventure Inc. Ah. <laughs> Let's see. What should I equip? Do I have any geo care? Oh, no, well, but I'm not taking the wells off. Geo damage goblet. When the sun's out, bathe in sunlight. But when the moon's out, bathe in moonlight. I'm reading through the names because I don't know the names of them. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Like this thing up here. How oh, that one's for a hydro. So like that. I see. Just start to demean. Well, I mean, I want artifacts. I want artifacts. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. It's all part of the learning process. Okay, I'll just start the domain then. On a specific set you're going to want to equip is Nighttime Whispers. Let me take a picture of that so I remember that. Okay. Let me make sure it's readable. Ah, not quite. Alright, now I'm good. I don't know where they're jumping, so. Oh, I see what you mean by crystal ice. What does her ult do? Ah. Oh, that's what Geo does. I'm used to hitting other buttons. <laughs> Though. I'm just using my ult to use it. Yeah, 
There you are doing thousands of damage, and here I am doing a mirror. Oh, what are these things? Oh, this is when we need a. Uh... Let's nip that in the butt. I wasn't paying attention to my health there, but I'm fine. Flowers. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention to my health on that, so. Probably condensed resin. Eh, we'll use original. Let's see if I get anything good out of this. Recollection of days past. What else? Okay. Continue. Condense gives two times. All right, I'll use condense next. Let me, uh... How much longer do I have to wait? Oh, 53 seconds. Well, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> eh, it's all you, I'm sorry. <laughs> eh. It's not gonna let me heal right now. I can't. Well, this is a lot of time on this. I wish I could move around other than being locked to the center like this. I don't think I can hit retry. Ah. This is when I could do a lot of help right now. I don't think I should click retry though. Okay. I think, yeah, we tried to start it over is what I was thinking. So, yeah. I wish I could move, though. That was some damage. <laughs> I'm sorry to make you solo this, by the way. I got the bones on my screen that I can't uh, click on. Wait, are you low on health too? Not a little bit. Your towel.
Hey, Tal's gonna have to, uh... Miami is condensed. <laughs> Barely. Yeah. I'm sorry for dying. Let's see. So, poetry of days past. And faithful hourglass. It's fine. Okay. Continue still? Okay. Gosh, I'm gonna continue until you say don't continue. Alright, I'm ready when you are. The hourglass set you want to go only the the hourglass is in the set you want and only go for the pyro slime. Okay. I don't know how much you are wanting to heal, so. So I assume you're probably ready now. Go. Fuck, I'm trying to, but I'm not used. I'll uprove you. Can't see. I'm waiting for my thing to You know what, I'm just going for it. I'm not making that mistake again. I'm staying alive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's the, I was trying to say alive. Um, I can revive. Keep up. I don't have any artifacts in Kavia, so... Oh, is the Geo thing Navia? Ah. I see. I see how it works. Okay. Fuck, I need, I need to heal. Too late. <laughs> Artifacts and Navia. <laughs> I'm trying not to die now, by the way. A 
I'll use condensed resin again. That's why we're doing this domain. Ah! Let's see. Promise dream of days pass another hourglass. I mean, I'm not looking at the other things, but. Continue. Let me heal up a little bit. Okay. The only one to use the five stars that are decent. Okay. Wait, what? I got one hit there. What? Oh, uh, <laughs> one thing after another. Keep up. I'll approve you. And shroud. I'm trying to stay back some, so I don't die. <laughs> but I don't have Tainari built either. At least Tainari, I know at least a bird thing to level him up. Honestly, I should switch characters. <laughs> and maybe put Sino in place of Tainari. Unless we need Dendro. Which I don't think we do necessarily. It doesn't seem to be doing much. Yes, I didn't read the elements it recommends to have at the start of it. Hey, we get to listen to some music. <laughs> Honestly, Tainari, I mostly have for support anyway. It doesn't want to die. It really doesn't want to die. When's it gonna die? About time, it's almost dead. So let's see. The brightest flames burn fast. Oof. I want to back out real quick to switch characters after this. Like take Tainari and put like Sina or something. Or maybe even Bennett. I definitely want to replace Tainari though right now. You got time though.
see. Problem is, dream of days past. Crit a little bit. And then, compassionate lady's hat. That almost sounds like a uh, Navia one. Okay, I want to uh, switch characters. We are getting nothing good. Ah. Welcome to how Genshin treats me. And I'm put Bennett. This for healing as well. <laughs> One more and then you're out. Okay. Let me go to statue real quick. Let's see. I... I'm fine. Start it. I'm just gonna wait for you to be ready. Alright. Oh, sorry. Wait, that's okay, so that legitimately one shots me. jump I'm going in Watch out Hey there Fire Die <laughs> With rocks <laughs> Let's light it up <laughs> Teamwork is dream work Oh, Ben and Navia. Oh, then again, I have Ben it built right now, so. Slime. Let's light it up! 
Two seconds, gonna last another second. Okay, now we're good. Let's see if there's anything good this time. That's why I wanted to switch from Tainari. For a guy in oaths of these past, defense. Nah. I don't know if the, any of these are good to be fair. Level that second. Ah, this one. Selfless floral accessory. Okay. I'll go level it. So, this one. Penny's adventure team assemble. Oh. Oh. Oh, or not. I don't know if I'm gonna get anything good on it though. <laughs> I'll keep going. Good things come to those who don't wait around. That's what they say anyway. Oh. Knowing my luck, the opposite is probably true for me. <laughs> I use all of it on there. <laughs> eh. Benny's adventure team now, assemble. This is what I call a moment of solitude. Selfless floral accessory. Oh, or not. I don't know which one it is. Oh, right here. Crit damage upgrade, that's really nice for a player at your level. Ah. Oh, wow. I've always heard I wanted to build crit. If my calculations are correct, Hold on, let me Roman remove these. Is due to receive a batch of new releases today. I just put random Can artifacts on. Detour to our adventure? See, this one is Nighttime Whisper. I don't think I got any of the other things. Benny's adventure team, assemble! Oh, sorry, sorry, Navia hit 6k. Wait, really? My Navia had hit 6k? Wait, is it because of Bennett's support? <laughs> Putting this on here just for a con on the specifics, they're gonna want to equip his nighttime whispers. Okay. Let's see, do I got any other nighttime whispers? Do I want energy retard or attack? Benny's adventure team assemble. Or defense. Attack. Okay. Oh, or not. I don't know if this one would do any good. Oh, oh there we go. Where did that come from? So what does that give me currently? Ah, there's a bit of crit actually. Yeah, I know I'm need to level up the artifacts. No one's joined me on an adventure in ages. Come on, let's go. Okay. 
I kind of put it all on the one, but it's fine. Just make sure you have the four piece buff for that set on her. Okay. I'll just leave this on her then. Alright, I'm gonna go heal. And thank you. Honestly, I really wouldn't have been able to farm that without you. <laughs> Adventure time. Oh, I took out, uh, I don't remember who I took out from this team. I don't remember. And I'm gonna do this for a while though. Not that it's a good team, it's just. Navio's on the team right now. Yeah, it's not gonna do anything right now. Just for now. Only because I have the other characters built. It's a little bit at least. Adventure time. Let's see, let's go. Where is that dancing thing? Ah, oh, right here. Basically use your skill and get some geo damage bonus 20% and if you have crystallized shield it's 150. Ah! Use your skill and get geo damage bonus 20. Oh, neat. Even every little bit will help. Hey, I ran out of stamina right before. <laughs> anyway, gonna go to bed. All right, see you later. Thanks again for the help. Have a good rest. See ya. All right, let's see how much better. Man, oh, fuck. <laughs> Reverse. Alright, I can invert it. Oh fuck, I'm in co-op. Let me go out of co-op. I'll do it in a second. I haven't started a timer, don't worry. If this game let me invert my mouse, I would invert my mouse, too. I'll check in health, seeing if I should teleport. W and D don't mess with me, but A and... W and S don't mess with me, but A and D do. Okay. Ah! Fuck. I hit window key. Bye! <laughs> oh, it's this way. I generally forgot the way to go because I thought I went up this one to begin with, but I did not. And see you later! <laughs> this one. <laughs> Four and a half minutes. Surrender. Can't see. Scatter. Oh wait, I don't have Navia on this team. I like how he's at one HP. Let's nip that in. One with the forest. I'll try to fight him like this, but I don't have Navia. Uh, 
Okay, now the uh, time was away. This way. I gotta go heal. I wish I could teleport right to it though. Alright, we're gonna replace Traveler with Navia. That's what we're going to do. Although in. this is Navia's thing. Or maybe I should put Traveler here. Um, oh wait, I need to teleport. Yeah, I'm messing with my brain too. My brain says, uh. <laughs> Okay, let's still support over here. Alright. So now I know the exact way to go. Okay. Now to cover stamina. Let me turn this off so people don't drain. There we go. As long as I have been it. How much damage am I gonna do? What's dodging? Fuck. There's where my controls being averted messes with me. Oi, 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 I need heal, I need heal. Okay, I need the boost. I'm fine. Oh, no. Fuck. I didn't let me hit B. I was spamming B. Maybe I was spamming the wrong key. Maybe I was spamming B. One with the force. Time. This here I need to dodge a lot more. This is just ah, control is being inverted. Ah, fuck. All my characters dead. Basically. A new cycle begins. Yes, how my control subverted did mess me up there. There, hell. That's all dodging. I don't want to dodge. Fuck. Then I uninverted him. I don't think I got any. No, I don't. Oh, I got nine.
Oh, it doesn't give me like a key. I don't know what it's gonna give me. Oh, whatever that stuff is. It did give me a key. Okay. Oh, it's right there. What is this thing? Oh. Like something good is inside. Fuck you, abyss mage. Let's light it up. I can't hear you, Ben. It's too short. I just gotta build the artifacts. Be worth it. Defense. Crit. I need to enhance this one. Now give me more HP. Okay, I'm gonna keep the four star artifacts after that. Okay. Where was the thing that has the giant blue thing? Unless it's already gone. Because that was what it was for. I guess so. Okay. I can kill some hilly turtles anyway. Oh damn, I'm hitting... I hit over a thousand then. Somehow. Her E does damage. Everybody stand back. Let's light it up. 
Oh yeah, I'm stuck in the mountain. I'm stuck in the mountain. You're gonna climb up the mountain, are you? A proper send up from the Stina with love. Coming at you. Wait, what? Oh, I'm saying two thousand. Let's nip that in the let's light it up. Hey there. Teamwork is dream work. Let's light it. Or was that not 2,000? Alright. You can die. There's still more I gotta fight. Don't reset it. Fuck, I missed that. Are you really the last one I have to defeat? If you are a good... Cyrus is screw at night time. Adventure time. Die, 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 die. I'm not gonna get anything fighting them other than they're guarding this. I don't know what this thing does, but okay. to do here I'll just leave it for now okay let us stay like that do I have enough yet lovely I still don't Fuck, I didn't mean to hit Q, but now I can't. No. Force. 
Đây, 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 đây. I do have burst it looks like that are really good. Where's the other one at? Underneath. Oh there you are. I need to pick up everything. I have time to get the chest. <laughs> it's a miracle. I like how I fell down right after I got the no. chest. Adventure time. <laughs> I didn't miss anything though. Okay, good. Three star and under. Off we go. Oh yeah, I'm not trying to attack you. I wasn't trying to attack you, but it insisted on attacking you, kinda. It kinda made me attack you. Some over here, there you need teleport right? I've seen that. <laughs> ingredients processed. What ingredients were processed? And you find a food thing. I need to navigate here. That's kind of annoying. I teleport to it in it. Adventure time. So if I teleport to this one, no, not that one. Okay. Or this put me on the level I need to go. I'm pretty sure I need to go. Was it this way? Yeah. Off we go. Right. Yes. And over this way. No. This way, then. Yes. I keep checking because I have a tendency to go past it. Since there's nothing up here, it's going to be down here.
Many really good recipes. H healing bonus. Wait. Making blubber, no nitrous anything here. Ah. Okay, what else are in the map? Oh yeah, da wait, daily commissions. Add Astro. Thank you for. Add Astro. Adventure rank rewards. What's this? Character ascension material. Add Astra. I'm going to change this up a little bit. Let's get some more of this. Do I have anyone with some arrow bonus? Yeah. Twenty five percent more. You know, what? here you go, Sina. Do I have anyone bonus in Zuma? Yes. Twenty five percent more reward. Um, I don't really want anything here. I'll just take the meat. Complete 12 stars. Get a total of 12 stars in Spiral Abyss. <laughs> you know? I haven't done Spiral Abyss in a long time. Wait, how many Primos do I have? I have a little bit. Does that mean my Traveler got a Constellation? No. I didn't select a travel. Oh, I did select a traveler. Oh, wait, no, I don't have any on Dendro. Adventure time. Ah. Do I have to do the Dendro quest through that. Okay. Let's see what else. Reputation award here. What's the reputation reward I have? Oh, this is a reputation reward. Wait, no? This is. I gotta go towards the water. Which is this way. Right? See, this is why I keep looking at the map. Because so I'll probably miss it a million times if I don't do that. So from here, I just keep going this way. Right? Yeah. yeah. 
How many days have I achieved? Probably about half. Reach a reputation of eight. I can do that eventually, not right now though. Hey look, I got a bit of exploration in this. All tasks have been handed out. Ah, how relaxing. I'm very back though.
Alright, I'm back. Let's continue Kazuo's quest. Was this Kazuo's? I don't remember. Yeah, it is. Adventure time. We're going over here. I'm very sorry, but we cannot afford to pay what we owe right now. My husband has gone missing, and I'm still trying to find him. No, no. You misunderstand us. We are here to help with the investigation. We'd like to ask you some questions about Mr. Nagato's disappearance, if we may. Ah, I see. I thought the debt collectors had come to visit again. I'm sorry you have to see me in this dreadful state. Has some new information come out? Do you know where he's gone? I'm afraid we don't have any new information at the moment. We're still trying to find out as much as we can to inform our search. With this in mind, can we perhaps ask some questions about your family's current situation? Uh, for example, Paimon's struggling to understand why a collector would be strapped for Mora. <sighs> That's a long story. Ever since I've known him, he's been an avid collector of all sorts of things. He'd always get so animated when he was showing them to me. I knew nothing about the items myself, but seeing how enthusiastic and excited they made him, I was happy to believe that they were just extremely important to him. Everything was fine when we first got married, but as time went by, things changed for the worse. What happened? He lost his sense of restraint. He started buying more and more things, and even resorted to borrowing money just so he could pay for them. Our expenses really spiraled out of control when he started getting interested in weapons. It was awful. There were days when he'd spend hours down at the warehouse, admiring his weapons even as debt collectors were descending upon our house. He wouldn't sell them, wouldn't even touch them just sat there staring at them like he was in a trance. I'm happy he has a hobby and I'm willing to support him, but making ends meet has to come first. I've tried talking to him about it so many times, but he never listens. On the last day that I saw him, I gave him an ultimatum. I said, if he refused to sell his collectibles and pay off his debts, I would divorce him and take the children with me. And that led to an argument. Actually, it didn't. Generally, he's a quiet man who likes to go with the flow. On most things, he leaves the decision-making to me. You must understand, I never would have dreamed of threatening him with divorce if the debts hadn't pushed our family to the brink. After I said those words, he froze and was silent for a long time. When he finally spoke, he awkwardly mumbled that he would pick out a few items to sell. His voice was so meek and pitiful that I felt an urge to take everything back. But then what? If I didn't draw the line, what would happen to our family? Had I not indulged his bad habits, we wouldn't have found ourselves I just like in something. such a predicament. And I also don't know if he had actually come to his senses or if he was simply angry with me. The next thing I heard was that our warehouse had caught fire, and both he and the buyer had gone missing. I see. I understand. Ame no Miyuya came to purchase a weapon from Mr. Nagato. During the sale, a fire broke out at the warehouse, and both men disappeared. At first, I assumed they must have gotten into an argument over the price. But my husband has never been one to negotiate. He never even haggles when he's out buying groceries, so it's hard to imagine him getting into a fierce argument. Hmm. Maybe he was feeling the pressure from the debts? I don't know. He just disappeared after the warehouse burned down. 
Perhaps he's too afraid to come home, now that all his collectibles have been lost in the fire, and he's got no way to pay off our debts. <sighs> Even though I'm still a little mad at him, we're a family, and I want us to face our family's crisis together. As long as he's willing to turn over a new leaf, I know we can work things out. Please don't get upset. There could be more to this situation than meets the eye. If collecting things is a habit that Mr. Nagato had his whole life, it is quite unusual for this habit to change so drastically over a short period. But the information we gathered from the other side suggests Amenoma Yuya is also a mild-mannered man who would not be likely to start an argument. Hmm. This situation is getting a little confusing. A little confusing? More like completely mystifying! Let's try a change of scenery, and see if we can piece together what we've learned. Rest assured, we'll notify you if we find anything. <sighs> Thank you so much. I just want him to come home. What is my internet doing? Oh, it's fine. Wait, it He's says I have drop frames. What? I don't have any so drop frames. I can only surmise Why does it say 1270? The meeting between the two men was somehow oh, I see. A catalyst it's just all in general. And the fire at the warehouse likely played a part in how the situation unfolded. Though its exact role is a mystery. Do you have any thoughts? But I got what I wanted. Um, well, Pino was thinking that maybe... Someone accidentally knocked over an oil lamp, and, um, nope, never mind. Paimon's brain needs to rest for a while. Over to you. That Maybe there's the an argument? conclusion based on everything we know. What started as a disagreement over the price escalated and ultimately turned into a tragedy. However, in this case, only one of the parties would have started the fire. That would make the other party innocent. We didn't start to fire. And they would have no reason to hide themselves from the public. If this is indeed what happened, and the innocent man hasn't come forward yet, then it suggests they may have already lost their life. One fact that I keep coming back to is that Amenoma Yuya is polite and well-mannered, while Mr. Nagato is introverted and passive. Neither seems like the type of person who is inclined towards initiating conflict. Mr. Nagato, being heavily in debt, is also the only one of them with the potential motive to disappear after the fire. The more I ponder it, the more puzzling it becomes. Just what could this have happened there? This also doesn't be connected to right. the case. Although the time frame seems to broadly match, no other details that we've learned seem to link the two events together. Amenoma Yuya lacks a key distinguishing feature of the attacker. Namely, that he is principally a practitioner of the blade testing techniques of Amenoma art, not those of the combat oriented Ishin art. Darn! We thought we could get two birds with one stone here, but at this rate, it's starting to look like a wild goose chase! Hmm. Let's keep going, since we've come this far. If we can solve the case, both Mr. Amenoma and Mrs. Nagato will be able to get some closure. Okay, but where should we go now? Let's head out of the city and check out the warehouse. There's still a chance we may be able to find some shreds of evidence. Off we go! Alright, let's go over here. Adventure time! Can I get some stamina? I got enough now. Oh, this is the water wheel thing. Yeah. Does that actually show water in it? No. I had enough stamina. Good. Wait. I hear something ominous in the wind. Must be another one of those sounds that only you can hear. As sketchy as that whole thing seems, you did put it to good use with. Hmm. Now I'm picking up a strong scent in addition to the sound. It's right around here somewhere. But there's nothing 
here. It's gone now, but I can still sense the direction it left in. It felt very much like that ancient presence in Inazuma. The remnants of the Tatarigami. Indeed. I think I didn't this expect unexpected here. unexpected spring of inauspicious energy may prove to be of benefit to our investigation. We should remain vigilant and approach slowly. And approach slowly. Huh. So it's an underground warehouse. The force is definitely coming from down below. The source of the Tatarigami energy has long since left this place. But the residue it left behind still hasn't dissipated completely. Judging from the concentration, I would have to conclude that the Tatarigami source resided here for a very long time. Mrs. Nagato said her husband used to hang around the warehouse by himself a lot. It could well be that he was already under the influence of Tatar. From what I've been Someone told, Someone noticed? Tatarigami does not turn all upon whom it preys into violent monsters. But most will develop a stubborn streak upon being exposed to the Tatarigami's unfulfilled will. Their interests become fanatical obsessions. Mr. Nagato had an interest in collecting to begin with. The influence of Tatarigami could explain why he became an obsessive hoarder, amassing more and more possessions, even as he put himself in grave debt. Um, so what should we do now? Go down and take a look? Step back. I'll open the door and take a look inside. That's dangerous. If we don't open this door, we can move no closer to the truth. You needn't worry. Both of us have faced far greater dangers than this. Relatively speaking, the risk here is trivial. Oh. What's hmm. down there? Everything's buried in debris. I can't see anything. It looks like the fire caused a cave-in, reducing the entire warehouse to rubble. Not sure if that's a good or bad thing. All we can do now is keep searching in the direction that the Tatarigami energy source left this place. Two ordinary humans entangled with the Tatarigami. Let's hurry. Yes, let's go. If nothing else, it's vital that we find out where this Tatarigami energy is coming from. Quiet your mind and focus on what you sense around you. Perhaps you too will perceive its ominous presence in the I always check this. Wait. Oh, I saw the electro thing. I didn't actually see it though. Oh, I'm following that. I'm following these, okay. From this point, the trail appears to split into two. The main source of the Tatarigami energy continued on into the distance, but a small portion remained here and seems to... <laughs> quite possibly. Let's search the area. Whoa! Look at all those hairy trails! They're acting really strangely! Wait, where? Something seems to be drawing their attention. Let's take a closer look. Ah! 
Die. Boom. Is that 2,000 damage? Oh, it is doing like two thousand. of it a letter written on a piece of torn clothing the ink is bone dry it must have been written quite some time ago well let's take a look oh that is who they're looking for mm -hmm. according to this letter a conflict arose because Amenoma Yuya wanted to seize a blade belonging to Mr. Nagato Yuya started the fire that destroyed the warehouse and wounded Mr. Nagato in the fight. Mr. Nagato kept chase as long as he could, eventually stopping here to write this letter when his strength gave out. So, where is he? He was not only mortally wounded, but also under the heavy influence of Tatarigami. Add to that the fact that its aura seems to have attracted a horde of monsters and... I'm afraid he may no longer be with us. Whatever traces there may have been of his fate beyond after this point, they've since been disturbed by the hilly churls. There's nothing That's more for us to find. There are more important yes. things. Right now, we need to uncover some more important truths. If Amenoma Yuya is attacking other people indiscriminately, then the longer we take to find him, the more people risk meeting the same tragic end. Right. So let's get moving. How did it come to this? I would be surprised if he too fell prey to the influence of the Tatarigami. For a practitioner of the martial arts, the easiest desire to inflame would be their pursuit of further power and skill. Huh. All the clues that at first seemed disparate and disconnected. It seems that now we know the thread that runs between them. I have a hypothesis that if it's correct, not only explains the series of events leading to the two men's disappearance, but also zeroes in on the attacker's identity. Wait, you figured it out? So these two cases are connected after all? I believe so. But it's something of an outlandish idea. I will only be able to confirm my suspicions once we've met him in person. On with the search. We must stay vigilant. At any point now, we may find ourselves in danger. I need stamina for this. Yeah. 
Keep following the scent. Hmm. He seems to have stayed here for a long time. Why here? Is there anything special about this place? I'm not sure. But on closer examination, I sense that the aura may have lingered here at several different points in time. Fuck, I hit the wrong button there. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Tatari Gamma energy often lodges it. I don't know how long ago I hit that. Objects, then works to subtly affect any living organisms in its vicinity. The blade has resided in Mr. Nagato's warehouse for many years, affecting his state of mind. And more recently, using the sail as a means to affect, or rather, as a means to occupy Amenoma Yuya's body. Hmm. You're sharper than I thought. You've already deduced the truth of the matter. Many, many years ago, I was forged by a famed bladesmith of the Ishin tradition. I was his pride and joy. In me, he placed all his hopes and dreams. As a descendant of the Kaidehara clan, you should be able to guess our greatest regret. I presume it has something to do with the Raiden Gokaden. Indeed. At that point in time, he failed to live up to the Raiden Shogun's expectations. In the end, all he could do was to flee the nation by sea on a ship bound for Snezhnaya. He was a bladesmith of great renown, a master of his craft. There was nothing Shania. that he could not Shania. accomplish. All he needed was more time and a little faith. And sure enough, in the end, he achieved what he had set out to do. All of his life's work, his wisdom, his skill, it culminated in his creation of me. He not only bestowed upon me the greatest of strength, but also endowed me with a consciousness of my own. In her conceit, the Raiden Shogun lost not only the single most perfect blade in the entire world, but also an irreplaceable achievement in the art of blade forging. So... swords can become conscious and control people? The people of the time in which I was born never believed I had that kind of power. They saw me as a mere blade, a sharp and well-crafted one. But in all other respects, an ordinary weapon. Hmm. But that gave me the opportunity to take action. After the death of my creator, I decided to leave Snezhnaya and began my long quest to return to the distant land of Inazuma. Moving from one person to the next, I controlled the minds of countless hosts along the way, each bringing me one step closer to my ancestral home. I seek but one thing, to face the full force of the Raiden Shogun's blade and prove my power, the might of Isin art. Ah, so Amenoma Yuya was not your first victim. Tell me, what happens to those you've possessed when you've finished They die. Them? My hosts? Who cares what happens to them? They are but tools that serve my mission. When they got tired, or injured, or unusable, I hopped to the next one in line. All I needed them for was to take me back to Inazuma. You're awful! After I returned to Inazuma, I decided to bide my time in Nagato's warehouse until Amenoma Yuya handed himself over to me on a silver platter. At long last, I'm approaching my journey's destination. By Amenoma Yuya's body, I have found you, 
And by your hand, I shall defeat the Raiden Shogun. Kaede Harakazuha, you stood against the Raiden Shogun's Muso no Hitotachi. There can be no other to serve as my host for what is to come. Now, give your body over to me! Oh, we're fighting. Hey, I get to use Kazoo. Yes. I'm not used to hitting five though. There's only one thing to do with Kazoo though, is this. This is the only thing to do with him. This is the only way to fight with him. I want to use his ult. Or I will strike you down too. Your bluff's fooling no one. You've lost. I want to do this. I can never lose. But I've been one because this body that has reached its limit. Nothing more. Even if you defeat me here, the one who falls will not be me, but this man. He is but a puppet that can be replaced. I can. The end result is the same. I will end this wretch's life before you can lift a finger. And even if I were to lose my physical form, it is but a small setback. My consciousness shall endure by any means necessary and any medium available. I shall return and fulfill my destiny! Your fighting style. It is indeed the forms of Ishin art. But from your movements, I sense only hatred and arrogance, as well as a thinly veiled mania and despair. Really? You can tell all that just from his moves? As I've mentioned before, the forms of Ishin art convey the user's thoughts and feelings. Since the blade is currently possessing Aminoma Yuya's body, its movements express the innermost thoughts of the blade. If you ask me, the mania is probably due to your desperate single-minded ambition. You believe I am your only hope. Are you trying to claim that I am helpless without you? On his deathbed, he passed to me all of Ishin Art's secrets. The little that you know barely scratches the surface. In that regard, why would I ever need your help? Because all of that is in the past. I've been wondering why you've not caused more trouble in all the years that you've been in Inazuma. If you are indeed a cursed blade that can possess its owner. Now that I've seen inside your mind, everything finally makes sense. You weren't biding your time. You were trapped. Hmm. After all the time that's passed, you have grown weak. To the point that you are now unable to acquire a new host without making physical contact. Oh, that's right. Paimon remembers now. Mr. Nagato had a habit of never touching his collectibles. Only when Mr. Nagato witnessed his wife's distress and decided to sell his collectibles did you finally have an opportunity to reach out to Aminoma Yuya and make your escape. And what of it? Well, that brings me to my second point. There's a despair in you that is so strong it threatens to overwhelm you. You were determined to fulfill your maker's ambition whatever the cost. But this ambition is too grand and too heavy for you to bear. Each step you have taken has come at a great cost. I think you realized your limitations long ago. The more you clenched your teeth and pressed forward, the greater your fear of losing everything you had achieved grew, and the more you wished to run from the truth. But the way I see it, what began as an ambition has long since become a delusional fantasy. What would you know about any of this? I'm just one step away from achieving my goal! You returned to Inazuma to prove the unparalleled brilliance of Ishin art. But to make this arduous journey, you committed countless atrocities and showed a blatant disregard for human life. Even if you were to sever that divine light, is this truly the outcome that your maker would have desired? You... 
Sure, you inherited the secrets of Ishin art. But even as you made your journey to honor this legacy, you treated the ones who wielded you as mere tools to do your bidding. How could you possibly unleash the full potential of Ishin art when you act in perfect discordance with the principle of harmony between a blade and its bearer? Silence, you blabbering fool! I must achieve my goal. This was his life's dream, and the very purpose for which I was brought into being! I will concede that you are most perceptive. You see my predicament clearly. But you also underestimate my resolve. And you should face reality. Easy for you to say. Facing reality offers me nothing. I have no need of anything that would stand in my way. Not hesitation, not self-reflection, and certainly not your so-called reality. It is pointless to argue further, descendant of the Kaidahara clan. If you wish to save this man, then offer me your body in exchange. How stubbornly you stick to your wayward path. I do not believe for a second that you can challenge the almighty Shogun in your current state. So let us make a bet, and I will put your strength to the test. What? Surely you're not planning to agree to his demands. Very well. Then find yourself some enemies with whom you wish to cross blades. A taste of my power will more than convince you. Once we have dealt with them, we shall proceed to Tenshukaku. And as for your end of the bargain, if you lose, you must release Aminoma Yuya from your control. I accept. Don't do this, Kazuha! This is the only way to save Aminoma Yuya. If we don't do this, he'll forever be the Blade's puppet. The Cursed Blade's strength is currently very weak, and I sense he's hesitating. This suggests his heart is still not completely devoid of honor. The power of the Tatarigami lies in intensifying existing obsessions. This is the reason Mr. Nagato and Aminoma Yuya fell prey to it. Since I don't have any similar kinds of obsessions, I should be able to put up some resistance for a while. But Even if things take a turn for the worse, I still have you both here with me. We have a chance here to save an innocent victim. Your disdain for me betrays your woeful ignorance. I agreed to this bet because there are things I wish to learn, too. Now, take me in your hand. And Kazuha gets cursed. <laughs> Kazuha? I... I'm okay. I felt a little dizzy at first, but... Only for a moment. It's all right. So far, this was as I expected. I will. Thank you. What should we do next? Have you got a plan, Kazuha? We'll find some enemies. Although this blade has endured much turmoil, it probably hasn't experienced many real fights. If a blade built for Ishin art cannot enter a state of harmony between blade and bearer, it cannot unleash its true power. If he wants to avoid reality, then we need to fight until he has no choice but to face it. Wait a minute! Paimon remembers hearing about something from the Adventurers Guild. Since the Takatsukasa clan abandoned that secret base... Ah, uh, all right. All right, let's go. Please lead the way. What about Aminoma Yuya? What should we do with him? The Blade says he'll let Aminoma Yuya trail us silently. Although he hasn't regained his own consciousness yet, he is not in any immediate danger. Are we sure this is a good idea? Okay, fine. Wait, mail. Toma. Oh, apparently it's Toma's birthday. Oh, to the monster. Okay. All 
I got some food. What's this do? Stamina. <laughs> food for stamina. Yeah. You know, this shrine is helpful with a teleport waypoint because I have to glide down everywhere. I literally have to glide down everywhere from it. All the points over this part in, in Azuma. Oh, we're going right in here. Oh, we're fine. Maybe or maybe not. <laughs> we might be fine, we might not be fine. Hey, okay. I got a kazoo. Actually, how do they have them built? Oh, they have them built really well. What artifacts do they have? They don't have five star artifacts on him. Hey, what sword? Do oh yeah, he should have the cursed sword. Can I actually get this weapon? Time to go. I want a I want a character build like this. I'm all right. The blade is performing largely as I expected. Having gone so long without proper use and maintenance, it's become very difficult to use. Though he's making every effort to persevere, I do not think he can last much longer. Hmm. Something else on your mind? How strange. Rather than trying to control me, he is instead trying to match my fighting rhythm. Let's keep going. I like kazoo. It's my lucky day. That's not you fight, you just go straight up. Can I get them together? As one with wind and cloud. Whoa! Something's up with the blade! I can sense that his strength is slowly fading away. The blade is becoming more and more difficult for me to wield. He cannot hold out much longer. If he keeps persisting, he will likely break apart at any moment. What would that do to Amanome Yuya? I will be careful with it. He also says he does not have any plans to give up easily. He's still trying to achieve his goal. He's still trying to achieve his goal. Oh, wait. I keep hitting window key. Ah, not window key. Oh, there isn't a chest here. Well then. <laughs> and I got this chest, right? Yeah, okay. I just want to make sure I got all the chests. Wait, why is that one not lit? Those two aren't lit. Huh. Time to go. I'm just recovering stamina. Wind 
I didn't need to do that, but I could have defeated him without my ult. I mean, not his ult, but. Yes, and it looks like he's reached his limit. The sheen's grown a bit dimmer again. It doesn't look anywhere near as impressive as it did at the start. Perhaps this time we'll finally have a chance to see his true form. True form? What are you talking? Is this the same blade as before? It looks like a piece of junk. Now where are you choose to sword. continue in the state you're in, you wouldn't even be able to beat samurai and Kairagi, much less the Almighty Shogun. Maybe you did truly wield power to rival the Shogun's light when first forged. But the long journey from Snezhnaya back to Inazuma has left you battered and broken. It barely needs stating anymore. Your ambition is a flight of fancy. I finally figured out why it was that you agreed to my bet. You wanted to reach a state of harmony with me. For perhaps then you would still be able to wield commendable power. But regrettably, we are nothing alike. I will never understand your obstinacy and cruelty, nor can I empathize with the one who made you. The only one who truly understood you had already passed away by the time you were born. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Here they are! Take them down! More fighting with Kazoo. Where do they keep coming from? Yup, yup! We can help this time! Don't worry. I'll use my own blade. It's just more of the same. Actually, what weapon do they have now? Oh, that one. Oh, wait a minute, that's still not printed. Okay. I'm just looking at it in detail again. Some more idea on the paint thing. Oh yeah, this is exactly the one I printed. You fought way better with your own sword. <sighs> you are a true Kaidehara in flesh and in spirit. Though we fought briefly together, you have seen me for who I really am. No one knew anything of my story throughout my travels, nor did I tell it to anyone. You are the first person to know the truth. I thought that if I could achieve Ishin harmony with you, perhaps there would still be a ray of hope for me. But in this too, you have failed. Indeed. No matter how hard I tried, I could not attain that perfect harmony that your personal blade does with you. Too much time has passed. My physical state is poor and without proper maintenance. I can only disguise my true appearance behind an outer sheen. Yours is the blade that took on the Muso no Hitotachi. And what a magnificent blade it is. Perhaps I shall never reach that level of glory. Actually, this is just a generic blade that I picked up during my travels in Liyue. Wh what? Forging and maintenance are both important for a blade, but they are not everything. This blade has traveled the land with me for many years, and we have formed a close bond during that time. Plus, in the moment that I most needed it, I received aid from another power. Skill, blade, determination, and desire. All these must be aligned in the practice of Ishin art. There is something else I must tell you. Though your maker may not have been aware, your ability to possess your own consciousness derived from the power of the Tatarigami. Tatarigami is a malevolence from the ancient past. It is the source of your mania and savagery. Though you tried to cooperate with me while I was wielding you, the part of you driven by Tatarigami was constantly trying to seize control of my body. I sensed it, but I couldn't change it. 
It is an integral part of my consciousness. I resisted its temptations because I wanted to save Amenoma Yuya. But I do not know whether you yourself have any intention of trying to fight it. I feel a great sense of regret for you. Since you embarked on a journey bound for a destination you were destined never to reach. The moment you embarked on this journey, you lost the only person who could have ever unleashed your true potential. And yet there was no way for you to turn your back on his ambition. You have known this for a long time. It is the true source of your despair. He gave me everything. My life. My form, my consciousness, and purpose. How could I possibly deny him his wish? I said to him, Do not worry, from here on I shall forge your legacy. How could I go back on my word? Aww. I believe our bet is now settled. I have nothing further to say. Where are you going, Kazuha? He now has neither the ability nor the motivation to cause further harm. Let's give him some time to reflect on things. Now we leave. When I touched the hilt for the first time, it's as if I was transported to a strange Shit, I forgot dimension. to get the chest. It was somewhere I've never been. I forgot to get the chest. The bladesmith lay quietly ah. on the bed. His frail face barely visible under the moonlight. His breaths were weak, and his life near its end. A newly forged blade lay by his side, listening attentively to his final words. Wow. That was the blade's memory, wasn't it? Indeed. While in exile in Snezhnaya, the bladesmith eventually learned the truth behind everything that had happened. The Ishin art had been dealt a devastating blow by the desertion of its best smiths. He spent the rest of his life in the forge, not to vent his frustration and hatred, but to atone for his actions. He felt intense regret at being tricked by the Fatui, but he could never again return to his homeland. His sole wish was to one day return his single proudest creation back to the land of his birth. So he instructed this sentient blade to find a way back to Inazuma, no matter how long or how hard the journey. But he never wished to rival the gods. All he wanted to show was that they once shone brilliantly as blade and smith. That they were still worthy of being trusted. So that's the true story. But after that, the blacksmith's intentions were worked by the Tatari Gami, slowly turning his proud creation into the cursed blade of today. Right. I believe the bladesmith might never have known that the power he worked with was that of the Tatari Gami. The hatred within that power is what sent the blade down its ill fated path. This blade has committed unforgivable atrocities, but only because it lost its original master. No one was there to correct its errors when it was losing its way. <sighs> Shame it's too late now. Yes, it is too late. Time would not wait or stop because of his determination. While the world moved on, his ambition remained stubbornly stuck at that fleeting moment at the dawn of his journey. He seems to have calmed down, though. Let's go and check in. Get the chest before I forget. The one over here? No. Is there any in here? Not this time. When I look back at the past, I can remember the day of my forging like it was just yesterday. I once told him that I would pay any price to fulfill his wishes. Such was the debt I owed to him for giving me the gift of consciousness. But darkness and slaughter numb the mind. 
Over time, I lost sight of the difference between gratitude and grudge. Not only did I fail to fulfill his ambition, I also defiled it. You are finally seeing reality clearly. Since we agreed to the terms of the bet, I will honor the agreement and release Amenoma Yuya. But I still cannot bring myself to forsake his ambition. So, may I ask you to help me fulfill the ambitions of myself and my creator? Hey! Now you're adding yours into the mix, too? Jeez, don't push your luck, mister! It has to be done in this order. At least hear what I have to say. And if you don't agree, I will still release Ame no Mayuya, as promised. My physical form, as well as the knowledge I possess, should still be of some value to you. His attitude has grown a lot milder. What do you think, Kazuha? Should we give him a chance? Let's hear it. Thank you all. When I was first forged, my maker was already terminally ill. He told me that he had wanted me to have the grandest opening battle. Alas, after that, he never rose from his sickbed again. Nor have I ever had the chance to prove myself in battle sense. My fights were devoid of any noble meaning. They were merely the next step in my never-ending journey. The next in a long line of transgressions. You are a fine warrior. I would like to request your hand in battle and experience a true duel between samurai. Oh? And who would be the opponent? I will release Ame no Mayuya and restore his consciousness. Perhaps after that, you can convince him to commit to a fight with you. You must have plenty of reasons to both hate me and desire a good fight. Understood. Then let's start by waking him up and seeing if he has the stamina and will to fight. I see. He used my body to inflict harm on others. I utterly despise him and his actions. But since he stayed true to your agreement by releasing me, he must still have some remaining semblance of honor. If a duel can help to set this state of affairs in order, I am willing to put myself forward. I do not wish to be a mere victim in this story. There's no need to worry. We'll vouch for your innocence to the Tenryo Commission. Thanks for your help. Who knows how this would have ended without your intervention. All right, then let's move on. More Ronin could appear at any moment. We can't stay here. In any case, for a final duel, I think we should aim for a greater sense of ceremony. I get the luxury chest. I have to get the luxury chest. <laughs> There's a closer teleport waypoint. I can't glide there. I have to go here and then walk over. This reminds Paimon a bit of the Crypt's Crash. Yep, we still can't let our guard down, even now. Paimon has a sneaking suspicion that Blade hasn't told us everything. Still, even if he's way past the point of redemption, it's hard not to feel a teensy bit sorry for him. Are you ready? Ready? Okay. All right then. Successor of Ishin Art, Kaidahara Kazuha. Successor of Amenoma Art. Amenome Yuya. Honored to cross blades with you. It is my honor also. Oh, we're fine. 
I see. I don't know what I try to how they have them programmed to attack. <laughs> I want that ability. That would be nice. That would be a. That all he's doing though. Time to go. He does that, and then he just does the rapid dash. Seems like it. Wind strike. <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Falling leaves adorn my night. Thank you for the experience. Although he appears battered and broken, in your hands it seems he's regained a glimmer of brilliance. His sense of I knocked my mic down. Cruelty yep. has completely faded away. But that same sense of determination remains strong. You also fought well. I'm sure he relished the experience. There are a few things that I shall leave him to tell you himself. I must apologize to you for all that has transpired. You need not seek my forgiveness. Nor do I have the right to forgive you on your victim's behalf. It is too late for all of that. I do not wish for forgiveness. I only hope that you will see my transgressions as mine alone and not let them stain the legacy of Ishin art. I strayed far from the straight and narrow path, but the Ishin art still has a worthy successor in Kaede Hara Kazuha. I beseech you, please understand this. Yes, I too trust Mr. Kaede Hara to do the right thing. Thank you, successor of Amenoma Art. This blade has also told me that he has another wish. He would like to visit the Amenoma Smithy. Maybe we can go back there together. What does he want to go there for? I am not sure, but I think that all this is about to come to an end. The next to teleport waypoint. No, but I can get there from here. Man, I got stamina at least. Usually by the time I walk there, I'm out of stamina. Okay. Oh, we're back oh, at the forge. It's Yuya. You have returned. I am sorry to have troubled you. It's all thanks to them that I was able to return safely. You tell them about what happened. A prized Ishin blade. Turned weapon that controls the human mind. <sighs> Considering their forging philosophy, this was indeed within the realm of possibility. This is a great pity. But I have some good news as well. Ryuji from the Bantan Sango Detective Agency tells me that they've found the missing Mr. Nagato. Really? Is he okay? Yes. Badly wounded, but he will live. And now that Yuya is back, it seems like the final ending to this story is a happy one after all. I think I know what you want to do. What's wrong, Kazuha? Is the blade whispering in your ear again? Yes. He said he wants to take control of me for a brief moment. What? No way! Hasn't it learned its lesson? He tells me that he's thought of another way to fulfill his maker's wish. And he assures me that he won't use my body for anything nefarious. I have decided to let him do it. You... But... He... The decision's you. yours. I will explain my reasons later. Okay. I am ready. Let us begin. Please, stay true to your promise. My power is almost spent. Without him, my eventual demise is inevitable. But if 
If I abandon the future to give everything I have in this moment, my physical form can be forged anew. Everything? You mean... Yes. The cost is my entire consciousness. <laughs> valuable resource for your studies. Ishii lives on, and its finest hour is yet to come. He's controlling Kazuha. Even if I am not the one to prove its might to the Shogun, as long as it is an Ishin blade, crafted by Kaedehara hands, it will still fulfill his final wish. Thank you, son. Over the years, my real name has been forgotten by all. I'm ashamed to utter it, yet it remains strong in my mind. Kagotsurube Ishii. This name is now yours to keep. Hm. Rest in peace. Ah! He said it had to be done in that order. His consciousness will disappear forever after fulfilling the bladesmith's wish. Kagotsurube Ishin. It was the first time I ever heard his name. It seems like deep down he disapproved of his own actions. And thus chose to bury this name deep within his heart. Only in the final moments... Before his consciousness faded, was he willing to entrust it to another? Seems like he really, really wanted to fulfill his maker's wish. The same fervent ambition that gave him the motivation to keep going forward also fueled the stubborn determination that blinded him to the path ahead. Speaking for myself, I'd rather see him recognize and atone for his mistakes than see him I Nothing understand. Nothing to scoff at. Perhaps this is a flaw in my personality. I've always been captivated by grand aspirations. Hearing his wish to rival the divine light touched something inside of me. Just as the sight of those who fought to repeal the vision hunt decree did. Your quest to face the gods and trace your sibling inspires me in the same way. After everything I've seen, perhaps these pursuits fascinate me a little more than they should. I will continue to support you from this point on. Know that you will have my assistance whenever you need it. I'll hold you to your word. Shouldn't we also go update Kujo Kamaji? Oh, you're right. We need to tell him about the findings of our investigation. And it's also time to give him a response to the offer he made me. Alright. Can I teleport over here? Where are we going? Where's the marker? Ah, over here. Ah, next to the Raiden Shogun statue. <laughs> hmm. ah, you've returned. I hear that the issue has been resolved. Uh, though this was a treacherous investigation indeed, we're most fortunate that no lives were lost. The Tenryo Commission has already attended to the danger at the warehouse. The investigation into Amanoma Yuya should conclude soon. I do not believe he will be charged with any crime. Wow, you sure kept your ear to the ground. Then we needn't recount all the details again. Now, as to your earlier offer, I wish to give you my answer. Please, take a look at this blade. What's this? 
Kagotsurube Ishin, a weapon crafted using a long-lost blade forging art of the Kaidahara clan. By means of a series of fortuitous events, I was able to recover and restore him. I also promised him that I will continue to study and pass on the secrets of Ishin art. And so, it looks like I will likely continue with my journey across the nations, learning more about this blade as I go. Uh, I see. I understand. The Kaidahara clan has always been a family of bladesmiths, so it is only proper for me to continue on this path. Were I to accept your goodwill, I may find myself embroiled in conflicts between the Shogunate and Sangonomiya. That would not suit me. Uh, you misunderstand. That was most certainly not our intent. I am aware, but I still desire to continue walking my own path. Very well. I can understand. Then let's pretend this offer was never raised. However, if you should ever change your mind or find yourself in need of the Shogunate's assistance, please do not hesitate to inform me. Great. Thank you for your generosity. Where will you travel to next, Kazuha? Hmm. I'll probably take to the seas with Captain Beto again for now. As for my next destination, let's see where the wind takes me. Is there an animo vision of him to say? <laughs> Is there another one? Or is that it? Oh, I got it! I got this sword. So what sword do I have on Bennett? Have that. Pyro type. Let me screenshot that. I want to see something. It's Charger. This is Kazuo sword. But I want to see how good you do on Bennett. I know I won't work on Bennett anyway. <laughs> Actually, I don't have I leveled up Navia's sword at all. Yeah. Oh, I need these things. Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, I can... I can buy stuff. I need... Old Operative's pocket watch. I can buy one. I can buy two. I'm not gonna use them right now, but I can buy two. How long until they recharge? 23 days. Now I just need more of these. And the domain's available. Oh, I guess I completed Kazus. It's not here anymore. Oh, the I see. These are story quests. These are the hangout ones. Okay. So the ones here are the story. These here, I don't think I can do Kave. No, I can do Kaya. Wait, no. Wait, I have to do a lot of quests. I thought I'd be able to do Kaya. I gotta do Kokomis. Okay. We'll do a Kokomis. This should be 
where Kokomi said to meet her. Do you still remember this place? Paimon remembers we came by here last time we visited Watatsune Island. That was back when you did your stint as captain of Swordfish 2. Hmm. Paimon's curious whether the Resistance troops still remember you. Things on the island must have changed a lot since then. Oh, shall we take a look around? Yeah, let's go look around. If the enemy outnumbers you, seek their weakness and exploit it. If you outnumber the enemy, seek unequivocal domination and crush them. Marauders on the waterfront are supplied by sea. Burning their ships is the path to success. Huh. General Goro, sir, do, do you have a verdict? More or less. From the directives left behind by Her Excellency, we can surmise that a Fatui ship is moored nearby. This explains their aggressive posture. We could split into two teams, one to draw their attention, and the other to circle around behind enemy lines and set fire to their ship. They'd have nowhere to run. Uh, then again, Madame Kokumi made clear that we are not to split up without sufficient forces. We'd risk being picked off one by one until our whole line of defense disintegrated. Sir, shall I send for reinforcements? I doubt there's time. Based on their movements, they'd likely be gone before our troops arrived. Her Excellency's directives also stipulate that we should wait in ambush and avoid making the first move. Uh, since we lack sufficient troops, I don't think we can afford to engage the enemy at this time. Sir, we're just gonna stand by and watch them leave? Surely there must be another way. Uh, Her Excellency's directives also state help may arrive when all seems lost. As for where this help is supposed to come from, I... Hey, Goro! What are you guys up to? Yeah, I was walking right in Quincy the amount of time. To Island. That's great! <laughs> Her Excellency's directives are as reliable as ever. You've arrived just in time. Recently, the remnants of the Fatui forces have been unusually active. We've been monitoring their movements waiting in ambush here. Unfortunately, we don't have the manpower to split into two teams. Can we ask you to keep them occupied? Hard to say no when it's the Fatui. Whatever they're planning, we won't let them get away with it. Good. There's not a moment to lose. We'll go behind enemy lines and sabotage their ship. Let's meet back here afterward. Watch yourselves. We'll be back shortly. Seems like the Resistance still remembers us. Come on, let's help them get this situation under control. You'll get frostbite. Let me delete the Electo one. I hear everything. Can't see. Watch out. Sorry. Fuck. I need to go make some more eggs. And more food. Surrender. Snap, everybody, stand back. Let's light it up. Oh no. Huh? That's gonna hurt in the morning. But judgment is upon you. My judgment. I hate these things anyway. Alright, good. I only got one to deal with now. Oh, two, but. I gotta go make some more food. Keep up. One with the forest. Ow. No. 
You knocked me out of the thing. One with the force. Yeah. Could it break? Fuck. Curse. Fuck. So. Can't see the flowers. Have Fuck. Yeah. These fuckers killed me. I gotta lower his shield somehow. It's one of these shield guys. Come back over this way a little bit. If I do die, it's not too bad. I'm gonna guide him over this way a little bit. I thought I died, but good, I didn't. Just be 
Let's light it up. It isn't time for a break yet. Everybody, stand back. Not breaking a sweat. Nowhere to run. No slacking off. Huh? Why do they never miss? <laughs> hey there, touch it. Kill Joy. We've only just begun. This should be fun. I'm doing this as a primo, so. Die, 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 die. Alright, hello. I'm doing fine. What about you? I'm totally not struggling to fight the story quest thing right now. <laughs> But I'm doing, yeah. You just came back from night shift, and you are so dying right now. Go rest. As my time comes. <laughs> I'm sure. I, I'm just focused on this right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, one of them's healing. Is it you? No, actually, it's the tank thing, I think, that's doing the healing. I don't remember. So that's why this is being held right now. No, it's not you. Okay, is it you? I should know it'd be you. Right? The water guy always healing. Yeah. I just forgot which one it was, is all. He's the only one that's not. hasn't healed. Yes, do walk in the water and drown. Better help me. Fuck, I'm swimming. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Walk over here. Get out of the. Can't see. No slacking off. Let's light it up. This should be fun. Coming at you. Huh? Get out of the water. Get out of the water. Get out of the water. We're dead. Okay. Not breaking a sweat. I almost got him dead. He's in the water, so it's a bit hard to hit him. He's using the water to his advantage. <laughs> I'm trying to hit him. Let's nip that in the butt. Don't hit him, he's just gonna get healed. Hit him. The one tanking in the water. Yeah. Keep up. No slacking off. Can't Let's light it up. Fuck, I'm in the water. I'm going in. <laughs> Not taking a sweat. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I didn't- I didn't sing out of way. Get out of the- they're, now they're all in the water. 
We go. Now they're all in the water. <laughs> Adventure time. And shroud. They take it back together. Indeed, they are. <laughs> Is that the one of the Fatui secrets? <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to kink shame here or anything. <laughs> Let's light it up. Sliver of health. Okay, now I can kill him. Next, I should kill you. <laughs> I can kill you. You're more active. I really don't care that much. For the when it comes to that. So it really doesn't bother me. Everybody stand back. I must collect my Let's light it up and shroud. You can die. Now I got it. I was forgot about the healer. <laughs> Now to be easy. There we go. I made that harder than it should have been. You want to not sure how to call you. you? Don't want anyone to be sad. Hey, I get you. We were lucky to have you here. We'd have no way to prevent their escape without you. I'm just doing story quests right now. In this. Oh wow! This is a whole book. Is it all Kokomi's directive? Yeah. Well, no, not all of them. I have five more volumes with me. Five volumes. Are you serious? Her Excellency always plans for every scenario. Plus, these are her general operational directives, which are more comprehensive than most. Still, I'm trying to allow that. To have them. They make sure we're prepared for every eventuality. Okay, thank you. Complex. In Azuma, uh, this quest is a pain. Yes, I'm not doing the uh, beating in Azuma. I've done that. This is a Kokomi story quest, but yeah, that one was a pain. Captain, are you back at Watatsumi Island to lead Swordfish Two again? We've all been feeling your absence. How's everyone doing? Her Excellency says that now is a time of peace and that we should reduce the size of the military and focus on helping the civilian population return to normal life. And the Zuma about quest was pain though. Into task forces, supporting the platoons. The other half have been given various other functions. I just did in Azuma the other day. It's all slacking course, so far behind in the game. Done. The other day, an old buddy of mine was grumbling about being forced to build houses. Said they'd have to drag him away from the front line, kicking and screaming. <laughs> the spirit of the resistance is alive and well, huh? Anyway, we're here because Kokomi invited us to the victory feast. Do you know where we could find her, Koro? I believe Her Excellency is currently at Boro Village. There were reports of a possible disturbance over there. If I'm not mistaken, her Excellency has gone to you hate him. In the only thing you do in there is boss. You hate him. The only thing you do in there is boss hunting and Magu. On your way over, and it's only Magu. Ah. I'm sensing a growing unease among them, but I don't know what's causing it. They won't say. Hello, Ralphie. Paimon and I are KO. He keeps talking. I know, right? I don't like it one bit. I suspect there's trouble afoot. It'd be nice to catch up with them. Be good to see everyone again. Ready when you are. It goes. How goes the Genshin Ryu? It goes fine. Well, if I attack the right thing in the right order. <laughs> uh. 
That's what makes it harder. <laughs> Ani get to Shania, whatever the other one is. Yeah. I missed it. <laughs> You're casually getting your Paimon far into the air. No, what we need is we need Mihoyo to give us the update where we can turn Paimon into emergency food. That's what we need. <laughs> Wait, aren't you Captain Paimon still? Oh, well, it is you. Oh, you have our gratitude. Watatsumi Island wouldn't have come to peace without your efforts. I wasn't with Swordfish too, but I, I did see you with Tatarasuna. Oh, you really gave it to those shogunate samurai in the fight of honor. <laughs> oh, it was quite the show. You want to eat that Paimon is poisonous, probably. Is there you need from me? You know, good service. point. I never thought about that. Maybe uh, that's what makes Paimon so annoying all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed it too. In fairness, the battle isn't long over, and, well, perhaps <laughs> it isn't quite over for them. You know so I maybe mean? we get. Oh, no, what do you do, right? Death in the face that day. Hey, Fatui, we got a gift for you. you forget in a hurry. Hey, Paimon, you want to help us fight the Fatui? Hop in this pot real quick. Over. But people can't just snap back into normal life again. <laughs> I think things will improve, but it's going to take some time. I don't know what else it could be, but what I do know is that as long as her or excellency is with us, Watatsumi Island is punches safe. her into the moon. And all the more so now that you're back. <laughs> Seriously, if there's so ever anything you need, just say the word. Do not lick up by animals or bright colors. They are probably poisonous. Don't bite Paimon. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's why we get a Paim the Fatui to do it. We gotta get rid of him some point, right? <sighs> hmm. Don't I know you? I've definitely seen you somewhere before. Unsettled. Hmm. Un unsettled how? Hello. Notice anything? How goes it? Five money equals animal, basically. Not that I would necessarily. I keep to myself mostly. They're all too rowdy for me. We're at peace now, finally, and I, for one, intend to make Tea the time? most of it. Is that okay My if I call you that? Now is about two things. <sighs> Sorry that I can't be more help to you. I'll tell you someone you could ask though. I was saying, is it okay so if I call you that? <laughs> she knows like tea time. everything. Huh. Seems he's about to fall asleep. Let's leave him to rest and go okay. find someone else. But how goes it for you? Oh, we're going right over here. And thanks for the follow, tea time. <laughs> I don't understand what her excellency is thinking. I mean, peace talks. Time to go to bed. Why would she agree to that? I have big sleeping now. Everyone knows you have a good rest the of the commission. day. For me, it's a good night. Coordinating with the Fatui and plan to continue their attacks. Good night, Spine. Wait, for have real? a good one. You're thanks sure for coming by and thanks for the follow. Some of our guys had a run in with a few Fatui. They caught them conspiring together. I always forget to wave. <laughs> I knew it. The Tenryo Commission are a bunch of crooks. I'll never change. Honestly, it's kind of naive for Her Excellency to take them at their word, isn't it? Shh, keep your voice down. Someone's coming. Hey there, what you talking about? Uh, Captain, you're back. I'm here to join you in the, <laughs> in the victory you feast. You tell the captain about what we were discussing just now. No, no, let's not mention it. He's one of her closest advisors. For all we know, the peace talks could have been his idea. I'm sure the captain would see where we're coming from, but you're right. We should probably play it safe. <clears throat> uh, welcome back to Watatsumi Island, Captain. Nothing to report here. Uh, yeah, Everything totally is... nothing hey, to okay. report. Her Excellency should be in the village at present. Head straight over. Can we call him out? Can we call him out? Oh, and I want to call him out. Paimon definitely detected some hush hush going on. Oh, we're not going to get to call him out. <laughs> talk, we might as well head over to the village. I was hoping we could call them out. Can I call them out? Uh, reporting in, Captain. If you're looking for Her Excellency, you should find. 
Oh. I can't call him out. I was hoping I could. Admit it. We know you've been secretly supplying the Tenryo Commission with goods purchased on Watatsumi Island. I knew something was off about a Tenryo Commission merchant doing business here. So, what do you have to say for yourself, huh? Yeah, I gotta add timer on. So if you have an ad blocker, you know when you get it working, you by. should have been allowed to set foot on this island, let alone do business here. Take him away. Hold on. Wait. Kokomi, there you are. Something's going down over here. You should take a look. Pronto. Your Excellency, this merchant is suspected of criminal activity, so we seized him for questioning. Our surveillance shows that in his whole time here, he has made numerous purchases, but no sales. And yet he has wait, no on. stock in his possession. Oh wait, I need to fix we this. Highly probable I need to fix the ad timer. The commission it's because the I uh, moved this position. I, I haven't. I, uh... That will do. Let's not let ourselves get too worked up here, shall we? Everyone take a deep breath with me. In. And out. Better? Matsuda, Uchimura, I understand that you're concerned for the safety of Watatsumi Island. But before we make any decisions over whether this merchant there we go. is Ad guilty or not, back. <laughs> we must give him the chance to explain himself. There we go. If he's guilty, of course. That's what that window is supposed to be. But if they he's guilty, Ad Timer, <laughs> he doesn't deserve to be falsely <laughs> accused. This is Watatsumi Island. We deal in facts, not opinions. Excuse me, sir. As you know, my subordinates have some concerns ah, about gosh. activity here. <laughs> Perhaps you could explain your side of the story. <laughs> of course, I can explain everything. Reverse. I'll get to reverse um, after I can. I'm a trader on the island, so naturally I built up some inventory. I was planning to hold off on selling until the prices went up, but then um, uh, <laughs> the best time uh, to do reverse is when I'm fighting. Oh, oh but then. I was robbed by the Fatui. They took everything. Now you think ah, he's that. lying. First I lose all my inventory, then I get treated like a criminal. Hmm. And why should we believe you? So what? That doesn't prove they took his goods. It Even does sound like did, he's lying. They still end up in the Tenryo Commission's hands. They're in this together. What? The Tenryo Commission are colluding with the Fatui now? This is the first I've heard of it. Ah, I suppose it is true. What's that got to do with me? What, the Tenryo Commission start colluding with the Fatui after the fighting's already finished? Hmm, after the five minute right verse is on you, dude, again. On. Okay, I'm gonna tell you when I'm gonna turn it on, so. Of the Kujo clan recently. It doesn't seem like he'd have the time to be colluding right now. But on the way over here, we. When I get out of this, I go into settings and turn it on. Or should I wait? Yes. Until I'm in the actual fighting. Because I think it's going to be a lot of talking right now. So I mean, if you want me to wait until I'm actually fighting to activate it, I can wait. the talks to discuss future plans in detail. But just as arrangements for the peace talks began to fall into place, I started hearing Also, if Genshin let me invert my mouse, I would invert my mouse too. But it doesn't let me. to completely wipe out Watatsumi Island. If that's the case... Then the peace talks are likely a trap. Even the Kamisato clan could be involved. Sir, are you quite certain that your goods were stolen by the Fatui? Yes, it's the truth. I, I swear. They stole my goods and then they ran off that way. I bet that's where that hideout is. Very well. Mm. The potential ramifications of this incident are serious. We will retrieve your goods and if everything is in order, it will prove your innocence. However, if we find evidence to corroborate the claims of collusion between the Fatui and the Tenryo Commission, I expect you to fully comply with our investigation. And if there is fighting, why are the ad, please? Yes, of course. I will, uh... Thank I'll wait to answer for you. Matsuda? Uchimura? Well received, Your Excellency. Good. Now, Traveler, I mean... Captain of Swordfish Platoon Section 2. Would you join me in the investigation? Sure. <laughs> Good. I, I think there's about to be fighting, though. But 
I'll wait till the ad's over. I have a few new things to teach you. All right, follow me. If we do find the merchant's goods in the hands of the Fatui, there might be fighting in the second. So I'll wait. Actually, if there is, Whatever's going on between the Fatui I'm not going to start it if there is fighting. The There's the ad. About time, Twitch. This guy does Sealy think. Or is this Sealy going to take us? I'm blind because it disappeared. <laughs> Guess I went in there. I doubt it though. Um, since the next thing involves Fatui. Maybe. Oh, there's some things right there to fight. There's a chest. I'm waiting for the ad to end. Wait, what's right here? Oh, the flower. Oh, hell. I didn't know that was going to activate things. I did not mean for that to activate things. Okay. Now I'm going to start the five minute timer. These things are annoying to fight, though. Hey there. Ah. Fuck. There goes messing with me already. <laughs> I don't think they need anything yet, but... You know, I don't care anymore. I hate the flowers anyway. Bye bye flowers. <laughs> was talking about. From the looks of it, it used to be a hillichel camp. Fuck. Who knows why the Fatui occupied it? Uh, looks pretty heavily guarded. How are we supposed to get in? Not by brute force, that's for sure. But that's not. A I problem. picked up a thing during the ad break and then an start advantage. triggered those. We haven't given away our positions. Those things are annoying to fight. Our enemy is in the light while we are in the shadows. Oh, what happened? Oh, the upper hand. The, I dropped one of my trackers. Hmm. I think we have three options available. Option one, take the king and its checkmate. The Fatui's presence in Inazuma is weak at present. Nothing more than a few scattered remnants. If we strike from above and take down their... Because, you know, I don't use a camera for my tracking. But I got hands, arms. Option two. Hit them where it hurts. Over there, for example. A store of gunpowder cakes. If we manage to discreetly set the gunpowder alight without alerting them, it would steal them a That's this program blow. here, you see. They'd be caught completely off guard. Both their morale and fighting capacity... It's 3D would be avatars, though, there. but... Also, Option can my three. tracking work? Use the environment yeah, it's a little scuffed. We're close to the sea here, so but hey, I got the scuffed tag, I tag I what I did. It didn't get anywhere, so I took it out. Also, this is kind and of together, broken. We can shove them into submission. Wow. That's our grand strategist. It's a lot to think about. So that's how all, like throw that's works and all that. Choose. That will depend on our <laughs> 3D is slightly always abilities. scuffed, but that's hardly appeal. Yeah, the air I suppose. A solution, but requires superior combat skills. With an explosion, we could rapidly reduce their numbers without a protracted battle. You remember this uh, avatar at all? Stealth would be required during the operation, or we'd risk exposing ourselves. If we decide to take advantage of the environment, we should be prepared for a lengthy siege. Indeed. So, which is your preferred option? Look, not there. Indeed, it is. 
It's a little broken on here, but I have it fixed on here for the most part. Let's spark things up a little. We'll draw them out first to minimize damage to the camp itself. I haven't had much chance to fight alongside you in the past. I'm not sure I'll be able to keep up with your pace. Still, not to worry. Even if I can't claim to be a warrior myself, I'm no stranger to the battlefield. This fight should be well within my capabilities. Okay, let's clear out the camp and find out what they've been up to. Fuck. Let's oh, the flowers are still there. Ah! Ah! I got the flowers hitting me so- Oh, this is gonna be hell. I can't even attack him because of the thing. Uh, no, ah, ah, don't go in there. Ah, yes, my controls are inverted. Ah, fuck. I don't know who I'm attacking. Oh, you. I'm attacking you. Okay. Where are you? Right here. I'm going in. Watch out. Can't see. I keep getting stuck on the wall. Ah. Hey, ready? Go. He's over there. Fuck. Go this way. Fuck, don't swim more. Okay, that's the five minute timer on it. The five minute reverse timer, bro. I'll leave it going for the fight. Where'd you go? There you are. Where'd you go? Oi! Stop making me waste my ult! You haven't seen the last of us. I'll go to the end of the fight. <laughs> Oi, now go this way. You can die. Oh yeah, I forgot. Koga me support, right? We use this. We do all the talking. I'll leave the reverse for the fight. The intent of that is not to scare me, but just to say, just do it. <laughs> but it scared me there. That one didn't. <laughs> it scared me in reverse that time. I'm just spamming E right now and doing that improperly. Bang is the one to use, yes. It's the timing that matters, not the subject. <laughs> Fuck, don't jump in the water! Can I hit him through the wall? I don't know if I can. Yeet! But hello, DK, how goes it?
Fuck, don't swim in the water. Here to start chaos, are you now? <laughs> oi, 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 oi. Chaos is having my controls inverted. You know, really, the timer's not going right now. It ends after this fight, right? We could have a bit of that in here. Yeah. Have a load of this. So dog fox says that call me. Okay. Excellent work. But everyone forgot about it. <laughs> All thanks to your genius tactics. Alright, let's one of y'all use reverse again. I can invert my controls back. Them. Winning a battle takes a concerted effort from everyone involved. Victory never belongs to a single person. Now that you mention it, I now it applies again. I must admit, I wasn't expecting to find the Fatui laying low in a Hillichol camp. Presumably, and not my stream deck down and started playing the music. Secret for quite some time. What's their objective? Are the soldiers right? Could they really be in collusion with the Tenryo Commission? Mm, let's scour the camp for evidence. If the merchant's story is true, the inventory should be here. All right, time to take a look around. So these are the Fatui food supplies? Here. Oh, there's three. Oh, it's over here, okay. This is way too big. Look here. Could these belong to the merchant? There's a lot of stuff. Some of what them else have is the here? Commission emblem. Ah. Hokumi. Hokumi? We found the merchant's stuff. Look. Hmm. I see. Something wrong? Oh, nothing. I just zoned out for a moment. Let's see here. Yes, these are the stolen goods, all right. Food, medicine, farming tools. All essential for post-war recovery. And he was probably stockpiling them until he could make a handsome profit. By contrast, it's doubtful that the Tenryo Commission has any need of these items. So the idea that he was supplying them doesn't make a lot of sense. In all likelihood, he's just an opportunistic merchant. Nothing quite as scandalous as Matsuda and Uchimura had imagined. Uh, he's hardly a saint, though, right? How could he stockpile things that people are desperate for? We're not just gonna give them back to him and let he him go. He stockpiles them and we? charges them more for him. Well, Basically, supply and demand, right. Paimon. Don't worry. I had already foreseen this. In my recently issued post-war temporary decree, I included restrictions on the prices of essential everyday goods. These items will ultimately reach the people at a reasonable price. If he had taken the time to read the decree, it's unlikely he ever would have ended up in this predicament. Kokomi, you think of everything! <sighs> I wish that were true. Take this alleged collusion between the Tenryo Commission and the Fatui, for example. I'm still completely stumped. <sighs> The low energy doesn't exactly help. Uh huh? What do you mean? Nothing. Come on. Let's take the goods back. It's not long now until the victory feast. It'll be a race against the clock to get all of this resolved before it's Got it! First we mend the peace, then we attend the feast. First Oh, we're going over here, okay. Of course there's not a teleport waypoint to it. Oh, 
Oh, so I have a, like a million channel point thing that's just pure pain at 100%. Oh, uh, no, don't worry. Everyone forgot about that thing. Oh, yeah, you notice something? Phantom Bot's not working. And I don't know why it's connected. Commands work on it. My goods. You got but the back. timer's oh. not working anymore. Thank you, Your Excellency. And thank you, Captain. If you're still here, DK. See, I, I told you I was innocent. Hmm. I'm not so sure. You could have easily planned the whole thing with the Fatui in advance. <laughs> Based on the information we gathered from the Fatui camp, I mean that thing is on my drone. If people want to torment me more. <laughs> so knowing how the Fatui operates, they would have left. But no worry, we all forgot about that. Uh, but what if? No ifs, no buts. We recovered the goods. As agreed, this is sufficient to establish his innocence. Uh, apologies. Guess we got carried away. <laughs> ah, what did I tell you? You army numbskulls don't have a clue. All brawn and no brains coming to me with your crazy conspiracies. Lay off me next time, got it? Sir, I am afraid you're getting ahead of yourself. You may be innocent of the accusations originally leveled at you, but huh. hoarding a Hey, look, I don't have to invert him anymore, but DK knows that decree. sound. Night you controls. You bear the consequences. You have already admitted to being the owner of these goods, so we are obliged to respond with appropriate measures. In addition to enforcing the sale of these goods at the accepted rates, there will also be a fine. The amount of which... Wait, 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 Your Excellency, whose side are you on here? I have no business taking sides. As the Divine Priestess of Watatsumi Island, I abide by the principle of clear and consistent rewards and punishments. Just as merit must be recognized, mistakes must be penalized. You may have been proven innocent of- Wait a minute, I- but- uh... Well, don't just stand there, take him away! Time to pay up! Your Excellency, he says all the goods belong to him, but it doesn't add up. Those of a Tenryo Commission emblem are probably his, but not the rest. Especially these ones. They're clearly for shrine use. It seems the Fatui simply dumped all their stolen goods in one place. Leave the shrine paraphernalia to me. As for the rest, I'll leave you to sit through and try to track down the owners. I know, that's a lot to ask. Not at all, Your Excellency. We're on it. But if I may, Your Excellency, maybe there were no signs of collusion in this case. But our people know what they saw. Something is going on between the Tenryo Commission and the Fatui. I know the peace talks are coming up, so please keep an open mind. I understand your concern. I'll be sure to give it further consideration. Hmm. I'm going to take these items back to the Sanglonomia Shrine. Why don't you come along for the walk? Oh, we're gonna walk now? Watatsumi Island observes different customs than the rest of Inazuma. I imagine it must all seem a little alien to you. Take a walk of Kokumi. Okay, where are we going? I always hate walking. It's always slow. I didn't see that they have run. time since I last came to this village. There's been a lot to deal with recently. Next time you visit, I'll take you to visit Watatsumi Island's old shrine. That's the annoying thing. I wanna walk faster. Thank you. You know, the earliest shrine on Watatsumi Island was not located in Sangonomiya. It was close to the Statue of the Seven. Back then, the people of this island recognized the Shogun's existence, despite not venerating her as the Shogunate do. But after she struck down our protector deity, the shrine was abandoned. Relations between Watatsumi Island and the Shogunate have soured ever since. Mistrust has become deep-rooted over time. I've been hoping to raise all this at the peace talks and discuss it properly. Grievances have to be let go eventually. Your Excellency, 
What brings you out this way on your busy schedule? Oh my, you're looking a little worse for wear. You need to take better care of yourself, okay? All of our fates depend on you. Hmm. Thanks for your concern, but I'm fine. Your Excellency, I beg you, heed a word of advice. After all this time fighting the Shogun's army, peace is not something that can simply be declared. If we reconcile with them, the god who once protected us will have died in vain. Come on, that's ancient history. Besides, the fighting is barely over. We should be grateful to be at peace once more. I know, I know, it's just... Uh, we should remain strong in these negotiations. We mustn't be too ready to compromise. I appreciate your concerns. I will consider the options carefully, and be sure to proceed appropriately. Wonderful. We're all counting on you, your excellency. Hey, doesn't tell me her backstory. Oh, your excellency? Well, I'll be... Fancy meeting you at a place like this. Uh, do you know, my daughter's enrolled herself in the Shrine Maiden selection process this year. If she makes it into Sangonomiya, I'll, I'll be Sango one Mia. very happy mother. You're a kind Is that where the portal goes? Leader. Oh, there's a She'd viewpoint over there. Very good hands. I'm always telling my daughter that if she gets I should get that viewpoint behind him. Excellency directly. She must make the most of it. I mean, just look at her excellency. Still so young, but so mature and intelligent. My daughter has always look to you as a role model well if she comes to sangonomiya i'll look out for her ah your excellency boy you're am I glad you're here. as you know agricultural output has taken a pretty big hit <laughs> this year let me bring you up to speed on the latest situation oh uh, your excellency isn't this the captain of swordfish 2 will he be based on watatsumi island from now on your Excellency! Please, remain calm, everyone. I'll get around to all your queries. Though, for the longer ones, I'd prefer it if you could write a report and submit it to the Shrine. Then I can respond to each one as and when I have the time. Let's overwhelm her. Chat with the friendly people alongside Kokomi. <sighs> Are you alright? I'm fine. <laughs> This kind of thing is water off a duck's back for you, huh? I have auto on. Okay, good. You are. There's been a situation. We're still waiting on the delivery of a whole batch of ceremonial items. I'm beginning to worry that they've been stolen. Oh, we retrieved those already. No need to worry. Really? That's fantastic. You never cease to amaze us, Your Excellency. I sorted through all the petitions received recently and placed them on your desk. Also, according to the schedule, you were just in time for your meeting today on the development of the textiles industry. That's today? Uh, right now? Yes, the two young ladies have arrived safely. We're just waiting for you. Hmm... I see... Uh, I was hoping to take a walk around the island with you. But it looks like we'll have to save that for some other time. <sighs> oh, let's rendezvous tomorrow at the entrance to Sangonomiya Shrine. Then we'll go and make preparations for the victory feast. Yay! The victory feast! Um, well, now I have to clear, wait. We're talking lots of delicious food, right? <laughs> That's the name of the game. There'll be some Watatsumi Island specialties, which I'm sure you'll enjoy. That's all Paimon cares about is food. Hey, see you tomorrow! Now I gotta go wait. Wait in 10 to 12 the next day. Enough.
There we go. And bad. I go all the way across the island. I says a teleport waypoint. Is this one that's making a Shania or whatever it's called? There's a portal. After some more time. How is she still not here? Do you think she could be in trouble? Let's go ask that soldier over there. Is Coco me okay? Are you looking yes. for her excellency? I'm afraid she isn't here at the moment. I don't know where she's gone. So strange. Guess we should just call it a rain check then? Not necessarily. If I recall correctly, Her Excellency has made special provisions for such a scenario in her general operational directives. Uh, let me see. Uh, ah, yes, number 98. Should a visitor from afar come to see me, and should my whereabouts be unknown, direct them to proceed southward until they arrive at a tree with purple foliage. The footnote stipulates that this only applies when Her Excellency has made no communication regarding her whereabouts before disappearing. And even then, only when the visitor in question is of VIP status. As far as I'm concerned, you two tick all of the boxes. I keep this directive on me at all times. I'm sure this is the right course of action. Kokomi really does think of everything. All right, let's find the place she wrote about and have a look. All right, let's go. A teleport waypoint. Of course not. This is the closest one. They need to update this and add more. Are you sure this is the right place? It feels like we keep heading deeper into the middle of nowhere. Hey, doesn't that tree look like the one she described in the directive? So this is where you ran off to. We were going to meet up and get things ready for the victory feast today. What happened? Oh, it's you. I... I apologize. I'm not feeling my usual self today. <gasps> you got sick? We'll go find a doctor right away! No, no. It's nothing like that. It's just... My energy is completely spent. You... you run on energy? <gasps> you mean, you're like a ruin card? No, Paimon. No, it's just a figure of speech. <sighs> you noticed? I guess I haven't quite mastered the ability to hide how I'm feeling. I'll keep working at it. To it's be honest, okay. I'm not really cut out to be a leader. At first, my dream was to read up on military strategy and perhaps become an advisor. Constantly communicating with people, trying to retain their morale, having to read between the lines, making sure everyone gets the recognition they deserve. It's such hard work. You're somehow supposed to make people feel wonderful. Just from being in your presence while also commanding their respect. It doesn't come naturally to me. And truth be told, it's something I never wanted for myself. But because of my bloodline, I was always going to end up being the Divine Priestess, sooner or later. Like it or not, it's just the way it is. So, whenever I feel overwhelmed, I come here. To just lose myself in a book and relax for a while. Don't worry, it doesn't affect my work. I handed over preparations for the victory feast to someone else. I have to make a speech tonight. 
And I mustn't give the troops any reason to suspect that something could be wrong. This peace was hard won, and I want them to feel at ease. Is there anything we can do to help? They should be feeling energized again soon if I hold off on work for a little longer. <sighs> if only there was some way I could listen to a good read on military strategy. I'm sure that speed up the process. Oh, so that's what we're doing. Book last time I was here, but oh, I only got about halfway through. Oh, where did I put it? We'll find it ah. for you. And then we'll read it out to you to help you recover. You do that for me? Thank you. <laughs> I'm really lucky you came back to Watatsumi Island. It looks like there's a way in over there. Let's take a look. Whoa, look at all these petitions. So does Kokomi make time to deal with these even when she's resting? Tanganomiya events cash flow statement. Consolidated Annual Report on Fishing Production Watatsumi Island Monthly Maintenance Expenses Breakdown? This is a lot of work for one person And it's on top of all the directives she has to write And the people she has to meet day to day It's no wonder she gets burnt out from time to time <sighs> Let's track down that book and help her feel like herself again Ah. There we go, in this way. Yes. Yes, we are. A well deserved find. Why did it tell me there was a chest down here? Thanks, game. It's slower. I ran out of stamina, but it's fine, didn't I? Hey, look! Could this be the book she wanted? Uh, so minus two Captain plus. Came back today. Energy plus four. Uh, uh, that's that's just. Uh... <laughs> we saw nothing. Here. It's Paimon's fault. It is all Paimon's fault. It's gotta be this one, right? Look, there's even a bookmark. None of the other books have. Ooh, it's pretty dense. Well, let's. I guess it is it. Kokomi, is this the book you wanted? Actually, could you read a bit out loud? <sighs> Attack to the plan. Sounds That's like Goro. So Thank you. That sounds like Goro. Kokomi? Paimon. Let her rest. Let's let her rest. That's a good idea. She does look pretty exhausted. Five months, she needs rest. Disaster. Protect peace at all costs. The war is over. Oh, things are slowly getting better. Did you see? You take a break together, cooking me for a while more. <laughs> what time is it? Did I fall asleep? Yep. You've been out for ages. It's. Oh, I can't believe it got so late. <sighs> I 
haven't slept that peacefully in so long. That's gotta be three whole energy points right there. Should be enough to see me through the peace talks. Thank you. Well, we'd better get ourselves over there. It's nearly time to light the bonfire. Woohoo! Kokomi's back to. There we go. Apparently these quests last an hour, but... Oh, DK, are you still here? Why am I walking? It should be around the teleport waypoint. It looks like everything's in place for the feast. But I still need to give a quick speech before the festivities begin. Oh, how much energy will that take? Do you think you've got enough? Don't worry, I've got plenty. Thanks to you two, I recovered more quickly than usual. That's great! We'll be rooting for you! Watch the banquet fire it starts to give a Welcome, speech. Welcome, everyone! Today is the day that we celebrate our victory. Recently, our war with the Shogun's army came to an end, and we finally saw the abolition of the Vision Hunt Decree. None of us can know what the Inazuma of the future will look like. But tomorrow, I meet with the Tenryo Commission for Peace Talks. I give you my word that I will strive for peace for Watatsumi Island once and for all. Thank you all for your valiant efforts throughout. Truly. It is only through those efforts that we have been able to prevail in this trying war. This feast is held in honor of each and every one of you gathered here today. I hope all of you get to relax and enjoy our hard-won victory. After a while... Tonight seems to have gone off without a hitch. I'm so glad it's all going smoothly. People tend to be more open when they're in a good mood. Uh, could I ask you to go around and see what information you can gather? I still have no further leads regarding the issue of potential collusion between the Tenryo Commission and the Fatui. And I'm concerned that something might happen at tomorrow's peace talks. Okay, sure. We'll go ask around. Yeah, let's go ask around. Uh, how many people we gotta talk to? <laughs> Apparently I have to talk to you. I'm gonna stand on your fish, okay? <sighs> Watatsumi Island is finally at I'm gonna stand on your fish while being barefoot. Sanganomiya. Recently, um, let me think. Well, the biggest thing for us is that we can finally get back out on the ocean to fish. During the hostilities, the open sea was full of warships. We just had to make do with what little fish and shrimp we could get our hands on closer to shore. When the catch wasn't good, we'd all go hungry. Oh, the poor kids were crying all day and night, but there was just nothing I could do. We'd go to bed ravenous and be tossing and turning all night long, trying to keep it together until the morning. At least things are finally improving now. I hear you're captain of Swordfish too, is that right? Well, uh, thank you for your service. Here, have a fish. It's freshly caught, so... Oh, you're just going to give us the fish we stepped fish. on, huh? Cause... But it's fine. Oh, no, no, no. No, we don't want the fish we stepped on. Ah, come on, take it. No, we stepped we on it. We'd probably still be going about I don't want it. Tonight. Her we Excellency stepped on always it. teaches us to repay kindness. That's why you're really giving it to us, right? <laughs> So even the Paimon knows we stepped on it. <laughs> we don't want it. <laughs> hey there. Care for some fruit and vegetables? Nature's remedy when you overdo the barbecue. Are you referring to the thing about the Tenryo Commission and the Fatui? I've heard rumors, but nothing too detailed. It's funny you should say that the soldiers seem excitable, though. I've had the same feeling. See that guy over there? 
He's been acting strange these days. Always shouting and waving his spear around when he's got nothing to do. He scared the heck out of me a few times. Ugh, it's a miracle the fighting has finally come to an end. You know, I really hope we don't go making any more trouble for ourselves. Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have much information. If you still have questions, you may as well go and talk to him. Sounds promising. Let's go see what that guy's deal is. Oh, okay, let's go talk to him. Yeah, I got I can do that too, you know. See? Wait a minute. Mine's all my pole arm doesn't have as much decoration as yours. Other than that, oh, it's a little bit different. Wait, wait, don't tell me. Captain of Swordfish 2, right? You actually came back. I thought you'd abandoned the platoon and made a run for it. Nuh-uh. We would never run from a fight. <laughs> is that so? All anyone talks about these days is peace and stability. Do you remember what the most important thing is to the Resistance? A warrior's will. You got that right. So I'm gonna put you to the test. Time to see if you truly are a bona fide resistance warrior. I'll answer your questions, but only if you can beat me in a duel. Ugh, Fine. This guy. Uh, what do you think? Are we gonna do this? In a few seconds, we'll you'll be begging that. to talk. Well, you want to fight? I'll defeat you. A tra oh, I have to defeat you, a traveler. Okay, what what are you trying to attack with? Let's see. You gonna actually do anything? Oh, that's all you have? Okay. You're a strong fighter. <laughs> no wonder Her Excellency chose you. You really do have a warrior's will. <sighs> then maybe you can understand us. Captain. Uh, Comrade, will you join us? What's uh, going on? We made it up. The story about the Tenryo Commission colluding with the Fatui? It didn't happen. What? Poor Kokomi has been worried sick. You're telling us you made the whole thing up? What the heck were you thinking? This could send you right back into war with the Tenryo Commission. Yes, that's exactly what we're hoping to achieve. Peace talks? <laughs> Everyone's been drawn in by the idea. That's why the future of Watatsumi Island is at stake. What's to stop the Tenryo Commission from stabbing us in the back? And what's to stop the Raiden Shogun from issuing another vision hunt decree? We are the resistance. Everything hinges on our warrior's will. We can't trust the Tenryo Commission or the Raiden Shogun. But we can put faith in ourselves. Surely you agree with that? Uh, his point does kind of make sense. It doesn't feel right to Paimon. Yeah, everything you said just now was pure speculation, wasn't it? Are you seriously willing to make up a wild rumor and ruin the peace everyone's worked so hard for all because of some imaginary situation that may not even happen? Don't take that tone with me, acting like you're above all of this. What would you understand? For the sake of victory, we embodied the warrior's will to the fullest. You understand? We were all in. Headbutt Paimon. Trying to tell us it, that headbutt Paimon. Hey. I let wish me I could. Put down my weapon and start living like an ordinary person. But how can I? How can I when? Now Paimon's one of the final one, bosses I, in I this, see right? The faces <laughs> of the friends we lost in battle. Every time I see them there in my mind's eye, it reminds me that I can never forgive the Tenryo Commission and never forgive the Vision Hunt Decree. <sighs> we can only hope. Of us. Indeed. Well, whatever. Go ahead and tell San Gonamiya if you want, but you're too late to stop us now. Too late? What? Hmm. 
time. Doesn't seem like he's gonna answer that one. What are we gonna do? This is really serious. We go tell Coco me. Let's go over to Kokomi. Wait, why can't I? Wait, what? Oh, I saw that as rotate because I really skimmed it. I just saw R. And E. I see. Well, we found out a few things. Oh. The whole thing about the Temio Commission colluding with the Fatui is baloney. They made it all up. They wanted the peace talks to break down so that they could carry on fighting the war. And they said it's too late to try and stop them, no matter what we do. Hmm, I see. What's the matter? I'm fine. Don't worry. This is my fault. If only I'd perceived what they were feeling earlier, it never would have come to this. I think I understand what Kozen means when he says it's too late. The talks don't begin until tomorrow, but both sides have already sent their guards to the location. They are responsible for making sure the area is safe and secure. I highly suspect that one of Kozen's pro-war co-conspirators will have infiltrated the guards with an intent to reignite hostilities tomorrow during the negotiations. Well, that's no good. Do you want us to head over there now and switch out the guards? That won't work. Firstly, the act of bringing a new team of guards to a neutral negotiation site will put both sides on high alert. It would almost certainly push the pro-war faction into taking action. They would attack the Tenryo Commission's guards and we'd be in danger of war breaking out once again. Not to mention... We have no idea how many of Watatsumi Island soldiers are involved in this plot. If we change the guard in haste, we face the issue of not knowing who to trust. Sounds I feel like, like my really the tracker on my head's moving. Uh, so is there really nothing we can do about it? Well, Don't I, it might be you. fine. What's done is done. <sighs> How's power? Okay, so fine. Devise a counter plan. These soldiers crossed the line, but the blame is not theirs alone. Whatever happens, I will find a way to ensure they do not come to harm. Let's meet here again tomorrow. Rest is back to Shengomiya Shrine. Now we wait again. Oh wait, when do commissions reset? I could do it in Azuma. <laughs> you know, let's let's try in Azuma. What domains are here? Oh, right, we should do the Spiral Abyss, right? Hey. <laughs> Wait until 10 the following day. It says the following day. So that. There we go. Peace talks are upon us. How do you feel? Prepared? Here, take this. These are some directives I wrote last night. These negotiations are complex to be sure, but I thought about it carefully and realized there are no more than 187 possible outcomes. I took the liberty of writing them all down. This way, you will be able to adapt with speed. No matter how the events play out. Whoa, this is huge! Let's see, fierce dispute, violent escalation, armed revolt, coordinated attack, seize hostages. Wow, there are so many! But you've thought of
of a solution to each one. Paimon suddenly feels a lot less nervous. Glad to hear it. These peace talks are quite exceptional. It is a major step forward both for Watatsumi Island and the Shogunate. But any amount of dissatisfaction within our ranks weakens our negotiating position. We will have to work all the harder if we want these talks to be a success. As the Divine Priestess of Watatsumi Island, this responsibility is, of course, mine to shoulder. But would you be willing to lend me a hand? Of course. Excellent. Okay, time to head off. Oh, this is way over here. And of course, it's not next to a teleport thing. Luck can swing the results of a single game. But it's bound to run out sooner or later. Wait, what the hell? I see why my phone marked everything as not red. That I marked all the channels. I do try to lighten the mood sometimes, but I'm not the best judge of other people's sense of humor. Hold on. Okay. It was this way. And I used up half my stamina on that. How oh, nice. So, I'm gonna have to stop here for a second. Get my stamina up. Okay. Actually, what island is this? Oh, well, this is next to oh the lightning island, and then oh that did actually reset. It's been a while, Kujo Sara. I believe the last time we met was on the battlefield. Yes. Well, you dealt my forces quite the devastating blow. But before we go any further, what are you doing here? That 
That's right. He's here to bear witness to the proceedings. He experienced the war between us firsthand and has made an enormous contribution towards securing the peace we have today. I couldn't think of a more suitable candidate. Seems reasonable. Then let's get straight into it. The first item is the Maritime Administration issue. During wartime, we restricted fishing rights for Watatsumi vessels in Narukami waters. We intend to remove these restrictions. But going forward, any of your vessels that fish in our waters will have to pay taxes in accordance with Narukami legislation in order to bring their catch back to Watatsumi. That's fine. But if they're paying taxes, they should also be entitled to protection from the Tenryo Commission while in your waters. Any losses they sustain due to issues of public security will need to be compensated by the Tenryo Commission. Accepted. Let's add that to the peace treaty. I can assure you that your vessels will be quite safe in our hands. Negotiations seem to be going pretty smoothly. The next item has to do with the movement of people and military authority. In the past, our people have been subjected to lengthy interrogations on arrival in Watatsumi. And the same has been true for your people on arrival to Narukami. Economic cooperation between our islands has suffered greatly as a consequence. Few merchants are now willing to engage in inter-island commerce. Since the war is now over, I propose that we have the Yashiro Commission appoint a business council to oversee trade between our two islands. The problem there is that trade is a reciprocal affair. We'll need to involve merchants from both sides in this process if it is to succeed. We cannot give the Yashiro Commission full authority. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Watatsumi Island facing severe shortages of many essential goods at the moment? Having the Yashiro Commission organize everything centrally would work in your favor. True, we're experiencing some shortages, but we will recover in due course. Between the diverse range of goods we can produce ourselves and our strong trade links with other areas, we are capable of sourcing everything we need. Not to mention that your proposal would require separate talks with the Kamisato clan. If they've yet to sanction it, I believe you are going beyond the remit of the Tenryo Commission's authority. Let's leave that aside for now, then. On to the military question. Watatsumi Island's forces will need to come back under the jurisdiction of the Tenryo Commission. That just isn't feasible. Not in the short term, at least. With all due respect, feasibility doesn't come into it. The Tenryo Commission alone has ultimate responsibility for Inazuma's national security. We cannot allow Watatsumi Island to be the sole exception to this rule. <laughs> Applauding you Kucho scum! Colluding with the Fatui- Comrades, never trust the Kujo. Let's get them! <laughs> Protect Madam Kujo! <laughs> <laughs> Number 16. No, wait, 67? Or is it something? Hurry up, Paimon. You're useless. Uh, which one is it? And again, this is on you, Paimon. See, Paimon, you're useless. The situation has changed. Please stand by for further orders. Rest assured, I am fully aware of your concerns, but I will deal with the situation from here. Madam Kujo, this is rather serious. I believe you owe Watatsumi Island an explanation. Excuse me for a moment. Nobody makes another move until I have finished investigating. You two, here, now. Are you about to fight? Kokomi knows something, telling us to do the last Speak. directive. Collusion with the Fatui? Is this true? Um, I wouldn't exactly call it collusion as such. We were approached by a few Fatui. 
they mentioned a potential cooperation to keep the war against Watatsumi Island going. At the time, I felt like we could give it a try. After all, there'd be nothing to lose. But we were extremely careful. We didn't agree to anything. We just said they could maybe start by heading to Watatsumi Island and stirring things up a little. With respect, ma'am, there was no collusion. It was just a one-off conversation. How anyone from Watatsumi Island even found out about it, I have no idea. That's enough. When we return, there will be consequences. Might I remind you that this is the Fatui? Have you completely forgotten what they did to us? You should be having no interaction with them whatsoever, let alone entertaining offers of cooperation. <sighs> so, what did they want out of it? The Fatui's main forces have already left Inazuma. The few who approached us seemed like they wanted to settle a score for their boss. Oh, her subordinates. So they're out for revenge. They want to keep Inazuma in a state of turmoil. One day, I will hunt them down. Every last one. We bear responsibility for this issue. My sincere apologies. I have my own negligence to blame for this state of affairs. Please, grant us another chance to continue the peace talks. <laughs> but of course, Madame Kujo. I have every confidence in your ability to resolve this situation. For the time being, however, there is evidently some discord within the Tenryo Commission's ranks. I would therefore not feel comfortable releasing Watatsumi Island's forces into your command at this time. It seems that I must acquiesce. I will lay this issue aside for now. But we shall revisit it as soon as the Tenryo Commission has resolved our internal issues. As for the trade issues we raised, I will discuss options with the Yashiro Commission and make sure both sides have ample participation in the final arrangement. Seems like Kujo Sara's on the defensive now. These negotiations should be smooth sailing from here on out. Follow, calmly follow Never them. knew the grand strategist of Watatsumi Island was a skilled negotiator, as well as a formidable commander. I hope that when we meet again, we can continue these sit-down discussions. Settling our differences on the battlefield is rather taxing. I think we can leave things there for today. Once I get back, I will conduct a thorough investigation into the Tenryo Commission's internal issues. I should inform you that we took out a Fatui camp recently. I suspect that before long, they will attempt to re-establish contact with your people in the hope of procuring some assistance. I recommend you say and do nothing on the matter for the time being, lest you tip them off and they disappear. Wait for them to come to you. That way, you can capture them all in one fell swoop. I will bear this in mind. Thank you. I shall take my leave now. Until we meet again. Your Excellency, we... Let's discuss it after we get back. <laughs> it both sides got in trouble. Eh. Way back over here again. Your Excellency, y you knew? I have already been informed on the reasons for your actions. You believed the Tenryo Commission to be untrustworthy and sought to sabotage the peace talks and reignite the war. Fortunately, the end result exposed and thwarted a secret Tenryo Commission plot. Yet, this was purely incidental, and the end certainly did not justify your means. But your excellency, Look, I knocked so my many comrades again. have sacrificed themselves in the line of duty. If we stop now, aren't all of our efforts going to waste? I want to keep fighting. I want ultimate victory, even if it means I have to pay the ultimate price. And if I my chargers, my chargers going dead now. Impose your will and um, expect others they? to bear the consequences. That's one. During the war, there were highs and there were lows, and in the end, There's there was a two, glorious the victory. One. For you, perhaps the experience was one of great uh -huh. excitement, but you saw nothing of the countless others who will remember the war quite differently. Most people suffered terribly through each day. 
Watatsumi Island's people yearn for peace because they have long since given all they had to the war effort. They are tired of treading water and don't need you dragging them back underneath once again. There's one tracker. I... but... I understand, Second I do. Second one plugged in. And the fault is not yours alone. Yes, plug in it the tracker so they go dead after like six hours. Part. They taught you to nurture a warrior's will, but never how to let it go. It's not your fault, Your Excellency. It was ours. Our selfishness. Either way, we are ready to accept sentencing under martial law. Very well. Then I hereby declare... Death. <laughs> no, she's not going to declare death, but... That as of today, I am founding a new secret corps of the army. This division will be responsible for keeping Watatsumi Island safe and secure, neutralizing any and all threats to the peace of our island. You and your comrades will all be welcome to join, but be warned, the training will be grueling. Perseverance and grit will be in high demand. Your Excellency, what are you saying? I have concluded from today's peace talks that the Kujo clan cannot achieve absolute peace and stability in the near future. Many seek peace, but there are still those who pursue war. It is right that Watatsumi Island moves towards peace, but we must still retain a defensive capacity. Those whose warrior's will is alive and well, I invite you to embark on the most challenging training regimen of your lives. I don't want to hear from any of you again until all of you can take on two shogunate samurai at a time. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. All right, dismissed. Go and report to General Goro. And remember, there can be no more insubordination. And if there is, there will be no more leniency from me, whatever reasons you may have. Yes, ma'am. From now on, we will focus on our training. Thank you for this opportunity, Your Excellency. We'll report to General Goro right away. <sighs> I think that's finally everything in hand. <sighs> I can feel my energy levels starting to drop. Mm. Meet you back at the hideout for some rest? I wish there was a teleport waypoint on this island more than this. Hmm. Hey, look, it's still there. <laughs> Thank you for everything. With your help, Peace has been restored on Watatsumi Island once more. How are your energy levels? Um, recovering. Slowly, but surely. I should be raring to go before too long. Today was a reminder that I don't cope well in situations with lots of people. I've improved, but... I then let's do some Sumeria qu Archon quest after this. <laughs> I think I might get Goro to handle the negotiations next time. Do you think so? <sighs> to be honest, I'm still a long way off what's expected of a divine priestess. Mm, in the past, I was concerned only with winning the war, restoring peace, and making sure everyone could live a happy life. But I realize now that wasn't going far enough. People have all kinds of aspirations and just as many measures of happiness i have a long way to go but that's okay if i can't make the journey in one giant leap i'll just have to settle for taking it one small step at a time in short i've still got some maturing to do hmm could you stay here on watatsumi island Mm, to keep me company for a while longer?
Is there another quest? Or is that it? Oh, that was it. Okay. Oh, Kokomi's not here, right? Hey. Yeah, let's sit where Kokomi sits. Hey, look, Sino's sitting where you sit. <laughs> okay, where is this Seelie going? It went up. It probably went up here. Actually, I want to go to the portal thing. I have to figure out how to get that. Will you tell me yet? No. <laughs> but I want to do like Fontaine quest. How many? Oh, it needs two anyway. I could do it if I had more, uh... Oh, did the daily reset happen yet? Really? I don't want to decrease my world level, but... Obviously, the daily reset hasn't happened yet. Oh yeah, I never actually finished Cho Young's. Oh yeah, I need the other material for that. Hang on, memories. Cho Young passing out. Oh, the ghost thing. I get those two. Yeah, there's two more. It's that one and I assume that one. Three, four, five. Okay. I don't need to do those right now. Oh, that one. Uh... Get 300. Oh, that thing, yeah. I just haven't done that one. I've had that forever. <laughs> Let's do this one. Let's start on Archon Quest. I'm gonna start to get catched up on caught up on this. Where did I put my phone? Oh right here. Oh okay, no discard message. I'm 
think I made Navia. Nahida, not Navia, Nahida. One moment, please, you two. It appears this is your first time visiting Sumeru City. Oh, yeah, that's right. But how did you know that? Because there's currently no information on either of you in the Akasha. But no need to worry. That won't we don't want to win record. The city. In fact, the Academia conveniently provides each traveler to Sumeru City with a device. Perhaps you two have heard of the Akasha before. It's our beloved greater Lord Rukadavata's lasting legacy. A treasure trove of collected knowledge. After centuries of tireless research on the Akasha, the Academia created one of its most ingenious inventions, the Akasha Terminal. As long as you are within Sumeru's borders, you may use an Akasha Terminal to connect directly to the Akasha and access any knowledge you need. Hey, that's I the internet. That due hey. to technical limitations, the operation of Akasha terminals will be much smoother and more effective in large cities such as Sumeru City and Port Ormos. Oh, so this is the thing that Tainari was telling us about. It sounds pretty amazing. You two are quite fortunate. Until recently, it was standard practice to only issue Akasha terminals to outlanders who spent an extended amount of time in Sumeru. However, this policy was recently changed, and now all travelers are issued one upon arrival. Here are your Akasha terminals. Please handle them with care. <laughs> it kind of looks like a leash. To activate it, simply hold it in your hand and say the following phrase to yourself. <clears throat> May the mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. Since this little doodad lets you access knowledge, maybe we can use it to find a way to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali. Let's give it a try. <clears throat> May the mighty god bless us with their voice. <gasps> Whoa. Just now, something clicked, and Paimon suddenly knew how to use this thing. It seems all we need to do is concentrate on what we want to know, and bam, you get it. Oh, that'll come in real handy. Exactly. That is the power of the Akasha. And with that, let me officially welcome you both to Sumeru City. May the wisdom of the Dendro Archon always be your guide. Okay, now that we're in, we can check the Akasha. Hmm. <gasps> 500 years ago, the sages found a newly born deity from within some scorched ruins. The deity now resides in the sanctuary of Suristana. Hmm, seems pretty similar to what Kali was telling us. Okay, next, let's concentrate on asking how to meet her. Hmm. Uh, huh? Uh, Hyman doesn't sense anything. Um, hmm. The Akashi didn't respond to Paimon's question. Hmm, the same happened for me. <laughs> question feels like when you have something you're trying to remember and it's on the tip of your tongue but you just can't think of it. Ugh, Paimon's brain is exhausted. Something else. Oh, smart idea. But what are you going to ask it? Yeah, why doesn't it ask it? Greater Lord... Rukasavakia. Probably need to calm my mind before understand what they mean. Oh. Feel about the uh -oh. departed Archon. Paimon's getting all teary-eyed all of a sudden. It feels like the people of Sumeru really miss their Archon. Why doesn't it answer my question? Comes to mind, doesn't under unconditionally respond to every question. Also, is even the same query required by multiple huh. people. Could it be because we're outlanders and we've only just arrived in Sumeru? You know, maybe we're not qualified to receive an answer to this sort of question or something.
Lesser Lord Kusanelli. that Tainari recommended. He's from Sumeru and even has a position in the Academia. Maybe he'll be able to access more info from the Akasha. Let's see. Tainari wrote an address on the letter's envelope. Oh, it's not far from the city's gate. Yeah, it's right here. Hello, are you Rohali? Yes, that's me. Can I help you? Here and what Tainari? I uh, please, th there's no need to say anything, really. Sure, I admit that the article I published last month wasn't my best work, and maybe the data didn't produce the most convincing results, but we're not here to here. discuss. This is a letter from Tainari. Oh, let me see. Oh, ah. what a relief! You two nearly scared the life out of me. So, you two just have some questions for me? Yep. Seems even <laughs> Tainari acknowledges my innate ability for procuring information. So, what is it you two would like to know? We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? You mean you want to meet the Dendro Archon herself? Uh, I wonder if I could have avoided exactly that thing now. of expertise, but let me see what I can find in the Akasha. Hmm. Sorry, the Akasha didn't respond to my query. What? You too? But what about your abilities for getting information and all that? Uh, I was sure you'd be able to access more info than we did. Well, as I said, this isn't my area of expertise. I am but a lowly researcher, so the Akasha doesn't see a need for me to know more about the Dendro Archon. All I know is that ever since Lesser Lord Kusanali returned to Sumeru, she's never left the Sanctuary of Soristana or made a public appearance. Huh. Didn't expect her to be such a mysterious figure. The Dendro Archon is somewhat of a recluse. Perhaps she just doesn't want to entertain visitors, which would explain the lack of information in the Akasha. Aw, but then what can we do? <laughs> No need to worry just yet. I'm only hypothesizing here. You could certainly try asking around and see if anyone else has ideas. And besides, you two should consider the bright side of things. Not being able to see Lesser Lord Kusanali may not be a bad thing. In this world, there will always be information you cannot obtain from the Akasha and things you can never accomplish. Knowing when to yield is a form of wisdom. Take me, for example. It's a miracle if my brain cells can spit out one paper every three years. But Tainari? That guy can publish three papers in just a single year. Uh, okay. Thanks for your advice. Don't mention it. If you two ever want information about things like who's been promoted within the academia... Hey, come on! This is a survival skill at the academia. Expectations were pretty low, but this is so low, it's like digging holes in the dirt. Uh, so what do we do now? Even if we want There's still another one person. Like who? Oh, you're right! Catherine! My mom would have asked me to look at forced me to look at the map if I didn't already. I could have teleported here. Eh. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Hello, Traveler and Paimon. Catherine, we need your help with something. Understood. The Adventurer's Guild is always ready to serve you. With what do you require assistance? We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? You two wish to meet with Sumeru's Archon. Understood. Please wait. Processing. I'm just... Please wait. 
Let me process your order. <laughs> I apologize, but I am unable to call up any relevant information in the Akasha. I'm also unable to locate any pertinent information in my personal memory. Aww, another dead end. Well, if Catherine can't help us, then we Please, do not worry. I may know of someone who can help you two. In Sumeru, the Adventurous Guild does not serve as the vanguard of information. Rather, there are numerous active mercenary groups collectively known as the Aramites. They take on various contracts and work all across Sumeru, so they naturally accrue intelligence. An Aramite brigade called the Corps of Thirty is in charge of Sumeru City's defenses. Not only are they the oldest brigade, but they are responsible for managing and coordinating the affairs of all other mercenary brigades. Corps of Thirty? What a weird name. Supposedly, they are named as such because their ranks numbered 30 at their inception. Asphant, an advisor with the Corps of Thirty, maintains good relations with the Adventurer's Guild. Though he's already retired, he and his words carry great weight within mercenary circles. If you'd like to get in contact with him, you can find him at the Corps of Thirty's headquarters, the Citadel of Regzar. Thanks a bunch, Catherine. You're welcome. I wish you two the best of luck. We look forward to your exploits in Sumeru. All right, off to the Citadel of Rizal we go. Okay. No, I'm out of stamina. Oh, we're going in here. Okay. I'm so not used to my status being online. On Discord. Welcome. The Adventurer's Guild told me to expect you to. It's nice to meet you, Asfan. We'd like to ask you about something. I I'm see. everything. So, Catherine's the one who sent you this way. Ha! <laughs> it's true that the Aramites' network is vast, but even I can't help you meet the Dendro Archon. Wait! Seriously? That's it? <laughs> Afraid so. The Aramites aren't terribly religious, so we don't know much about divinities. As far as the Akasha goes, we can access even less than you. We originally came from the desert. The gods there died off long ago. Since those days, we've used our own two hands to carve out a living. We don't beg gods for their aid. It isn't just us, though. If you ask me, I think most in Sumeru aren't interested in lesser lord of Kusanali. Oh? Why is that? Just take the Academia, for example. They're the ones who truly rule Sumeru. Although they believe in gods, most of them only care for the late greater lord Rugadavada. In their eyes, she was the one who founded Sumeru and gifted us with the Akasha. Lesser Lord Kusanali just happened to inherit her legacy. Because of the Academia's influence, most citizens are more familiar with Greater Lord Rukadavada and hold her in greater esteem. Not to mention that Lesser Lord Kusanali never makes an appearance, and the Academia never announces anything about her. As far as the people of Sumeru are concerned, she's just a god that exists. And that's all. Really? Aww. After hearing all of that, Paimon sort of feels bad for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Ha! <laughs> but who knows? We're all just guessing when it comes down to it. Besides, I'm sure the god of wisdom doesn't worry about her reputation among people like us. 
All right. Well, thanks for the info, Osfan. <laughs> no problem. Always happy to help out the Adventurer's Guild. We return to question several people in Samira City. But we're gonna have to question them? No, oh, okay. Osfan was right about most people's attitudes here. Not only are they not interested in the Dendro Archon, they even say stuff like, If the Akasha doesn't think I should know, then I don't need to know about it. We've been asking for information non-stop ever since we got to Sumeru. But the harder we try, the more helpless everything seems. Isn't there at least one person in this entire city who cares about Lesser Lord Kusanagi? Oh, uh, you two are interested in Lesser Lord Kusanagi? A coincidence, Kusanami? huh? <laughs> what? Who are you? From the sound of it, you two are outlanders who recently arrived here. You've been asking around for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Dunyarzad, one of Lesser Lord Kusanali's faithful followers. Whoa, really? Then do you know how we can meet with her? I'm sorry. I'm that is I forbidden. With that. But your conversation earlier did happen to remind me of a legend about the Dendro Archon. Can you tell us? Sure. It goes like this. Long, long ago, there was a man who heard a prophecy. It predicted that a great calamity was about to befall him. Panicked by what he heard, the man sought out the Dendro Archon in the hopes that she would bless him with the wisdom to help him escape his predicament. The man journeyed across deserts and through rainforests and experienced tribulations of every kind. However, he still couldn't find any trace of the Dendro Archon. In despair, he thought, alas, the Archon has abandoned me. He then had no choice but to sorrowfully resign to his fate. Okay, and then what happened? And then, the calamity came. But to his own surprise, the man felt somehow emboldened by the trials of his journey. By relying on his own strength, he managed to overcome the adversity. At that moment, a bird perched upon his shoulder. This bird was, in fact, an avatar of the Dendro Archon. She said, O oh, Archon Seeker, do you now understand? She and her wisdom have long been found by you. Along your journey, we were in every flower and blade of grass, every ray of sparkling sun and every breath of dancing wind. So long as you continue to think and ponder, we'll be wherever you go. What an amazing story. Yeah, thanks for the story. Paimon feels all warm and fuzzy inside after that. <laughs> uh, in a way, it seems like this story is also one of the Dendro Archon's avatars. Dunyarzad, since you worship Lesser Lord Kusanali, can you tell us anything else about her? Of course. So did you two know that, uh... Uh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, but it seems something's come up now. Uh, let's chat another day. We're following her, right, Paimon? Hey, wait! Uh, what the heck just happened? It looks like they're searching for someone. Hmm... Dunyarzad was acting super nervous just now. You think they're looking for her? Ugh, this stinks! We finally managed to find a lead about Lesser Lord Kusanali! We can't let them get in the way now! <sighs> Let's see if we can get rid of them. Then we hey, have you two seen a brown-haired girl wearing a purple top and a long blue dress? Nope. We're looking for her. Who? Uh, did she have bandages wrapped around her wrist? Yes, that's her. Did you see which direction really, she went? Really, Paimon? Uh, yeah, she went that way. Quick, after her. Really, Paimon? It's supposed to say no. I haven't seen her. <laughs> that should keep him busy for a while. Let's hurry and find Junior's up. You might have been long gone by now. Oh, it's you two. 
Oh, you startled me there. You can relax now. We threw those people looking for you off the trail. Uh, really? Oh, thank you so much. Unfortunately, I believe there's still more of them out there looking for me. Uh-oh. Looks like there are some coming this way. Huh? More of them? No, wait. I, uh... My body isn't in the best Somebody shape. Okay, to hide. sounds good. All right. Let's move out. Stay behind us. We'll keep an eye out for anyone looking for you. All right. Now I got a stealth mission. Or not. Shouldn't be able to find us now. Wait, stand oh, down. Dear. My lady, who are these two? They're travelers that I met on the street just a moment ago. They happened to notice that you were all searching for me, so they helped me hide. I see. In that case, you two should scram. There's nothing here for you. Wait a sec! Who the heck are you? And what I'm Miss Dunyarzad's bodyguard, here to see that she returns home safe and sound. <sighs> My lady, let's get going. You've been gone for so long that your parents are worrying themselves sick. And if I refuse to go with you? It'd be easier for the both of us if you cooperated. But if you insist on not going, then I'll have to carry you like a sack of potatoes. Hey! She doesn't want to go back. Why are you still pushing? Shut up, Paimon. Get out of this. You don't understand the situation. Sorry, my lady. Even though I'm your bodyguard, your parents are my employers. I have to answer to them. How much? Wait, what? How much more do I have to pay you to become your employer? So you never listen to my parents ever again. My lady, this isn't about Mora. I don't know what you think of us Aramites, but let me say this. I like Mora, but I'll never go against my principles. That's why I'm here looking for you. Sure, it's an order from my employer, but my conscience was also telling me it's the right thing to do. And knowing your health, carelessly running around like this is going to hurt you. For the sake of those who love you, don't be stubborn. No, you're wrong. I'm aware of my limits, and I know what I'm doing. Honestly, the only people being stubborn right now are my parents. And they know perfectly well that it makes no difference if I'm at home or not. They still won't accept reality. And every time I bring this up, they just change the subject. Dia, you've been living with us a long time already. This should be old news to you. <sighs> Dia, I know it hasn't been easy for mother and father. And I'm grateful for everything they've done for me. But there's someone else in this world I'm also grateful to. Because she saved me. The love I have for her is the same I have for my parents. This is my life and my last chance. So I want to do something meaningful. Go on the my next lady, thing. Are you sure what you're doing now is meaningful? Yes, I'm sure. At least, it is to me. <sighs> Fine, I won't ask you to return home anymore. But let me make something very clear. I'm only doing this because I respect your determination, not because I agree with you. Thank you, Dia. <sighs> Sorry for being so rude just now. My nerves were acting up, and I even brought up your payment in such an offensive way. Uh, don't worry about it, my lady. I did say that I like Mora. Besides, that's our next topic of conversation. Today's little excursion caused such a ruckus that every single bodyguard at the estate was deployed. It wouldn't be easy to hide things from your old man. Since this definitely won't be your last escapade, here's a little tip. You should at least make it look like your room and things are still in order when you leave. Also, you'll need someone to cover you for when you're out and about. So, I'll let you hire me, my lady. This way, everyone wins. As for the pay, 
Let's say half of what your father pays me. We can settle the bill when we return to the estate. Okay, deal. Yay! Looks like we've reached an understanding. <sighs> I'm fine, really. I, I just feel a little tired now that things have calmed down. <sighs> My lady, stop trying to look tough. We're already in a tavern, so let's rest up and grab some grub. I'm sorry for worrying you two. If you don't mind, I'd like for you to join us. Sure! After you rest up, we want to hear more about listening. Yeah, let's hear more. Ha! Well, if it isn't Dia, haven't seen you in nearly half a year. Word on the street is that you're a bodyguard for the Homayani family now. Ha! <laughs> Don't you find that kind of work boring? Nah, you get used to it. How about a menu over here? You got it, huh? Isn't this little Miss Homayani herself? <laughs> we don't get to serve personages like you very often. We'll be sure to prepare our very best. Thank you, sir, but there's no need. I don't have a lot of mora on me, and I really ought to save as much as I can. Uh, but please bring these two the best food you have. They're my new friends. So I want to be a good host for them. We'll pay for our own Wait, food. We're paying for ourselves now? Aww, Paimon kind of wanted to try something fancy. Okay. How about our charcoal We're we'll paying for it, Paimon. Shut up. They're our signature snack, and they run cheap. Look, other customers over there are eating some now. Uh, it was kind of burnt. Okay, Paimon. Uh, Paimon will pass. Hey, come on! Paimon has personal preferences too, you know. After eating. Hey, Guy Guy, we asked a lot of people when we first arrived, and almost nobody was interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali. So, what made you want to follow her? Well, remember when you asked me if I knew how to meet the Dendro Archon? Even though I don't know how, I think I've actually seen her before. Huh? Really? Yes, it was when I was a child. At the time, my illness had kept me bedridden for the better part of a year. I was stuck inside and couldn't make any friends, and my parents did their best to find treatments for me. But even then, the Akasha didn't have any helpful information. My younger self no longer had any hopes or dreams. One flare-up was so bad that I was in a semi-conscious state for several days. Then one night, I woke up alone in my room. I was terrified. My body was paralyzed. Even if I cried, there was no sound. At that moment, an ethereal voice spoke in my mind. Dunyarzad, don't be scared. You don't have to cry. Dunyarzad. Don't be scared. You don't have to cry. <laughs> Who are you? How do you know my name? Um, how do I explain this? You might not be able to understand, but actually, I know everything about you. Really? Of course. I know that you're scared of thunder. That you hate taking medicine every morning. And that you love counting the petals on your mom's skirt. Wow, you really do know everything. Junior is odd. Is there anything you want? Want? Not really. I, I can't go anywhere or do anything. Huh? But aren't you a child? All children have wishes. Tell me what you want, and maybe I can make it happen. Then, can you make my illness go away? Oh. I'm sorry. But I'm not powerful enough to do that right now. Then, can you be my friend? After that, the voice said, Okay, I'll be your friend. Although my body was suffering during those days, that voice encouraged me 
and told me many wondrous things. Beyond my window was the flourishing Sumeru city. Beyond the city was a lush rainforest. And beyond that was the wall of Samiel. Deserts and all of Tibet. Once I finally made it through that bout of illness, I couldn't hear that voice anymore. I told my mother about it, but she said that I must have been dreaming. But I know that that voice wasn't a figment of my imagination. Before that, I had never... Yes, for sure. If it weren't for that voice, I would have never grown curious about the outside world, nor would I have learned how to read and enjoy so many books. That voice sparked a desire for wisdom. It had to have been the Dendro Archon. I've been hoping for a chance to repay her kindness. In fact, I was running around today to help prepare the Subzerus Festival for her. What's the Subzerus Festival? It's Lesser Lord Cusinelli's birthday, which was the day that she was found by the sages. It's actually an old holiday that originally celebrated Greater Lord Rupinabata's birthday. When she passed away, the holiday eventually became a celebration of the Lesser Lord's birthday. I heard everyone was overjoyed when they welcomed her back to Sumeru. In those days, the festival was a huge deal. But because of the academia's influence, people have gradually lost interest in the festival. The academia actively participates in Sumeru's many holidays dedicated to Greater Lord Rupinabata. But when it comes to the Subzerus festival, forget any funding. They practically act like it doesn't exist. Maybe they see Lesser Lord Kusanali's birth as confirmation of Greater Lord Rukadabata's death, so they're reluctant to celebrate it. Aww, but that's awful! It is. It's absolutely terrible. Sure, the Greater Lord founded Sumeru, but hasn't Lesser Lord Kusanali been the one quietly protecting us for the past few hundred years? <clears throat> Just remember that we're still out in public. Don't get too carried away now. I know that people over by the Grand Bazaar still hold the Subzerus Festival to this day. But I hadn't met any of them before, so I was never able to contribute. But recently, I made a friend there who also follows Lesser Lord Kusanali. I gave her my savings because I want her to throw a wonderful festival this year. Oh, it's thundering. That's the least I could do for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Hold on, my lady, like does this friend thundering. happen to be Nilu? That was a long rumble. flowers to the estate? Yes, that's her. Mm, I saw her leaving the other day with a nervous look on her face. It seemed like she was hiding something in her arms. Did you give her something? Uh, yes. Uh, initially, I didn't have much more up prepared, so I had Nilu sell one of my skirts. It almost sounds like a motor, the way I've it's done there. I've agreed with Nilu to meet up at the Grand Bazaar today <laughs> and see how things are coming along. Dia, would you accompany me? Sure. That's quite the trip, though. I'll carry you. No, that would be too much, even for you. You might as well just accept the lift. If I let you walk, who knows how long it'll take us. And if any- But of course! Nilu will be thrilled to hear there are more people interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali. Nice. Oh, you can say that. Can I say that any of them? Oh, I can. Oh, I'm going- I'm staying in here and just going up. No. Oh, I'm leaving. Okay. It said higher. That's why I was confused. Okay, now how we load? Back into the world. Outside the building. The Grand Bazaar. I didn't even use a mouse. <laughs> hey, there's Nilu. Uh, sorry I'm late, Nilu. Oh, doing yours odd. It was taking you so long that I assumed you got trapped at home, but you made it in the end. Uh oh. But if Dia's here, that means you got caught, right? You could say that. Uh... 
But everything worked out. She's on our side now. <laughs> uh, not completely. Oh. And who are these two? Oh, meet the Traveler and Paimon, my two newest friends. They're visitors who just arrived at Sumera City and are looking for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali. So you're followers from another land? Truthfully, no. Oh, really? Well, that's okay. You're still invited to the Sabzeros Festival. By the way, Dunyazad, we've already started decorating the Grand Bazaar. It looks spectacular, thanks to your generous contribution. You're very welcome. It's the only thing I could do. Do you still have enough Mora? Uh, probably? But don't sweat it. We've already finished renovating the stage. Come on, I'll show you. Wow! This place is amazing! Not bad. Huh. Last time I was here, the stairs were full of holes. The stairs were nothing. A little while ago, we discovered that the tree above the stage had a huge chunk of bark ready to fall off. Mr. Zubair was worried sick. We reported it to the Academia many times, but they never sent anyone to deal with it. Why didn't anyone Probably come? Probably because it was the theater asking. The Academia looks down on performers like us. They probably think it would be best if the theater closed down completely. We can't let that happen, though. Not only would everyone involved in the theater go hungry, but then we wouldn't be able to hold the Subzerus Festival anymore. Thank the Dendra Archon for doing your Zod. But the more she gave us, we hired someone to patch up the tree, and we also gave the stage a much-needed makeover. The stage is going to be even prettier when it's festival time. I can't wait for you to see it. And I can't wait to see you on the stage. You've been practicing so long already. It's almost time for your dream to become reality. <laughs> it's our dream. I'll do my best for the two of us. Milu, what are you going to be doing at the festival? She'll be dancing the dance of Subzeros, the most important performance at the Subzeros festival. Dunyazad, have you told him the origin of this holiday? I only told them about the Greater Lord and Lesser Lord so far. Okay, then I'll tell you two about how this holiday came to be. According to legend, the Sabzerus Festival was originally the Goddess of Flowers' birthday celebration for the Greater Lord. A long, long time ago, on one of Greater Lord Ruka Devata's birthdays, her friends threw her a celebratory banquet. Some of the gods got drunk. One started playing music, and the Greater Lord started singing. So the Goddess of Flowers began to dance. As she danced upon the grass, Countless beautiful Padisars began to bloom wherever she stepped. Those brilliant purple flowers became her dazzling stage. All the gods clamored, Oh, if only time could stop at this very moment. Of course they did. When people mention the gods, they always think of the Archon War. But Sumeru's gods also had happy times. Although they aren't around anymore, they're preserved in our tradition of dance. This outfit I'm wearing is apparently based on how the goddess of flowers looked. Though we're just tiny people compared to the divine, we still have to do our best to make sure that the birthday girl feels loved on her special day. Milu, you of all people will definitely be able to convey our well wishes to the Dendro Archon. I also noticed that you went the extra mile and scattered Padisaras around the stage. <laughs> they symbolize the goddess of flowers, after all. It's just a shame that all the real Padisaras went extinct after her death. Yeah. The Greater Lord brought forth Padisaras in memory of the goddess of flowers. But she ultimately could never truly replicate that beautiful purple. Thinking about the goddess of flowers dance makes me wish I could have seen it. If my stage were anything like that, uh, I'd be thrilled if I had just two real body sars on the stage. Uh, so, Traveler and Paimon, what if- All of Lesser Lord Kusanali's followers will be there for her birthday. 
It'll be a good opportunity for you to learn more about her. Ooh, Paimon thinks that's a great idea! Hey, come on! Don't yeah, you want the fun, the don't you? There wasn't a food Besides, option. If there was a food option, I would have had to, uh... I'm happy to have more people who are celebrating this. <laughs> so how about we all attend the Subzerus Festival together? Dunyarzad, let me show you which stage decorations we've picked out so far. Traveler and Paimon, if that doesn't sound interesting to you, then feel free to explore the area. Everyone at the Grand Bazaar loves Lesser Lord Kusanali, and we're all looking forward to the Sabzerus Festival. In that case, we'll take a look around. Walk around. Huh. Revamping the stage for the festival couldn't have been easy, that's for sure. I bet this year's festival will be one to remember. I don't know much about the Grand Bazaar, but I do know that the residents here have a penchant for song and dance. <laughs> Two things that the academia doesn't particularly approve of. Oh, and the perfume sold around here is a lot better than what you'll find elsewhere. The fragrances are longer lasting and they're gentler on your skin and... Uh, I mean, <clears throat> that's uh, what I've heard at least. <laughs> ah, dancing at the Subzeru's festival. You know, I also danced when I was younger. As a child, I even asked my grandmother why we performed the dance for the Lesser Lord when it was originally done to honor the Greater Lord. My grandmother said that Greater Lord Rukadavata is a beloved deity and honored by all. And Lesser Lord Kusanali is too. If the Goddess of Flowers ever knew Lesser Lord Kusanali, then she would certainly have wished to be her friend and hold celebrations for Does her too. Does everyone have one? The Subzerus Festival has been losing its appeal over the years. Hmm. That is, until a wealthy benefactor stepped in this year and brought the festival back to life. I heard she forked out a lot of mora to make it all happen. Oh, the kid doesn't have one. Seems like everyone does have one. Toy seller? Someone else to talk Things to. are really shaping up, and there's a buzz around the festival this year. We're expecting people from all over to come by this year and buy things during the festivities. Don't be fooled into thinking that Sumeru City has the best of everything. Some festival snacks are only offered here in the Grand Bazaar. And when it comes to musicians, dancers, or singers, the Grand Bazaar's got the best of the best. Sure, those folks at the Academia might not like it, but what's a festival without song and dance? I was looking at the flowers. <laughs> What's with your yellow hair? And why do your clothes look so funny? Are you an outlander? Did you know that the Sabzerus Festival is about to happen? There'll be loads of fun things to do at the festival. But the best part is when Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, passes out candy to everyone. Four and five. Nilu, your outfit looks amazing. There's also something different about you from when we first met up. <laughs> I thought I'd add a little extra pizzazz to my dress for the festival. See? Wow, did you sew all that yourself? Uh-huh. Sewing is a fundamental skill for everyone in the theater company because we make all our own costumes. Did you know that Mr. Zubair not only can make costumes, but props too? <laughs> I've noticed that you can't keep your eyes off this crown. Would you like to try it on? <laughs> May I? Of course. 
the legends say that the goddess of flowers had beautiful horns on her head. So this crown was made to reflect that. Hey! Is that who Paimon thinks it is? It looks like... Catherine! Is it Catherine? See you're not at the stand. Huh? Oh, hey, it's the traveler and Paimon. What's shaken? Whoa, break time Catherine sure sounds a lot less formal than usual. Paimon was still waiting for her to say Ad Astra Abyssos. Sure, <laughs> standing behind the counter at the Adventurers Guild doesn't require any complicated functions, but saying and doing the same old things over and over again can get pretty monotonous. Like watching the same Fontaine movie day after day. But take you two, for example. You travel across to Vat to enrich your lives and gain new experiences. Well, we enjoy traveling across to Vat and all that, but we're mainly looking for... Yes, and you should keep searching. Sometimes the answers we're looking for aren't necessarily at our intended destination. Instead, they're found along the way. Huh. Haven't we heard someone say something pretty similar recently? Uh, anyways, what brings you out here, Catherine? Are you a fan? No, not particularly. I guess you could say that I'm loving the recent atmosphere here. If festivals bring happiness to everyone, then that's where their true value lies. Oh, it looks like it's about time for me to be heading back now. All right, we'll see you next time at the event. I'm sure you two will get along well with the people here. You've already been blessed by the element of Dendro, after all. <laughs> see you around. Oh, is that meaning because I already resonated with the tower? Hey, would that have been different if I didn't? Hmm. There's something really different about Catherine today. Hey, traveler. Paimon. Oh, hey, Thea. What's going on? I've got something to tell you. My lady knows you're looking for ways to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali, and she's been trying to come up with a way to help you. Well, I have an idea that might help. Are you serious? We'd love that! It might not necessarily pan out, so don't get your hopes up too much. I'll need to take you two somewhere and ask someone some questions. Uh, my lady is feeling a little worn out at the moment. Nilu's found a place for her to rest. After I take my lady home, let's meet in front of the Citadel of Regzar. Sounds like a plan! No waiting? Let's head over to the Citadel of Regzar and wait for Thea! Okay, here we go. Sorry, I'm late. It took some convincing for the master and mistress to believe that Miss Dunyarzad was only sitting in the port for a while because she was in a bad mood. Anyway, I guess I should be thanking you. I haven't seen Miss Dunyarzad that happy in a long time. If it wasn't for you two, she probably would have been caught and dragged back much earlier. You sure sound a whole lot nicer than when we first met, Thea. Who would have thought you had such a soft spot for Dunyarzad? It, it's called being a professional. I'm a bodyguard, and I work for whoever's paying. <laughs> Look, Thea's blushing. Ugh, listen, blush. you two. I don't expect to be working for Miss Dunyarzad very long, but I hope to finish things on a positive note if possible. Let's cut the chit-chat and head into the Citadel. We'll see if the person I know has a way for you two to meet with the Lesser Lord. Oh, 
Hiya, Chief. Hadia, what are you doing here? And well, well, didn't expect to see you three together. <laughs> I take it you all know each other already? Mm-hmm. We met this morning after the Adventurers Guild pointed us to Ozfan for more info. No kidding. Hmm. So, where's Ruksha? I thought I'd help these two out by asking about the theft. Anything you can tell him? Ruksha's gone over to the Academia. The Grand Sage recently ordered Sumero City to begin bolstering its defenses. So people from all over have been called back to the city. Hmm. <clears throat> Since you've already mentioned the theft, I suppose I might as well tell him what we know. Appreciate it, Chief. Uh, theft? Sorry, what the heck are you guys talking about? Just recently, the Academia lost something, and there's a chance the item is connected with the Dendro Archon. This case might just somehow help you in meeting her. <laughs> I suppose that's one way to look at it. But if you ask me... The case is more about the Academia than anything else. Let me fill you in. The Academia recently sent a convoy to pick up an important package from Aru Village. Word got out, and the convoy was robbed on its way back. The Grand Sage took the whole matter very seriously. Not only did he dispatch the Matra, but also enlisted our help in the search for leads. All we know so far is that whatever was stolen is currently in Port Ormos. You two have heard of Port Ormos, haven't you? It's the largest commercial port in all of Sumeru. You can travel there by leaving Sumeru City and heading south along the river. The Academia's grip isn't long enough to reach all the way to Port Ormos, so the city's a little more laid back, meaning the population's also a mixed bag. You never know who you'll meet there. Apparently, what was lost has a great deal to do with the Akasha, knowledge, and even the gods. I'm afraid I don't have any other details for you, though. If you're interested, maybe you could head to Port Ormos and ask around- Are you serious, Chief? All the Academia students are in Sumeru City, you know. Why should they pretend to be students in Port Ormos? <laughs> if you're also interested, just go there and see what happens. I told you so. Okay. I've got plenty of work to do here. And take it from me. If you two really do decide to visit Port Ormos, you best watch your backs. Let's just say that the Aramites there aren't nearly as friendly as those here in Sumeru City. There are even some extremists who go around shouting slogans like Retake Sumeru for King Deshret. Word is that more and more are joining their movement. They're becoming a real headache for Chief and the others. You bet they are. King Deshret's been dead for thousands of years. Now they start spreading rumors of his return. Re Not everyone's like you, Chief. Even the desert natives who abandoned their homes in the wilderness still wish to have a god of their own. <sighs> well, Traveler, that's about all the information we have for you. Thanks, Gia! And you too, Osfan! Since we've gathered all we could for the moment in Sumeru City, let's head to Port Ormos and see what we can find next. Miss Dunyarzad is looking forward to seeing you both at the Subzerus Festival, so be sure to get yourselves back here in time for that. Don't worry, we will. Then we'll see you both at the Subzerus Festival. Hey, look, I'm close to being 46. <laughs> I'm not ascending right now, though. That's a bit away, actually. And that's the one teleport waypoint I don't have. Oh, one of them. I don't get that one either. I have this one. It'll take me where I'm going anyway. <laughs> oh, there's a teleport waypoint. <laughs> Okay. 
Come and have a good look yourself. Traditional spices of the highest quality, made with pride and experience. <laughs> You've got a deal. I can't thank you enough for always looking after my business. Believe me, I'm not making this up. Several Eremite mercenary groups are nearly in open conflict, but does the core of 30 care? <sighs> and that's not all. Did you know that... Wow! Talk about hurly burly, this place is busy! Oh, guess that's only to be expected for the largest port in Sumeru. Ooh. Let's get our bearings so we can start looking for leads. We know that whatever the Academia lost is related to the gods. But other than that, we don't have much else to go on. Hmm. Oscar told us to try posing as Academia students while asking around. Hyman checked the Akasha on the way here, and the Academia doesn't seem to have any research facilities in Port Ormos. Hyman doesn't get it. Won't we look even more suspicious going around saying we're Academia's flow? Given all the people out. that come through here every day, if there's any information to be found, Paimon bets we could find it in the market. Let's ask around and see what we come up with. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, how can I help you two? Ah, uh, hi there. We would like to ask you a question. Um, do students from the Academia ever come to Port Ormos? <laughs> of course. Especially around this time of year. Students from Sumeru City that are about to graduate often come to Port Ormos to cut loose a little. Many people often talk about how hard it is to get accepted into the Academia, let alone graduate. But those who finish their studies and go on to become full-time researchers at the Academia have it even harder. Sure, we may not be Sumero City, but Port Ormos offers beautiful scenery and a stress-free environment. Some even say it's good luck to come to Port Ormos, so students and researchers come flocking here when things get to be too much at the Academia. Ah, you see over there? Those are students from the Academia. They've been looking worried and miserable ever since they got here a few days ago. If you ask me, the life of a merchant is better. So long as the Akasha teaches us what we need, then life is good. Hmm. Those students seem to be discussing something. Let's see if we can listen in. Oh, listen in? Why do you like to spy on everyone, Paimon? It's no good. I've tried asking around, but I haven't been able to learn anything useful. Not to mention that a bunch of scary-looking Aramite mercenaries have been posted along the streets now. There's been a lot of fighting between the different Aramite factions in Port Ormos. If we choose to move on our own, then it would be wise to steer clear of them. Especially the group that's constantly shouting some stuff about King Deshred and some resurrection. I've even heard that the Citadel of Regzar is starting to get fed up with them. What was that group called again? Ein something or other? They're called Ein El Akmar. Today, I heard that the thing we're after might be in their possession at the moment. Wait, come again? Don't you see? Many of the Aramites in Port Ormos deal with trading this kind of thing. They're usually pretty wary of outsiders, but not so with students of the Academia. It's because the kind of goods that students are looking for aren't the kind of goods that Aramites are after. As long as they know you're a student, then deals can be made. I've heard that Ein El Hakmar likes to set up shop at the Jafar Tavern. Supposedly, if you're willing to part with half a million Mora, they'll give you info on anything. Wait, wait, did you say half a million? If information alone costs that much, then how could we ever afford to buy- I wouldn't worry too much. Our field of research is very- Ah, that's what we're doing. Sense. Whoa, did you hear that? A niche field of rape so What's your plan? Let's try talking. Let's go to Wait, here. Didn't you hear what they just said? Buying information is going to cost us half a million more. Oh, yeah, right. Paimon. Paimon never thought she'd agree to parting with that kind of Mora. But if you know what you're doing, then we should give it a shot. Yeah, see, Paimon, don't jump to conclusions so fast.
See, Paimon, you almost got us to lose half a million more. Oh, what are you looking at? What's oh, mine now? This is the place we heard those students talking about. Let's find a seat somewhere and see if we. You sit down and wait for some time. Oh, you've arrived. Please take a seat. So, they think that they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the boss? Ha! Huh. Once we reclaim the power of King Deshret, they'll be the first that the boss punishes. <laughs> They're nothing to be afraid of. Our main rival now is the Caracal Battalion. They've also amassed a significant amount of more this time, so we mustn't underestimate them. How can the Caracal Battalion compete with the boss when they're nothing but a bunch of money-grubbing opportunists out for a quick mora? Yeah, with boss's fervent devotion, he'll be able to use this power to bring our god back this time. Huh. All these guys talk about is King Deshret, so they're probably the ones we're looking for. <laughs> Greater Lord Ruka Devata. That traitor and her followers must not be spared. The day will come when King Deshred exacts vengeance on Sumeru, and all of them shall be punished. Yeah, Paimon was wondering what they meant too. We should ask about that if we get the chance later. Oh, we're gonna ask him directly? Huh? Who are you? What do you want? I'm a traveler. A traveler? Now's probably not the time to talk about that. Didn't the students say Aramites are wary of outsiders? A student? <laughs> What's a student from Sumeru City doing in Port Ormos? Like about a certain something. Ah, well, if it's info you want, you've come to the right place. The question is, can you afford it? And, um... Oh, I can't stand to see so much more. <laughs> Here, this is the merchant's address. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it there. Hmm? Well, what are you waiting for? Oh, that's right! We heard you mention King Deshret just now. We're actually interested to know more because... <sighs> Fine. Since you've already handed over the Mora, I guess I can throw in a little extra info. As you can see, members of Ain el Ahmar are devout believers of King Deshret. Years ago, King Deshret founded the great desert nation that was our homeland. It was an advanced civilization, far beyond anything you'll see in present-day Sumeru. King Deshret was the rightful god of wisdom, but he was betrayed by a companion he trusted. She even stripped him of his title, God of Wisdom. So, you mean the traitor was... Greater Lord Ruka Devata, yes. That shameless wretch destroyed King Deshret's civilization, and our ancestors were forced to flee to this land where we were made to suffer the tyranny of our enemies. Furthermore, she conspired with the Academia to cover up the truth of her actions and create the merciful and benevolent facade for which she is now known. Ugh, just thinking about it sickens me. But the story doesn't end there, oh no. King Deshret isn't truly dead. The voice of the Oracle has been heard in the desert, prophesying his resurrection. Mark my words, our god shall return. And when that day comes, all followers of the traitor and all the desert dwellers who have forgotten their true god will suffer retribution together. If what I'm saying makes you shiver with fear, it might not be too late for you to become a believer of King Deshret. <laughs> you tell us more about the... I don't have anything to say to you academia people about that. I think this conversation... Not just yet. This man is a fraud. Oh, hello, Ethan. <gasps> You again? T deranged academia lunatic. Yes, it's me again. I already warned you that if you weren't willing to sit and discuss things with me, I'd take measures to make things uncomfortable for you. Listen to me. That address he gave you is fake. Or at least, you won't find a merchant waiting for you there. This group has been boasting all around Told you that they can mine. provide information on a certain item as a means of luring people into their territory. Once you show up, they keep up the act until they have hard evidence that you want to purchase said item. Then they use that to squeeze you for all the more of your Told worth. Told you, Paimon. Hey, shut it all, Haytham. 
What are you playing at trying to ruin our business like this, hmm? I told you the other day. I wish to discuss my terms with your boss. Ha! The boss made it perfectly clear that he won't negotiate with you. Yes, and in no uncertain terms. But that was then. It does not preclude him from changing his mind in the future. I'm warning you. Don't push us, or this could get ugly. We don't usually get rough with people from the academia because it just complicates things. For a lunatic like you, though, we might just have to make an exception. If you're suggesting that we escalate this from a verbal exchange to a physical one, I accept. After all, even the Archons used war to negotiate the ownership of Tabat. If, on the other hand, we can't agree on any means of negotiation at all, then I'm afraid my next course of action will sting a little more than the mere falling through of a few business deals. I will jeopardize the Aramite's reputation, which I know you value above all else. I am quite confident that if I began to take such action, your boss would willingly approach me himself. However, I fear that by then, some things will have happened that cannot be undone. Also, a word of advice. I suggest you tell your boss exactly what happened here today. Otherwise, he might blame you for not telling him in the future. What did you say? Consider this. Have I ever failed to follow through on my word in the past? This guy is really out of his mind. Okay, then. If you really have a death wish, let's meet a week from today. The pier in front of the Pharos Lighthouse, four o'clock in the afternoon, sharp. Don't expect us to hold back. Very Not well. so fast. First, you return the 500,000 <laughs> Mora to them. Please, I beg you, don't provoke them. We can't afford any trouble with this crowd. They haven't even paid for their food yet. Ah, Mr. Iman, there appears to be fewer staff in the restaurant recently. This wouldn't happen to be because they're all busy spreading the word to the students, would it? I, uh, well... <laughs> someone who chooses to do business with a group like that really can't afford to get so flustered the instant someone confronts them about it. Consider the meal compensation for our silence. I'd say you're getting an excellent deal. Whoa, did you see that? He not only got us our Mora back, but sent the Emirates running to us. He seems to know a lot about what's going on around. Yeah, let's go ask Al Hazan some Hayden questions. After him. Wait up! It's Al Hazan, right? What do you want? Thank you. No need for thanks. My goal was to get to them, and you two gave me just the opportunity I needed. We're even. Oh, I advise you to keep your distance from them. Since they weren't able to make off with your Mora in the end, they might harass you again in the future. <sighs> All right. Goodbye. Hold your horses! We still have something to ask you about! <sighs> Since you tore through their scam right in front of them, you must know the real story about a... Ahem... Certain something, no? Who exactly are you two? And why are you inquiring a student? <laughs> right. Look, you should know that those thugs conducting business... Yeah, we're totally a student. Have nothing to do with your lie. I know a thing or two about huh? swordplay. Oh, yeah! He's really strong! Weren't you saying something about a physical exchange? We can help with that. He doesn't even have a vision. Forget it. Maybe not, but he can still use elemental energy. Otherwise, there's no way we'd go asking for info from I'm... I'll... I... Those high-headed thugs are definitely gonna bring a lot of backup for your next meeting. Even if you don't go alone, you won't regret taking... Hmm. Uh... <sighs> All right. I accept. Got a pen and paper? If you're s- We'll reconvene at the appointed time by the pier. It doesn't matter if you show up or not. Um, so, since you were happy to give us this merchant's information, 
Does that mean you can tell us exactly what we're after? You were willing to part with 500,000 Mora for something and you didn't even know what I'm it on was? was. <laughs> okay. Well, if you truly are as skilled as you claim, then you can beat the answer out of them when they become hostile. Look, if you've been making inquiries, then you have to know something by now. Tell me what you know so far, so I don't waste time repeating information. We know it's connected to the academia somehow, and that not only do the Aramites deal in it, but some students want to get a hold of it too. You know almost everything there is to know, but you're unable to compile this information because you've never seen the object before. This is what you've been looking for. Huh? <laughs> My mind can't tell what it is. <laughs> it looks like some he kind has it. of <laughs> ornament. This is a knowledge capsule. To put it simply, it's a vessel that can store a fixed quantity of canned knowledge. It's like a miniature Akasha. Anyone who links it to their personal Akasha terminal instantly becomes privy to its contents. Anyone? Correct. Anyone. Unlike the Akasha, which heavily regulates who can access what information, knowledge capsules confer their contents without any requisites. That's amazing! It's essentially a convenient and harmless vestibule for knowledge. Unfortunately, it's illegal in Sumeru to privately possess or trade them. They were created as a means for scholars to transfer knowledge gained from Ermansoul into the Akasha, and are intended to be destroyed immediately after use. But despite strict regulations, some of these knowledge capsules will always escape destruction. After all, there will always be those in this world who are dissatisfied with life as designed for them by the Akasha and wish to change their fate. Over the past century, a wide variety of canned knowledge has been leaked from the Academia. Now, in Port Ormos, the valuable ones are a means to Mora for the Aramites. Meanwhile, those which the Aramites deem to be useless to them occasionally prove useful to the common citizens and hapless Academia students. Well... I think that about sums it up. Lost something. Oh, so that's your... With our current arrangement, I don't believe I can offer an answer. <sighs> You're still resolved. Fine. Yeah, let's, let's negotiate. With fewer pe yeah, he likes to negotiate. So we'll negotiate. <laughs> Let's continue our conversation here. If you wish to learn more about the knowledge capsule that the Academia lost, then you must help me with something. I need you to find someone named Dory. A ah, merchant. here we go. Unlike the peddlers <laughs> who hawk inferior knowledge capsules, she often has quality goods in stock. Some say that as long as there is profit to be made, there is nothing she won't dare to sell. She's guarded against people from the Academia because most of her wares don't comply with Academia regulations. I think she blacklisted me. I met with her informant, but it soon became clear that they had no intention of letting me get any further. Become one of Dory's customers and earn her trust. This is my condition for further collaboration. Why do you want us to meet with- Until you complete this task, you don't have question privileges. <sighs> You two Shut up, Paimon. Who haven't been here for long, so Dory should view you as safe clients. I'll give you the informant's address and their contact password. Beyond the password, though, I have no way of knowing what other tricks she might have up her sleeve. You'll have to improvise. Uh, this is kind of nerve-wracking. It's the not true bad, Paimon. After you meet her, she has a keen nose for Mora and a shrewd eye for wares. And she only likes customers who she deems to have good taste. I'll prepare some funds for you. Buy her highest quality wares and earn her approval. What? We only just saw a knowledge capsule for the first. Hmm, that's true. Have you two heard of Elemental yep. Sight? Oh, that's a surprise. Guess I'll have to hold you in higher regard. Anyway, that ability should resolve your issue. Here are two knowledge capsules. Tell me, can you detect any difference in their quality? Um, they look the same to Paimon. Try inspecting them with elemental sight. How'd it go? Did 
Did you see anything? The left one shines brighter. Rumor has it that higher quality knowledge capsules generally appear brighter when viewed through elemental sight. That's because knowledge originates from Ermensor, the root of Dendro power itself. The more powerful the knowledge, the richer it is in Dendro energy. However, some canned knowledge with a high concentration of elemental energy is of little use in contemporary times, so those capsules are of little value. Using elemental sight is merely a oh, stop click measure. Okay, but no, it I didn't. suffice for earning Dory's trust. That sounds pretty impressive. Here's a sheet with the informant's location and contact password, and here is the mora for purchasing canned knowledge. Don't be cheap. You'll need to spend to catch Dory's eye. If there's any mora left over, just keep it. Oh, and be sure to exercise some caution. There have been Matra present in Port Ormos lately. Your efforts will be for naught if they catch you. Matra? <sighs> They belong to the Academia's regulatory body. They also handle cases of illegal canned knowledge transactions. Like I said, the Academia has banned both their trade and possession. The Matra are razor sharp. You're in for nothing good if they lock their sights onto you. If you two want to back out, okay, then we have a deal. If you succeed in your dealings with Dory, come find me at the Wikela Funduk. We'll have an open discussion then. Looking at what Alhatham wrote, Dory's informant is a traitor near Old Ormos. Let's follow these instructions and try to get in contact with him. Let's take everything. Hello. What are you two looking to buy? What a unique palette. We have unripe horror fruits, but we usually keep them in the back. I'll have someone escort you. Following the paper got us past the fruit. Ronok, these two want to buy unripe horror fruits. Show them to the warehouse. Got it. You two, please follow me. Here we go. You two have a fascinating fashion sense. We haven't seen a customer wearing a Sumeru rose for quite some time. Uh, hold on. Let me think. Sumeru rose means common merch. Um, no. Look again. We're obviously wearing morning flowers. Ah, my mistake. I do apologize. Whew. That pop quiz sure was scary. Ah. The warehouse is up ahead. Please follow me. How far away is it? Was it here? Before I retrieve your products, I need to confirm a few things. Please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our horror fruits were taken by mice. Congratulations <laughs> to you. Thanks. If better goods come in, you'll be the first to know. Hey, trust you increased. Look like you have some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? Heat stroke? No, that's not it. The paper said that heat stroke is the Oh fuck, wrong thing. Uh, uh, wrong thing. <laughs> Let's take a close Uh oh. <laughs> Before I retreat, uh, please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our horror fruits were taken by mice. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. If better, you look like you have some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? The side of tinnitus. Yeah, that's the right answer. But eating horror fruit that makes your head and ears ring? Would you like your horror fruits to be packaged in the Sumero City or Port Ormo style? I don't know. I'm guessing that you're going for a more traditional packaging since this is your first time here. Wait a sec. Sumeru City style means we're only buying a few things. You won't take. Ah. Uh, uh, He's cautious of us. Let's take a. Uh, I don't know. I'm brute forcing this. 
Before I retreat, uh, please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our para fruits were taken by Mike. <laughs> Congratulations. You look like you some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? Dizziness. What? That's the right answer. But eating hara fruit that Would you like your hara fruits to be packaged in the Sumeru City or Port Ormo style? Port Ormo style. Wow. You two sure are generous customers. We'll be sure to package your products beautifully. Okay. Everything has been confirmed. Miss Dory is waiting for you up at Shoot! It's the Matra! Run! What? The Matra? I'll hate them zipper jumper if they catch us. We gotta get out of here. We don't know this area, so let's follow that improvement. Are we going to Dory though? Isn't it suspicious following them? Hey! If you're hiding from the Riskelhand tiger, come this way! Another password! Okay. Huh? Oh, that voice came... Here, over here! You can stop running now. So you were the one who was calling out to us just now. But, uh, are we definitely gonna be safe here? These two good customers wish to buy some horror fruit, Miss Dory. And if there's nothing else, I'll just excuse myself. Oh, very good. Uh, thank you. Okay, come on, let's talk to Dory now. What are you trying to say, Princess Peabrain? I can be scary enough when I need to be, believe you me. If you don't watch what you say, then you can forget about doing any business. But it seems you two have actually done pretty well so far. Not only did you manage to find the informant, your reactions were also pretty sharp. You don't really look like criminals or anything, but I bet my Mora that you've been involved in some shady dealings, haven't you? Sure, if that's supposed to be, I can't risk doing business with people who start hopping and popping after just a few paces. No matter, so I'm on your end. I prefer to have customers like you. It's your first time here, but don't worry, I won't ask too many questions. Even if you wish to buy enough knowledge capsules to decorate your house with, please knock yourself out. As long as you have lots of round, shiny Mora, then we're all good. Can you show us your yeah. products? Of course, of course. Go ahead. Help yourselves. Voila! Wow. She has a trove of hand knowledge. Or take them all. She'd probably be in serious trouble if the Matra caught her with all this. Or take it all. What kind of products do you seek, my dear customers? Uh, don't worry. I'm not interested in your reasons for buying. I can, however. I'll take this one, for example. An analysis of the sociological ideology and dialectics of the Hillichurls. Only three people in all of Tibet have ever studied it, making it extremely rare. It's on sale now. Hey, who would want to be an expert in that topic? Or how about the architectural styles and construction methods of Tibet in the early Argon War period? With this one, you can become an expert in historic architecture preservation and find an excellent, well-paying job in nearly any nation. Ooh, now this sounds like it could be used two million mora, and it's yours. No discounts. Whoa! Of course, you are free to pick whatever your hearts desire. The contents and price of each- Alright, let's try the method that I'll hate them mentioned. Yeah, let's try it.
I'll take this one. And this one. As well as this one. You've really got a good head on your shoulders. I'm quite the eye for quality. <laughs> Watch it be like 50 million more. I'll take these, please and thank you. My oh my, you are blessed with the taste for both the exquisite and the extravagant. Customers like you are a rare breed. One in a hundred. No, go one in a thousand even. Oh yeah, we had to go big. I have a special offer for you two. If you spend just 100,000 more and more, you can pick yep. any knowledge capsule of your choice up to a value of 1 million more. Yep, we're doing okay, it. What now? We'll do it. Hey, did you hear that? Spend another 100k and we get a capsule worth yes. a million. Yes. Calm down, fine. No, I want to spend more. The knowledge we just bought is easily worth half a million more. I want to buy more. Spend just a I want to buy more. Get something worth 1 million more. Think about it. We've gone to all this trouble to get this can. Aren't you even the least bit curious about how this whole can knowledge thing works? Yes. We're talking instant knowledge here. Don't you want to try it yourself? I want to try it. I want to okay, try it though. Fine. We still have around a hundred thousand of our Hatham's more or less. So let's put it to good use by finding something useful for you. Ahem. I want yes, to. Excellent. And then please. So uh, hold on a second. We could choose whatever we want. Oh, but my dear customer, the knowledge capsules over here are worth one million more each. I'm sure discerning customers like yourselves will be able to find something to your liking. Please take your time. Uh oh, Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Let's use Elemental Sight again to check these. All right, let's have a look. Oh. So, what did you see? So, they're all worth about the same amount? Well, anyway, the more has already been spent, so let's at least try to find something useful. Let Paimon take a look here. An introduction to traditional... Not sure we'd ever find volumes 1 through 7, but at least this knowledge should be useful. Whatever makes Paimon well, happy. We'll take this one. All right, very good. I'm expecting some new goods in the next couple days, so be sure to check back again soon. Whether it's canned knowledge or anything else you need, bring. All right. I the story went smoothly enough. Let's head to Wakala Fundook and meet up with all Hatham. Hopefully, now he'll finally tell us about what the academia lost. Hey, can I actually use it though? <laughs> Oh wait, I should use that. Kalei's recipe. Can I use it? Oh. Oh, I wish I could use it. I wish I could use it. <laughs> it won't let me use it. Huh. You two made it. And from the looks on your faces, you were successful. Whoa. There's so many people from the academia here. Why would you pick this place as our meetup spot? Well, Wikela Funduk is under the academia's control. So naturally, the academia has people working here. I came to Port Ormos under the pretense of conducting official business. You're a pretty daring guy. Relax. No one here is interested in anything we say, and the Macher won't come here. <sighs> okay, now, tell me how your encounter with Dory went. You're telling him everything. Okay, we did what you asked. So, can you tell us about the knowledge capsule that the Academia lost now? Before that, I have to ask, 
Why are you two so intent on tracking it down? You don't have to answer, of course. You want to meet with the Dindo Archon. He just wants to meet the God of Wisdom and ask her about something important. We've been in Sumeru for a while now, but we still haven't found a way. When we heard that the Academia had lost something that might be related to the gods, we came here in case it turned out to be our lucky break. In that case, you're on the right track. A short while ago, the Academia lost a knowledge capsule in the desert. It's supposedly a divine knowledge capsule. Use it, and you'll gain the wisdom of the gods. Wow. There's really such a thing as that? Hey, if we find it, do you think we could learn how to meet the Dendro Archon? Ooh, or how to find your sister? I highly doubt it has any mystical properties, but it does indeed exist. And it's right here, in Port Ormos. So, where exactly? That's what we need to find out next. I won't deny that. I am investigating because I'm curious as to what the Divine Knowledge Capsule truly is. As you know, the Aramites in Port Ormos also have their eyes on it. It is an extremely precious item. Extremely the knowledge contained within precious. may bring great power or wealth to whoever has it in their possession. Several brigades have been vying for ownership of it as of late, but there is still no victor. My personal finances and connections cannot compete with those of the Aramites. After attempting various methods, I finally managed to reach a tentative agreement with several brigades. I agreed to forego ownership of the Divine Knowledge Capsule in exchange for the opportunity to study it. After all, there's no harm in understanding what it is. However, there are those who are less amenable to negotiation, such as those from Ayn al-Akhmar. They adamantly believe that the Divine Knowledge Capsule contains King Deshret's power and that he will return to this world when they obtain it. They refuse to let anyone from the Academia tarnish their deity's soul. So you kept hounding them because they refused to cooperate with you? Yes. Ayn al-Akhmar isn't exactly wealthy, but its members are determined to get that capsule by any means necessary. To that end, they've resorted to many methods more foul than fair in order to amass sufficient funds. So, I've been sabotaging their business to force them into negotiating with me. The Divine Knowledge Capsule should be up for a secret auction within the next few days. Each brigade will place their own bid, and the prize will be covertly given to the winner. To ensure the capsule's security and to evade the Matra's notice, the winning brigade will not publicly disclose their victory. Unless I know whose hands the Divine Knowledge Capsule ends up in, my agreements with them will fall through. Dory is the most reliable source of information, but that avenue was previously close to me. With you on board now, the situation is different. In other words, you wanted us to befriend Dory so you could find out where the Divine Knowledge Capsule is. Yes, you can say that. But this arrangement harms none of us. The day after tomorrow, go back to Dory and try to purchase information on the Divine Knowledge Capsule's whereabouts. If she has no information, wait two days and approach her again. If I get the opportunity to study the Divine Knowledge Capsule, I will relay my findings to you. Will that suffice as compensation? Exactly what I want. Okay, then we'll meet up in two days. Um, uh, hey, Thum, before you go, we actually bought a Knowledge Capsule for ourselves, but we're not sure how to use it. <laughs> You two want to try using a knowledge capsule? Sure, I can teach you. Doing so right under the Academia's nose is a bit problematic, though. What do you say we head to the outskirts of town? Sure. We are going to the outskirts of town after all. There's no teleport waypoint over there. It'd be nice if there's a teleport waypoint closer. 
However, there is not. Oh, the daily reset happened. What's the progress on commissions? Oh, technically none. Okay, maybe it just happened. I think it did just happen. place works. Show me the capsule you purchased. Here. Hmm. Sword fighting techniques eight. Huh. A combat class knowledge capsule. This class is something of a rare find these days, since most have been taken by the Aramites to augment their battle capabilities. Really? Ah, oh, yeah, what a great buy! If you want to determine the efficacy of this capsule, I can evaluate your combat ability. However, effects will likely be minimal if you already possess a high amount of strength. We can conduct a controlled experiment where you fight two battles. One before using this knowledge capsule, and one after. While you fight, we can use an Akasha terminal to monitor your various physical parameters. There may be variances in your physical strength between the two tests, as well as a disparity in your opponent's abilities. But don't worry. I'll run statistical analyses afterward to mitigate any confounding effects. You must have been one of those guys at the academia who got top grades on everything. Um, Paimon's curious about something, though. You definitely weren't one of those students who needed canned knowledge to graduate from the academia, right? So, why are you risking getting caught by the mantra for this capsule? Oh, why is he? When you are unable to understand a researcher's actions, most cases can be attributed to curiosity. This is but one theory. Mm, sounds like you're trying to avoid the question. All right, let's begin the test. Just fight as you normally do. Okay. Why am I fighting all oh, these things? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on, 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 hold on. Not the achievements, but... Hold on. Max HP. I should build Dendro if I want to build react these on him. Instead of Elector, I should put Dendro things. Sits <sighs> sits five nine three. That's one of these. It's one of those. Okay. There you are. Die. Hey, I got my ults. One with the force. Enemy reinforcements. I want to stay in the area. Okay, come back. Yeah. 
here. Actually, hold on. Paint. Paste that in there. Paste that in here. Okay, now I got both. Does it actually increase our stats? Adventure time. All right. I'll link your Akasha terminal to record data. The next step is to use this knowledge capsule. Hold it in your hand. I'll help you establish a connection with it so you can activate its power. Obtain your inventory and use it. Oh, and now I have to use it. Countless Lord fighting me in a moment, then in the next they disappeared into a wrinkling sense of my memory. Hey, how are you feeling? Whatever is in a part that of my memory. Alright. Time for round two. Fight with the same composure as before. Excuse me. Let's light it up. Off we go. Stop flying and stay on the ground. Nowhere to run. I don't need to race my ult on this, so. the ground <laughs> now I'll start recording data again oh hey thumb how's it going well the knowledge capsule you purchased did improve his combat capability <laughs> During the second fight, his overall fighting performance increased by 0.073 percent. <laughs> How much? Point zero seven three. Dory's such a jerk. She totally scammed us. One million mora? This thing isn't worth it. Of course, this could be because he is so powerful that the capsule's contents were unable to produce a substantial increase. At the very least. This test allowed me to gain more insight into you two. Our deal seems increasingly worth my investment. I'm heading back to Wakela Funduk. I await your response in two days' time. This is more of for when you ask Dory for information. Pay her as much as she requests. Wait, did it actually... 
Will he increase our stats? Sits five nine three. Sits five nine three. Five seven sits sits. Five seven sits sits. It did not. It didn't do anything. <laughs> it didn't do anything there. Wait, two days until seven. Two days. Day after tomorrow. I'm not gonna have a whole nother day pass. Let's see Dory today and ask her about where the divine knowledge capsule is. Gotta pay everything. Actually, how much more do I actually have? No, I got ornament. This item was given to you by a lovely lady, Yamiko. Oh, should I start the knowledge stone? Here, over here. Oh, welcome back, my loyal patrons. What can I do for you this time? You name it. Hand knowledge, supplies, or anything else you need. I'll find a way to get it. Where there's a waterfall of Mora, there's a way. Can you really get us anything we want? Anything at all? Aha. Uh -huh. So it appears the can knowledge alone is no longer sufficient for your opulent appetite. <sighs> then please oblige me. Tell me what you have in mind. Oh, I like to buy information. <laughs> Our new customers with pockets as deep as yours would undoubtedly crave something more profound than <laughs> ordinary hand knowledge. But you know, that kind of information isn't going to be cheap. Or where? All, I had to work really hard to weasel my way into the auction site. And that's mentioned that if anyone found out that I was the leaker, I would be in big, big trouble. But how can we be sure your information is accurate? Paimon's curious. How you just happen to have this kind of info the moment we need it? <laughs> because to me, anything of value is what I consider to be my supply. Therefore, I must always be aware of what's hot on the market in order to secure more sales. And as for the information's authenticity, well, you've no need to worry about that. I used a camera to take a picture of the transaction. That way, no one can dispute it. Name your price. It's always a pleasure doing business with such sterling patrons. <clears throat> now that you've paid in full, here's the scoop. The Divine Knowledge Capsule was purchased yesterday by a certain Misery, the leader of Ain El Ahmar. Ain El Ahmar? You mean the Aramites who worshipped King Deshrik? Ah, so you're already familiar with them. The group has done everything in their power to obtain the Divine Knowledge Capsule. After all, they believe it contains the power of King Deshret. That Divine Knowledge Capsule is unlike any other can knowledge I've seen before. It was glowing bright red. Bright the capsule red. is clearly visible in the picture I took. You can look for yourself. Thanks for the info, Dory. Please, it's my pleasure. It's all thanks to discerning customers such as yourselves that my efforts yesterday were not in vain. Please, don't hesitate to contact me if you ever need anything else in the future. Mora for Dory opens doors. Well, we figured out where the Divine Knowledge Capsule is. It turns out it may... Oh, I can't look at it. Let's head back and talk to Al Haytham. Let's recharge in stamina because I'm running out. Alright. Oh, hate them! We got the info you 
wanted. Really? All right. Let's hear it. The very group we're about to Dory face. Dory even gave us evidence to verify the intel. Have a look. Huh, look at that. Clear as day. It must have taken some guts just to infiltrate the scene of the Aramite's transaction. But then, to get close enough to take a picture like this. Bold move, Dory. Very bold move. All right. The person in this picture is indeed Misery, the leader of Ain al Ahmar. And the glowing red capsule he's holding appears to be the Divine Knowledge capsule. In which case, if we play our cards right, when we confront them next week, we should be able to force them to show their hand. At first, Paimon didn't get why you were provoking these Ain el Ahmar guys. But now, it sort of makes sense. Everything's playing right into your hands. After we defeat them, we can finally have a serious talk with their boss and get them to lend us the Divine Knowledge Capsule. Thank you for your time and efforts. Take a few days off while I make some preparations. Let's meet up again on the afternoon of the arranged date, 3 o'clock sharp. See you then. Oh, hey, I'm sure he's taking his time. Where could he be? Oh, there he is. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's head to the pier in front of Faro's lighthouse. Yep, let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> um, where? Oh, right there. And I'm gonna be lazy and send my cross. I just need some more stamina first. There we go. I knew you were crazy, but I didn't know you were crazy enough to actually show up. It was I who demanded that these negotiations take place. I was more worried that you might go back on your promise. But to your credit, it appears that you're sticking to your word. This is turning into quite an occasion. I also brought some backup. I assume you don't mind. Backup? Aren't you the brat from the restaurant the other day? You've come to support this lunatic because he helped you out? Fine. Your funeral. I'm not going to mince my words. Once we're done with you, you'll be nothing more than fish food. Get em, boys! Ready, set, fight. Uh-oh. Here they come. Now you two, you two would be easy. Hey, we died at the same time because of you. Crystallize is powerful though. Light it up. 
Once there's more, I might as well. Almost done with this. But the main guy I need to attack is at you. Find him now, are we? Oh, that. Oh, I know. Oh, that's what it is. Ah. Boss. Boss. What's wrong? What happened to him? We have to cut his Akasha connection now. Hey, we can see how he's on fight. <laughs> Not impede our work. Is that understood, I'll hate them. Of course. I was only trying to help. Take him away. <laughs> he got arrested. It's really relevant to us. Huh? What in Tibet just happened? It looks like he used the divine knowledge capsule. You mean the divine knowledge capsule did that to him? Oh yeah. You mean how some researchers go insane after getting knowledge from Ermansoul? I've heard of numerous incidents of researchers in Satyavada life going insane. The state that man is now in suggests that this is a similar situation. Hmm. This divine knowledge capsule does appear to be linked to the gods, but beyond that, it doesn't seem anything like the rumors suggest. Possessing it doesn't grant you divine wisdom or power. Did you hear what he said? World, forget me. What could that possibly mean? That's exactly what I heard before at Mersal. If the mantra took him away, then that means the academia got the divine knowledge capsule back too. Ugh, what a shame. Still, Paimon didn't expect the Divine Knowledge Capsule would be so dangerous. Imagine if we tried to open it. Oh, who knows what would have happened to us? As things stand, there is no reason for me to remain in Port Ormos. I believe our collaboration has also reached its end. Oh, we were so busy trying to find the Divine Knowledge Capsule that Paimon forgot to ask you something. Since you're a member of the Academia, do you have any idea how we could go about meeting less He's gonna say nope, Kusanali? isn't he? Truthfully, I don't. Lesser Lord Kusanali appears to exist outside of Sumeru's entire administration. Most of the time, you wouldn't know she exists at all. Moreover, since the Academia Hello. possesses the Akasha, a symbol of our deity's wisdom, how goes it? Scholars have no reason to desire to make contact with the deity herself anyway. <sighs> Everything about Lesser Lord Kusanali is such a mystery. I'm heading back to the academia. 
How about you two? Ah, uh, it's almost the day of the Sub-Zero's festival. Maybe we should head back too. We've been rushed off our feet over the past few days, so maybe a little rest and relaxation will do us good. How are you doing? Let's return to Sumeru City. Oh wait, we need to do the and other thing. Here, I'll hate them. We need to do the, uh, what was it? The theater thing. Is it gonna let us do that now? Now, do I deal with this? He has first, it. <laughs> or should I produce the report that the higher ups require? All right, how much of the quest? Have? Oh, that completed all the quests. Okay. That also means I got that. Oh, I got something else here. Okay. That's a bit away, actually. <laughs> hey, it's a good thing I get the teleport waypoints ahead of time, right? <laughs> we didn't miss the Sub Zero's festival, right? Let's hurry and find Dunyarzai. Paimon thinks she must be around the Grand Bazaar. Since she showed us around there last time. Oh, I got a tree or something. <laughs> there she is! Dinyarzad! We're back! Just as promised. Traveler and Paimon. I'm so glad that you two came back to celebrate Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday. A very important Indeed. festival, after all. The festival's tomorrow. We've been preparing for so long that I can't help but feel a little nervous. There's no need to be nervous. I'm unsure that Lesser Lord Kusanali will feel everyone's gratitude. <laughs> Thanks, Paimon. I hope that everyone who comes to the festival will also have a good time. Speaking of which, um, did you manage to make your way to Port Ormos? Discover anything over there? Of course we went. A lot of things happened there. We don't find anything uh, more see. about less of Kusanala yet. Another exciting adventure. Oh, greater Lord. If there is another One of chance, the two. I would love to join. My lady, if you went to Port Ormos in your current state, we'd both be in for a lifetime of trouble. Dia! You are eavesdropping! It's called covert protection. Keeping an ear out for what's going on around my employer is part of the job. It's all right, Dia. I merely said I would like to go. I know better than to think my body could handle it. <sighs> the festival's tomorrow. I've been doing nothing but causing trouble for you. So, Dia, please take some time to relax. I'll be fine. Mm, even when you put it that way, it still doesn't feel right. Don't worry, my guardian knight. <sighs> okay, fine, but only tonight. Tomorrow's a big day, and many no-good scumbags are going to try to take advantage of that. Ah. You're actually tired, Paimon. Oh, uh, all you do is float around all day. From your long journey back to the city. Uh, my apologies for not realizing this sooner. I've already prepared a room for you to rest. Please follow me. Whoa, you're so thoughtful. Paimon's so ready. So is it going to have us rest? What is her idle animation? Is that it? Hmm. Guess so. Sorry, partner. This feeling, it's like... Like a lemon cheesecake. Nice to meet you. I am Navia, the esteemed president, leader, commander-in-chief, executive director, and boss of Spina di Rosula. You strike me as somebody special. A person of character. Something tells me that this is the beginning of a long partnership between us. 
Perhaps even as long as all the titles in front of my name. <laughs> <sighs> it's raining again. Uh, uh, I should have covered my ears when I saw the flash. Maybe I should take off my hat and let the snowflakes fall onto my face. Uh, my hat! Sunglasses are great at keeping the sand out of your eyes so you can see your way. Except at night. Then you can't see anything at all. I never enjoy leftovers that have been left too long. It just feels... Okay. I have to... I think it'd be better to walk over here anyway. Yeah, it will be. Alright. Here we are. It's also fairly close to where I've been staying. It looks really nice. Sorry for the trouble. <laughs> Not at all. It, just tell me more about your adventures when you next get the chance. That's Paimon's specialty. Paimon could tell you. Oh, if you don't mind, how about we all walk around together tomorrow? All of my friends will be working the festival, and Dia's still insisting on her covert protection. Yeah. It'll be pretty hard to relax. I'll keep you company to Myra. I may be too. Paimon started to really look forward to the sub zero phone don't. See, there goes Paimon with food. There goes Paimon with food. Ah, did we oversleep? We should go meet Dunyarzad right away. Pretty sure we're going right back in, aren't we? Yep. Almost. Traveler, Paimon, I've been waiting for you two. Good morning, Dunyarzad. We must have overslept a little bit. <laughs> Not at all. I arrived early. Oh, today is finally here. I must cherish every moment as if it were gold. You've worked so hard for this day. You've got to enjoy it to the fullest. <laughs> you know it. Oh, it's just that, um, as expected, I had some trouble falling asleep last night. I'm hoping my body won't be too much of an issue today. Well, uh, shall we? L Many vendors came out of the blue to support the event, and they insisted on covering costs themselves. Let's go give them some business. They paid for everything out of pocket? Oh, sounds like they're not in this just for the Mora. <laughs> they all said that contributing to a lively festival atmosphere is more important than money. I hate this part Especially here where you have to walk really slowly. To celebrate Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday. Ooh, they're selling food over there! <laughs> this is a stall offering foods from the Haft Mewa feast. Oh, you could tell straight away. I thought most people nowadays wouldn't know. Mushrooms, flowers, and all kind of fruit? It's all vegetarian stuff. Oh, Paimon's a little disappointed. So, what's the Haft Mewa feast you mentioned just now? It's another sub festival tradition. People used to set their tables with seven different foods. Generally speaking, the most common selections were foods like Rukashaba mushrooms, Milo Pala lotuses, Sumeru roses, Sunsetias, Kapalatas, Hara fruits, and Zaytun peaches. So, the sub festival is a vegetarian holiday? <laughs> you don't have to be a vegetarian to enjoy the spread. We just use the seven foods to symbolize the seven virtues of the Dendro Archon. Wait, but if that's the case, if Sumeru uses vegetarian food to represent the Dendro Archon, then wouldn't the Pyro Archon's festival be full of food like roasted fowl, juicy meatballs, grilled steak? Oh, Traveler, we have to go to Natlon as soon as possible! <laughs> I hope your wish comes true one day, Paimon. Thanks! Alright, how about we also check out some of these other stalls? Dear customers, would you like to try your hand at alchemical divination? 
What's alchemical divination? Those two things sound like they'd be fun to try together. Right? I thought the same when I first heard about it. It is said to be a mysterious craft invented by none other than Lesser Lord Kusanali herself. So, how does it work? It's quite simple. After you give me any two alchemical reagents, I'll use them to perform a random transmutation. Sure sounds random. So random that it will probably fail. That is precisely what we need. After the transmutation fails, your one and only diviner here will interpret the remnants. Oh, I gotta click the button, yeah. Let me go back to my computer. This computer. Come on, mouse. Thank you. Well, according to Lesser Lord Kusanali, everything is interconnected. And all that occurs can be traced back to fate. You could say this is a pearl of old wisdom. Why does everything sound so much more credible when Dunya Azad says it? Are you guys working together? So that's the true wisdom behind it. This young lady sure knows her stuff. So, how about... I guess we can. Uh... I don't want to give that. Um... What's the most common thing I have? This. No, we'll give this. We'll give that, why not? I can get more of that. Okay, one moment. Hmm. It's the moon. Paimon wants to take a look too! Uh, is it? It looks more like a pie that Paimon bit into. Hmm. Generally speaking, the moon signifies... It means... Uh... Wait a moment. Is he really looking it up in a book? Oh, I remember now. It means illusions and lies. Illusions and lies? That sounds rather ominous. Yes, but this book says that if you trust your intuition and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. He's not even trying to hide his book anymore. Naturally, fate will only ever show you the beginning of a journey. It is up to you to forge your own ending. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. He's not I'll trying to book. Okay. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just learning as I go. <laughs> uh. Guess that was still pretty interesting. Okay, on to the next stall. They say the sub Zeros festival was very lively a long, long time ago. Large flowers. Wait, you turn around when I get too far away? City. <laughs> As they headed towards Port Ormos, people would throw flowers, candy, and liquor all along the way. Dunyarzad's eyes are sparkling right now. Oh, I wish I could have seen that spectacle. But if you ask me, I'm sure Nilu's dance of Subzeros will be just Can we go as through impressive. this? Can we? Hi. Right. Can I make a push me? No. Okay. Yes! Attention! Soldiers, fall into formation if you want any Yalda candies. It's a weird guy with a weird hat! <laughs> it is a weird guy with a weird hat, isn't it? <laughs> Miss Dunyarzad, the children love you even more than the Yalda candies. In the few short days it took to prepare for the Sabzerus festival, the children have all grown very fond of you. Uh, um, the hallowed night of flowers. It's an honor that you know my name. <clears throat> Attention! In the name of Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, I commend you on your contributions to the glorious Sabzerus Festival. All right, little soldiers, take your Yalda candies and don't forget your loyalty to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Dismissed! Yes, Knight Ferris! Uh, 
Just what is going on? <laughs> Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, is another Sudzeris Festival icon, and one immensely popular with children. In the past, the actor portraying Ferris would also sit on a flower carriage. It's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsorship that the children can make such wonderful memories today. As are we to you, Vihar. Oh, <laughs> not at all. Oh, speaking of tradition, do you want some Yalta candies? They're a festival staple, and I happen to have some boxes readied here. Take a look and pick whichever one you want. Whichever one? Um... <laughs> that is the fun part. Each box contains a random flavor. It's up to the luck of the draw. Flavors include lavender melon, hara fruit, sunsetia. Ooh, those all sound... And there's also lizard tail and oni kabuto. <laughs> hey, that's like the jelly bean thing, isn't it? Oni kabuto is a little spicier than lizard tail. Tanyarzad, you tried them before? Hmm. It's all right. I'm not believing you. I also believe in your intuition. Great. These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from left to right. Can I use my Which elemental sight on this? Ah, uh, three. Yes. Attention! That's unfortunately Lavender Melon. Oh, Hyman thought you survived so many epic battles because you had incredible luck. But looks like Hyman <laughs> was wrong. The Sunsetia flavored candy was in box number four. How about this? The most important thing is that everyone has a good time at the festival. So please, take both boxes. Really? Thanks a lot, Knight of Candies! It's Knight of Flowers, not Knight of Candies. <laughs> <laughs> Paimon really wilted the carriageless Knight of Flowers. They all basically sound the same. We got our candy, so let's keep going. Oh, uh, actually, Paimon wants I his just food. remembered that I left something. Can you come with me to get it? Sure. Dad, you probably forgot because you're so. <laughs> uh, how embarrassing. Sure, we'll go with you. Sure, you just teleport away. Hey, I get to walk fast at least. Well, that's nice at least, you know. We're too late. Who knew the little lady was such an early riser? I know, right? Hey, oh, these people. Minute. Puss! Isn't that her? Oh, that most certainly is. We're in luck. She's walking right into our clutches. Those Aramites don't look like they're up to any good. Who are you? I don't believe the Homayanis hired you. <laughs> That's right. We haven't received any of their mora, but I wonder how much the Homayanis would shell out to get you. Wait, back. Isn't this the same guy? They're a gang of kidnappers! Traveler, hurry and protect Dunyarzad! Hey, did you scumbags even consider that the Homayanis are a ready to go. merc that outclasses you? You're Dia! Dia the Flame Mane! No wonder we mercs haven't heard anything about you for so long. You sold your unruly mane to the highest bidder. Don't speak so disrespectfully. My family started working with her as gratitude for her past kindness to us. Don't worry about it, my lady. Just some friendly banter between mercs. One punch and those rabid dogs will expose themselves for what they really are. <laughs> Aren't your claws all dull by now? Don't get too cocky! Traveler, take Miss Dunyarzad to a safe location. No, we're gonna stay and help. There's too many of them. He has top priority. We can't guarantee anyone's safety. You're right. Please be careful, Dia. Don't waste your time worrying about me. This is my job. Look out for yourself. After I've wiped the floor with them, I'll go find you all. Where am I going? Wait, I got 50 minutes. <laughs> I had a minute to do that. Dunyarzad, are you okay? You 
look a little pale. Are you? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. My body always reacts like this whenever I exert myself too much. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'll be fine after some rest. I'm more. Yeah, don't worry. My lady, traveler, found ya. Dia, you took care of them so fast. Any more of them? Or rather, did anyone follow you? Dia, your arm. Oh, this? Ah, I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Normally, they wouldn't have been able to land a hit on me at all, but I'm still getting used to this new greatsword. Please, let me take a closer look. Come on, it's nothing. Us mercs aren't as fragile as you think. Hold on, you said something about a new greatsword. Uh, what happened to the one you were using before? Uh, about that. Well, I sold it, because I was low on Mora. Stuff like this happens every now and then. It can't be. The anonymous donation that was used for the venue's final round of preparations? <sighs> <laughs> Hey, Miss Dunyarzad, I wasn't trying to make you cry, and I'm not gonna lose my commission because I made my employer cry, am I? <laughs> okay, making your employer cry won't affect your commission, but selling her weapon without permission and getting hurt? I'll have to reevaluate your performance. <laughs> You're so unreasonable, my lady. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dia. <sighs> Don't be like that. I get embarrassed really easily. Are you now? <coughs> Are you feeling unwell again, Dunyarzad? My lady, your condition. Traveler. Leave it to me. Truly, I'm sorry for the trouble, everyone. Gliding helped. Are you feeling better, Dunyarzad? Yes, much better. Just give me a few moments. That I didn't sounds serious. You were concerned about it. I guess I shouldn't continue to keep it a secret. I was actually born with Elazar. It's terminal now. Elazar? I believe it's Elazar. Oh, uh, you've already heard of Elazar. In that case, you probably know about its severity. Sumero's current medical advancements still haven't been able to find a cure. The disease's progression can only be delayed through environmental therapy. Dunyarzad. There's no need to be sad. I've always lived with Elazar and I came to terms with it a long time ago. Compared to the simple fact that I'm afflicted with this, its effects on my life have been much more painful. I know that my family loves me dearly. They've done all they can to provide the best environment for me so that I can live for that much longer. However, I know I will one day succumb to this. Did you know? Before I ran away from home this time, the world outside of my home didn't even know that I existed. Since I was a child, all I could do was sit on my bed and stare at everything outside of my window. I'm sure my family's worried and disappointed in me for running away, but I... I just didn't want to have any regrets. I wanted to meet other people. To me, there's nothing more beautiful than being able to meet and speak with others. Not to mention the incredible time spent preparing for the festival. The joy on everyone's faces here. And all the support I've received from friends like Dia. This way, when my final day does arrive. It will be less sorrowful. What are we mad least, about? Many people will remember that I once existed in this world. Right? Uh, you have happy times to come. As long as you don't forget Paimon, Paimon also won't forget about you. You have happy times to come. <laughs> oh, thank you too so much. I apologize for the depressing conversation. This is, this is out of character for me. To be honest, Lesser Lord Kusanali gave me the courage to do all of this. 
If it weren't for her encouragement, oh thanks, there will always be frust. Oh up? right, isn't it almost time? Huh? Yes. Almost time for what? Isn't the dance of Sub Zeros about to begin? It's the Nilu will recreate that legendary scene with her most splendid dancing. And the Sub Zeros festival will conclude amid everyone's applause and blessings. And with that, my wish will also. And what are we waiting for? Let's go to the stage. Yeah, we should still make it in time. We're going to the stage. There we are. Were you not aware that the law prohibits this type of performance from taking place without prior permission? Over there! Someone- I think I just saw the Academia's Grand Sage. Why is he- But the dance of sub Zeros is one of the key parts of the sub Zeros Festival. If we can't perform it- The sub Zeros Festival. The law also prohibits the private hosting of large-scale religious festivals. Only the Academia can host such an event. If you continue to resist, we will have to order an investigation into every single event organizer. The Grand Sage has already granted you much leniency. I advise that you exercise tact. How... How did things turn out like this? The Academia was originally responsible for the sub Festival, but they failed this responsibility for many years. They forced so their hand to make it ugly. Swallow, but... You're right. Things would only get worse. Art. Dance. Aren't you ashamed of pursuing such frivolous and meaningless activities in this land of knowledge and reason? Our Archon created the utopia that is Sumeru City for all scholars who sought validity, verity, and truth, while people like you wish to defile it. No. I believe that our Archon never rejected the arts. Even the Goddess of Flowers dedicated a dance to her. With your lack of intellectual credentials, I do not believe you are qualified to debate with me. What you should be doing is finding workers to tear down this ridiculous eyesore. When we return, have the scribe draft an ordinance before the next Nyagarbaha day that prohibits public art performances. We will announce it to the public later via the Akasha. Understood. I will inform him when I return. Let's kill him. Hmm. The sub -Zeru's Festival. Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Nilu, are you okay? Oh, Dunyarzad. <sighs> You all saw that just now? The Grand Sage ordered us to stop the performance. Yeah. Let's go somewhere the Academia can't find us and perform there. Ah, uh, but how do we let everyone know? And what about the atmosphere on the stage? Or we could get people to block them off so they can't interrupt the performance. Ah, uh, no. They just threatened to investigate the organizers. If we were caught... Nilu, it's alright. Don't worry about it. But you've been looking forward to the Dance of sub Zeru so much. And I know how important this festival is to you. I don't want you to have any regrets. It's okay. Seeing you care this much about my feelings is more than enough. It would be too risky to continue the sub Zeru's festival at this point. I don't want to get everyone in trouble. If you say so. But... You can sneak out for the next sub -Zero's festival, right? We'll make sure the next one is a smashing success. <sighs> the next one. Yes. Okay. It's a promise. It will be a smashing success. I can't believe this is how things turned out. Those heartless geezers. It really is it? okay. There's nothing we can do about it. <sighs> Still, I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets. I would have loved to see Nilu's dance. 
force to come into an abrupt end. Well, there's that. A lot happened today. It's a shame the festival at Nero and Dunyarzad promised to make the next Sub Zero's festival a success. But Dunyarz. Yeah. Beep. What was that? Alright. Ah! Oh, we're gonna be late! It's all because you wouldn't get out of bed! We should go meet Dinyar's on right away! There's that quest. Hey, this quest is probably gonna make me, uh... Get a higher or... Uh, no. Just be closer to the next thing. Let's see how many more. Fishing. Fish. Open the door to a certain secret study. Reputation level 10 in Fontaine, Samaro. Point 10 will quest or something. I was gonna see whatever that transfer to complete with the material transmission ten boundaries reputation eight eight out of eight ten turn ten tunes in the Serena pot used to capture thirty wild animals ah so I'm. Really close to completing this one. What was the first thing I completed? Oh, that's the last thing. Okay, I see. So if I go all the way back up here, where it was 2022, two years ago. Twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty four. Nothing there. Oh, is this? Oh, I see. Yeah, I haven't four stars of weapon, have I? Um, I just want to look at the oldest. Twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty two. 2022. Yes, I'm looking at all these. I want to see what I have real quick in achievements. Ah, uh, that. Oh, I completed that one. Huh. 33%. Okay. The following quest. Okay, I need to complete the quest. I'm gonna go till I get co op enabled again. Sorry, we're late. <laughs> Not at all. I arrived early. Uh, you seem kind of tired. Did you not get enough sleep? I'm doing well. There's no need to worry. Shall we go? Let's start with the stalls over there. Sure! Uh, Traveler? Why are you just standing there? Let's get going! Since we're gonna walk really There's slowly. Food over that way. Let's go take a look. Oh, back over here, okay. This is a stall offering foods from the Hoft Mewa feast. You are quite well informed, miss. I thought most people nowadays wouldn't know. They're all plants! Oh, Paimon 
seems a little disappointed. Actually, what is the Hoft Mewa feast you mentioned just now? It's one of the Subzeris Festival's traditions. People used to set their tables with seven different foods to symbolize the seven virtues of the Dendro Arc. Something feels really familiar. Here to be in the form of the moon. Really? Wait a minute. I just thought it looked like some kind of food. Hmm. Wait a minute. The moon Why are we signifies... repeating the day? Hmm. It's escaping me for now. Wait a moment. Is he really looking it up in a book? Oh, right. <laughs> It means illusions and lies. But if you trust your intuition and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. I feel like Understood. I've heard this before. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, How it's nothing. How are we getting to some Groundhog's Day? <laughs> Guess that was still pretty interesting. Okay, on to the next stall. Wait a minute. What's different? Um. Oh yeah, this thing. We're going to the candy thing. All right, soldiers. Now that you have your Yalza candies, don't forget your loyalty to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Dismissed. Yes, Knight Ferris. It's the fourth one. What's going on? Is this a play? Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, is another Subzeris festival icon and one immensely popular with children. <laughs> it's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsorship that the children can meet the Knight of Flowers. Oh, do you want some Yalta candies? I happen to have some boxes ready here. Take a look and pick whichever one you want. Fourth one. Uh, what's to pick? Don't these boxes all look the same? <laughs> it's not that simple. Each box contains a random flavor. It's up to the luck of the draw. Flavors include lavender melon, hara fruit, sunsetia. Ooh, That's fourth one. And there's also lizard tail and. Oh, what? Mm. Traveler, I hope I'm on pick one. Hunt Great. These boxes of candy are not. Fourth. Number four. Ah, excellently chosen. Number four is indeed Sunsetia. <laughs> Paimon, bet you had incredible luck and... That wasn't luck. I don't know why, but I knew it must have what? been number four. How's that possible? It's obviously random. Why do I keep having this sense of deja vu? Maybe we didn't sleep very well last night. Or maybe we slept too much. I'm sorry, but I need to leave for a oh, moment. Sure. Huh? Where are you going? Go to the tavern. Vu? Oh, Paimon knows what that is. It's when you feel like you've already experienced whatever is going on. In that case, Paimon also felt something like that today. But that's just our brains playing tricks on us, isn't it? So why'd you run here in such a hurry? Or do something. I normally so that's <laughs> no, I want to get a deja vu. Doing things you usually wouldn't, and seeing if you still get that same feeling of deja vu. Welcome, you two. Are you here for lunch? What would you like to eat? Got it. You don't look like you're from these parts, but I gotta say, you've got good taste. <laughs> we'll get I one of them. Order to the kitchen. Taco baked Angelina cake. <laughs> I'm on remembers, unfortunately. Oh, Paimon understands what you're trying to do now. 
You'd never normally order something like this. Here it goes. <laughs> How was it? The look on your face is telling Paimon that it tasted off. Then I like the look on his face there. <laughs> That's impossible. We were just talking about how good. So, would this be a case of taste bud deja vu? Looks like I've tried this before. Also gets the impression that we've been here many times, even though we are regulars. Um, how about we go out again and try something else? Ah, uh, okay. We're gonna leave. I don't know how many times I could have repeated this, so then it picked number four. Hey, Junior Dot is sitting by herself on that bench over there. What a coincidence, Junior Dot. We meet again. Oh, I ran into some kidnappers just now, but thankfully Dia came to my rescue. I, I ah, we weren't there this that, time. So I sat down here. Kidnappers? Oh my goodness, are you hurt? I'm okay. Dia's arm got scratched, but it. Is... <sighs> That's a big relief. Not at all. I've always been like this. Excessive physical exertion. Besides, no matter how amazing today may be, it is but a single day. After however many more days, my time will come to an end. Paimon doesn't quite follow you, and Paimon feels like something's really got you down right now. I'm so sorry for leaving you behind earlier. It really is fine. I don't mind. I just have... Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Did something happen? Dunyar thought, have you ever felt deja vu? You know, like when you've already experienced something that's happening right now? Deja vu? No. But my days have been the same for years now. Even if I were feeling deja vu, I suppose I would already be used to it. Oh, Paimon sees. Then, is it only the two of us? It's almost time. Huh? Time for what? Nilu's Dance of Subzerus is about to begin. Oh, it gets cancelled again? Or does it not? Ah! Your lack of intellectual credentials, I do not believe you are qualified to debate with me. What you should be doing is finding workers to tear down this ridiculous eyesore. When we return, have the scribe draft an ordinance before the next Nyagarbaha day that prohibits public art performances. We will publicly announce it later through the Akasha. Understood. I will inform him when I return. <sighs> the Subzeru's Festival. Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Zod, the, the Grand Sage ordered us to stop the performance. It's okay. There's nothing we can do about it. But you've been really looking forward to this. I don't want you to have any regrets. It truly is unfortunate, but we literally just did this for anyone. Didn't the Grand Sage say that he might investigate the organizers? True, but uh, well, okay. I'll just have to try again next year. 
the next festival. I probably won't be around by then. Wait, what did you just say? Uh, no, nothing. I'll be heading back to rest. Thank you for your help, everyone. Paimon can't believe what those heartless geezers did! Hold on. <laughs> Did Dunyarzad already go back? We should also return and get some sleep. Well, forced to an unfortunate script in. Wait, how, how are we going to break the loop? Okay, now I want to break the loop. So, in the end, you still couldn't figure out... Hmm. Maybe it really was because of exhaustion. My head does feel Same heavy. Here. That's why Paimon stopped thinking about it halfway... Th uh, then, how about we settle in and get a good night's sleep? For now, we What's can about to happen? To exhaustion. We can do more thinking tomorrow. Again? Observing a model. Oh. They're doing stuff. Ah. Why does Paimon feel so tired after so much sleep? Anyway. Ah, they're up to stuff. Something's up. No, don't climb. How many times are you gonna do this? Huh? Paimon thinks you sound kinda tired. Did you not get enough sleep? This is different. I'm doing well. There's no need to worry. Uh, shall we go? Let's start with the stalls over there. Great idea! Let's get going! Travelers? This feels all too familiar. <laughs> it's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsorship that the children can enjoy the How do we get out of Groundhog's Day? How do we get out of Groundhog's Day? Oh, are you interested? Hmm. <laughs> it's not that simple. Each box contains a rat. <laughs> and there's also. <laughs> No problem. These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from left to right. Which one do you want? Number four, number four, number four, number four, number four. Oh ho, I like Number four, confidence. number four, number four. No hesitation at all. Oh, congratulations. Number four is indeed Sunsetia. What is going on? How many times have we been here? Paimon knew he always had incredible luck. Number one is Lizard Tail. Not really interested in oh, uh, wait. How did you know? Don't tell me that you already knew which flavor was in each box. What? He was right about all of them? That couldn't have been luck. How? How is this possible? I packed all those boxes this morning, and they've been sealed ever since. You couldn't have known beforehand. Mind reading? X-ray vision? Or some kind of magic trick? This is way too freaky. Tell us what's going on! Since when, did when are we gonna get out of Groundhog's Day? 
Oh. Oh. Hey, where are you going? Oh. Hello. What's going on? Did you see something? Yes. This is far more important. This is way more and more important. We're gonna follow Nahida too. Are we following Nahida too? That way. This is far, far, far more important. Wait, that looks weird. What are you looking for? Such Paimon. No time for explanation. A small figure. Similar figure over overall sense. Behind us. Over there. Ah, what was in there? Hello. Hello, Nahida. Dot, dot, dot. Look, that's isn't that Dunyar's son? Where was it just a what moment ago? Why are there two Dunyar's odds? Are we in a vision? You already know that this isn't your first of Zeru's festival, don't you? Alert. I'm sure you already know how to use this. A knowledge Indeed. capsule? Where did you get it? What's inside? You should use it too, Paimon. Uh, y you know Paimon? Let's use it together. Uh, this seems kind of sketchy, but Paimon feels like this is what we should do. Uh, what the? That's all of the. So many days worth of memories. Twentieth time at the Sub Zero's festival? Huh? No. The thirtieth? Fortieth? What kind of groundhog loop thing is gonna end now? Have we been trapped in a single day? If it weren't for you, we wouldn't have even realized. What the heck was inside that knowledge capsule? Hmm. Your memories are still scrambled. Try your best to remember. This isn't the first time we've met, and I answered that question a long time ago. Uh, let Paimon think. Oh, it's coming back. Meeting you was the real catalyst for restoring our memories, and the knowledge capsule was just your means of showing our minds the way. Uh, what about everyone else? Why are you only helping the two of us? Your sense of deja vu is stronger than everyone else's, yes? As for an explanation, you two received the blessing of Dendro, and you also have special, sensitive constitutions. It was as if a single sheet of paper was separating those memories from your consciousness. What's wrong with... A familiar question. I think this is the seventh time you asked that. As you can see, she isn't doing well. You probably sensed it too. The Dunyarzad you were just with is different from the first Dunyarzad you met. That first Dunyarzad is in front of you right now, and... She doesn't have a lot of time left. Break out of the cycle? <laughs> Looks like you're almost done sorting out your brain. Oh yeah, I'm Nahida. 
I know you introduced okay. yourself before. You passed the test. What's happening? You can awaken our memories, and you seem like you know what's going on. Oh, wait. Please don't tell Paimon even you don't know. Everything in this world runs in a loop. This cycle is called the samsara. You, me, and everyone else are all stuck inside the one-day samsara. As for the truth, that's on you to find out. If you were told the truth instead of discovering it yourselves, it would literally blow your minds. I don't know how you'd be after that. I can only give you surface level help, like bits of information and subtle hints. For the rest of the time, I'll be doing all I can to slow down Dunyarzad's illness. Oh, that's the... This like is the real one. Well at all. This is the real Dunyarzad. If we can break out of the samsara, I might be able to save her. But as things are right now, she's just a small bird in the sky ah. that's about to lose its last feathers. All Don't that do bird in the cage was that off. disappeared? You sure love to use weird analogies. <laughs> analogies are wonderful tools. They let you use existing knowledge to understand unfamiliar things. Okay, so, with what you know so far, what do you think the truth is? I don't want another round. Let me collect my thoughts. Oh, this thing! You choose any test entry. Yeah, I know. Uh. Mental fatigue. My mind feels exhausted. Even though I haven't done too much thinking. What is going on? Really? If it's not that, then this. Illusions and lies. What do they all mean? A normal mental fatigue. The Grand Sage said, Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Did he mean something more? I don't think it's a festival. Experienced the Subzerus festival many times. Oh, it's this one. No? Then why did... Time loop. That should be it. And the flow of time is endlessly cycling within one single day. Submit? A time loop. You've given similarly Fuck. wrong answers in the past. A pity. Still Fuck. A wrong answer? Fuck. A simple time loop can't explain some of the phenomena. You two are still missing a lot of information. Unfortunately, I can't give you any more hints. Fuck. <laughs> We're gonna have to go around again. The Subzerus Festival is happening every day, but that doesn't mean we can waste an- Fuck. Time to go to the loop again. Lovely. Let's think about our current situation. And to do that, we need to figure out what's happening. Nahida rejected the idea of a time loop, so we must have missed something, right? Paimon's memories say that we've already done this many times, but let's go talk to people again. It's more productive than sitting here and... Fuck, I gotta loop it again. Ah. Why don't we start with those stall owners? Hey, where are we going? No, I was going right. Right? No? Okay. Do any of them remember? Hey there! Hey, it's you guys again. Where's your cultured friend? She... Uh... I see. Did you come back to buy something? I guarantee the freshness of my products. You feel I'm... like you're reliving the same day? What brought this about? I hurried back from the forest yesterday, and I'm selling produce here today. 
I haven't felt anything strange. Mm, um, to put it another way, if you really, really think about it, was yesterday truly yesterday? Did you actually come back from the forest yesterday? What kind of philosophical nonsense is this? But didn't you know that no one dreams in Sumeru? Go somewhere else if you want to find someone to daydream with. <laughs> well, he's useless. Uh, he actually has a point. Hmm. True. It's so weird that people here don't dream. Wait, what is that related? Why they don't realize anyway, it? Anyway, if this all really were just a dream, we would have woken up a long time ago. Mm. Let's keep asking. Oh, it's you two. Was my divination so accurate that you felt compelled to come? Ooh, I'm not I sure. It. I told you, the god's divination is highly accurate. You just hadn't fully understood its significance yet. <laughs> You're really excited about this, huh? That's exactly why we came back. Help us better understand it. Uh, help you better understand it? W well, <laughs> that isn't exactly what I excel at. So, you're admitting that you don't have a clue? Anyway, what kind of situation did you get into? You have to find uh, it many, uh, many hold times. On a second. I thought you guys just lost your wallet or, or fell for a scam. What you just said. Are you serious? Does that kind of thing actually happen in real life? I knew you weren't going to believe it. Marvelous. Truly marvelous. I believe you. Recall the interpretation of your Wait. divination. Yeah, it was. The moon, illusions, and lies. It really felt like an omen. It was. When you say it like that, the divination it does sound like, like, it. like it's related to what's going on. Can you read any more into it? I believe that the Archon's revelations are never more than vague hints. Anything more specific is beyond the reach of mere mortals. The book only says, if you trust your instincts and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. So that's how it is. Looks like fortune well. telling is just fortune. We haven't made any progress. Who else can we talk to? Let's try talk to Dia. Hmm. Paima remembers that we tried talking to her a couple of times, but she always thinks we're playing pranks on her. You think she'll brush us off again? Yeah. If we tap into Dia's strong sense of yeah, responsibility let's tap into... as a mercenary, then she'll definitely take a serious... Hmm. At this time of day, Dia's probably just finished beating up those kidnappers. <laughs> let's go find her. A scratch I'm on my sorry, arm. My lady, it's just a scratch. Perfect timing. Both of you are here. Uh -huh. Paimon, traveler, you came at just the right time. Listen, there was a dangerous get. You just huh? defeated. You saw? Then why didn't you jump in earlier? If someone was protecting Miss Dunyar's I could have went all out. <sighs> anyway, can you do something for me? You want the traveler to take Junior Zod somewhere to rest up while you check the papers <laughs> around. How did you know what I was going to say? You need to say something convincing. Uh Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, I'm gonna write this shit down. Uh Nahida, not time loop. D A Y A A Daya Daya They don't dream. People in Sumeru don't dream. What a strange phenomenon. People that don't dream. Sound right. I need to carefully think things through. No dream. I doubt it's a claymore. Her great sword to raise additional funds. And then she was injured because she wasn't used to her new weapon. No weapon. Dia sold her great no. sword to raise it. 
I meant to click Illum this. Illusions and lies. What did they all mean? Divination results. Yes, I'm writing this down so I won't get it wrong. <laughs> My mind feels exhausted, even though I haven't done too much thinking. What is going on? I think it's this. That doesn't sound right. I need to carefully think things through. Mental. F A T I T. Okay, well, it's not this one. Is it this? No, it's probably this one. My mind feels exhausted. That doesn't sound right. I need. Oh, it has to be her claymore. Dia sold her greatsword to raise additional funds. And then she was injured because she wasn't used to her new. Is it that one? Use, uh. Weapon? Let's see, I'm writing this down just in case. Two, let's see. You aren't used to your great. Didn't tell anyone about that, including Miss Dunyarzad. Two would be have known. injured. And just now, you literally took the words right out of my mouth. What's going on? All right. So this is the situation. I'm writing that down just in case. It's kind of hard to believe what you just told me. First, let me make something clear. Most of us desert dwellers might not be the scholarly type, but we do have basic common sense. I noticed She's something off. Quieter than usual. Uninterested in anything and really gloomy. Yeah, she isn't the same as before, but her parents said that this is how she was like at first. Huh? At first? I don't quite understand what you're all talking about. I'll go rest on the bench over there. My lady, are you angry? Come with me, I'll show you some evidence. All right, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt since you knew about my greatsword. Let's make this a quick trip. Miss Dunyarzad isn't completely safe here. So we're going somewhere. Oh, we're going to Nahida. <laughs> Nahida song. Nahida, we brought a friend. Are you busy? I thought I told you that it won't help to bring anyone here. We just wanted her to see the real Dunyarzad's condition. The real Dunyarzad? Uh, where and... Huh? Uh, I told you that you two are special. Other people can't see me or Miss Dunyarzad here. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Over there. Is that? You can see her. Wow. How perceptive. Does she have invisible antennae? Miss Dunyarzad, she's... She's lying down here, isn't she? How's she doing? Her condition's really bad. And she's basically in a coma. How did you know she was here? I can sense her aura. I... <clears throat> there are also lingering feelings of something like regret. Or disappointment. What happened? Do you believe us now? The Sub Zero's festival has been repeating itself. Let's not sleep. So Let's not go to sleep this you night. Think the sages are behind this? Yes. Yeah. 
They've always been against us. Wouldn't surprise me if they're using the Akasha to intentionally repeat the Subzerus festival as a sick joke. Hmm. You have a point. Aside from the Dendro Archon, the Academia Sages are the only ones in Sumeru who could pull off something like this. Maybe there's more to the Akasha than we know. Can you tell us anything right. about the Akasha? Didn't you awaken our memories using something that looks like a knowledge capsule? That means you must know something about the Akasha! The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. A Gnosis can do that? No wonder the Akasha is so magical! It's being powered by the Gnosis of Sumeru's Archon! So, uh, this Nahida you mentioned, what did she say? She said, and Paimon quotes, The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wi Compiles the wisdom of the entire populace and grants knowledge to the people. Mm, wait. What's up? I get the grants knowledge part. That's what people have always used the Akasha for. But compiling the entire populace's wisdom? How does that work? Did she mean that the sages enter new knowledge into the Akasha? Sounds some oh, yeah. Self. That sounds about right. What do you think? Ah, here we go. Information on the... Uh... On the Akasha. Okay. Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. Nahida, second one. Info. No dream. People in Sumeru don't dream. What a strange phenomenon. Mental. My mind feels exhausted, even though I haven't done too much thinking. What is going on? I don't think it's deja vu. What's happening right now seems to have happened before. This feeling has been getting stronger and stronger. I think it's this. Okay, Nahida. That doesn't sound right. I guess not. It's not NFL. Um, they don't dream. That doesn't sound right. I need to carefully think things through. Uh, that doesn't sound right. I need to carefully think things through. Oh, it has to be this then. You mean the Akasha is causing our mental fatigue? Huh. Now that I think about it, my head's been feeling unusually heavy. When the desert dwellers set off on their quest for knowledge, a sage once said, knowledge always comes at a price. Compiling the entire country's knowledge. You think the Akasha pulled a 180 and is extracting information from us? Who knows? The Akasha can put knowledge into our heads, so... Who's to say that it can't also poke around in there? We don't know any specifics. What's the point of doing something like that? Just think about it. If you could combine the knowledge of every single person in Sumeru, then you can basically turn Sumeru City into a single massive brain. This hive mind could make breakthroughs and problems that even the smartest geniuses can't crack. An excellent deduction. And the analogy comparing Sumeru City to a massive brain? I love it. In that case, we should take off our Akasha terminals right away. Maybe that'll solve this problem. I don't think it'd yeah. be that simple. I was only wearing this for show in the first place. Didn't expect the sages to cook up such a conspiracy. Mark my words. When this is over, I'm getting evidence and exposing this whole thing to the public. Yeah, what if we take it off? What happens then? How does everyone feel? Actually, I noticed something what? else. What is it? I feel like... At the... 
There's always the sound of a oh, beep. Oh, Paimon knows what you're talking about. It's a single soft beep that sounds like it's coming from the Akasha terminal. The sound of a beep. Could it be a prompt tone for when the Akasha is operating? The same sound in Port Ormos. That's an important clue. We weren't using our terminals, but we heard a beep anyway. There it is. Traveler, did you hear that? I heard it too. Our ears aren't messing with us. There was definitely a beep, but it sounded like it was coming from inside my head. We took off our Akasha terminals. How? Really? Again? This is kind of uh, creepy. Exceeded. Running too long. Huh. Paimon remembers everything. <laughs> Good. You adapted quickly this time. At the end of last night. We took off our Akasha terminals last night, but we still heard that beep. Why is that? We've been asking about another form of the terminals? I think it's we failed. But now we can at least confirm one thing. The Akasha definitely has something to do with whatever's trapping us in this cycle. Oh, Paimon doesn't get it. Why would the Akasha go this far if all- It's extremely difficult for lab rats in an experiment to understand why they're being treated the way they are. If we're lab rats, then what are you? Nahida, you've never- Hmm... I guess... I'm the moon. Coincidence. The moon? Wasn't that the result of our- Anyway, knowing who I am won't help you get closer to the truth. So you should focus on other things. Don't get distracted and miss any clues. <sighs> okay then. Dia helped us a lot yesterday, so let's go. Ah, yes. That did indeed happen again. Ah, there you are. I've already taken care of those kidnappers. My lady, did you get hurt? Something's not right. Dia? What's wrong? Why are you both gawking at me like that? You... you didn't get hurt this time! This huh? time? What do you mean, this time? Why are you so surprised that I managed to get out unscathed? Those kids were amateurs. Shh! How did you know about my greatsword? I haven't told anyone about it. Please, don't tell Miss Dunyarzad. So Dia's lost her memories after all. Did you feel anything, anything strange? strange? You already know that I got a new great sword. Hmm. If I had to say something, it's weird how such a new weapon could feel so familiar. Ah. Like I've ah, look. To fight a countless there we go. <laughs> You're saying that although you don't remember using it, your body feels like it does? That's right. Both mercenaries and warriors heavily rely on muscle memory. Only knowing the theory of battle won't get you anywhere. Traveler, what do you think? Moved. Yeah. Paimon's feeling really hopeful. It's possible we've already broken free. Oh, you're right. Earlier in the Samsara, something like this would have never happened. We'll know for sure at the end I of the day. I have no clue what you two are talking about, but it's still dangerous here, so... So you want us to take Dunyarzad somewhere else to rest while you check if there are still more kidnappers around, right? How'd you know that? you know, know what I was gonna say? Can you read minds? Uh, forget it. Go and do your thing. Well. <laughs> the Nilu dance cancelled. Beep! <laughs> Whew, it's finally night time. Aside from Dia not getting injured, everything seems to have stayed the same. Hmm. 
Listen, Nahida. We found out that Dia got out just fine today, even though she got injured every other time she fought the kidnappers. Do you think the samsara has been broken? Have we saved Dunyarzad? Really? No. Good job on all that progress. Get some good sleep tonight. Hey, what kind of an answer is that? Tomorrow will come. Everyone assumes this is common knowledge, but the only way you can know that for sure is if you experience tomorrow. How many todays has it been? Is it possible that today will be followed by yesterday? Does tomorrow truly exist as anything beyond a major accidental crisis? Questions. Is it possible that this entire world is a lie, and the history of the whole world has just been one endless Subzero's festival? Okay, okay, no more. Quinlan's brain is already shut down. <laughs> That's why it makes no sense to waste your energy thinking about things you will learn tomorrow. This is its little crisis questions there. <laughs> Get some good rest. You know, use the bathroom and flush your anxiety dookie away. Uh, huh? Hold on, what did you just... Huh? People always say they feel a sense of relief after they take a duke duke. Duke duke. That's why I suggested you could try that. Is that so strange? Uh, it's... So strange and so against common sense that Paimon's at a loss for words. Yeah, even though it's happy and lively at the Sub-Zero's festival every day, it feels like it's been a long time since we've really gotten to relax. Uh, let's go back to our room. Uh-oh, we didn't break it. Continue the hunt. Compared to what you said. These sacrifices are trivial. We're still in the same day. Not Nadia, as simple as we thought. You already knew last night that we didn't break out of the Samsara? Why didn't you tell us? <laughs> Would there have been a point? You would have spent the night with new worries, with tomorrow still out of reach. In that case, you might as well rest within that brief moment of hope. An opportunity like that doesn't come by often, and I thought it might help you clear your minds. I'm a that the Duke Duke did that! <laughs> uh, whatever. Guess you were looking out for us after all. The Duke Duke. <laughs> of course. In the time we've been together, you two have been everything to me. Paimon's uh, flattered and everything, but maybe you're taking things a little fast. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is, even though I had asked you to solve this puzzle, you two are still the only ones who can see me and sense my presence. In other words, if you weren't here, I may as well not exist. That's why you two have been everything to me. Get it? I wonder if it's around her. Nahida's talking about confusing stuff again. Anyway, that's enough chit chat. So, Traveler. Did the new clues yesterday help you gain a new understanding of the situation? Huh? Why are you scrapping your previous theories? I've been improving. And worse. Oh, yeah! You're right! Gosh, how did we not notice that? In a simple time loop... Oh, yeah, that is true. I didn't notice that. Also reset. So, what's your new hypothesis? Fuck. I don't know. The beep is a prompt tone for Akasha operations. We still hear it every night, even though we removed our Akasha terminals. Mercenaries rely heavily on muscle memory, and Dia was able to use her experiences to avoid injury in later Samsara cycles. The moon, illusions, and lies. What do they all mean? Okay, Nahida said the Akasha. Last time it did this on a time loop and it was wrong. As it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power, it compiles the wisdom of the entire populace Beep and it grants knowledge to the people. Divination results. We've already experienced the Subzerus festival many times, and 
The day of the festival seems to be in a perpetual samsara. Let's see, I'm missing one. So I got results, memories, sound, info on them, festival. Bodily memories. Uh, it's not that one. So bodily, so memories would be one. Trigger. Hmm. I can't seem to cohesively piece everything together. Memories Sound If all our memories of a day are erased at the end of that day Then we would unwittingly relive the same day again and again Which makes new options so, actually, no, a new one. Memories deleted. Okay, Nahida said the Akasha relies on. I think it's this. I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong. <gasps> We are in a time loop. The beep we hear every night could just be indicating the deletion of our memories. That's why when we wake up, everyone thinks the sub -Zero's festival hasn't happened yet. It's already the next day, but everyone still thinks it's the day before. But muscle memory can't be erased. That's why Dia has been getting better at using her great sword. Now everything makes sense. Hmm, a brilliant deduction. But we're not right. To put it simply, it's as if you've mistaken a pyro crystal fly for a fly <laughs> night. You lost sight of its true nature because you focus too much on your perception that it glows. That isn't Fuck. simple at all. Why don't you go talk to Miss Dia again? You might learn to ah, I'm she stupid at this, aren't I? Eh. <laughs> 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 I can't get it. That's too complicated. It's too complicated. Need a visibly terrible baked cake. Um, what else is here? I should break out of it next, right? Maybe. I mean, we're going to the same spot again. There you are. It really took me a while to find you. As expected, Dia also didn't get hurt today. Get hurt? Why would I? Don't underestimate me. Well, you're still getting used to your new great sword. Huh. Truth be told, I also think it's pretty strange. It just suddenly felt so familiar in my hands, and it... Wait a second! How did you know I got a new greatsword to begin with? I didn't... Traveler, could you explain the situation to her today? Paimon's gotten a little... Let's just get straight to the point. He suddenly became proficient. We've lived throughout the same day... And our memories are erased what every night. you guys while I was gone? Did Fuck. you get brainwashed? Wrong one. <laughs> All right then, let me get this straight. You're telling me that my body's already gotten used to this great sword, but my brain just I'm about to just look it? up this quest. Yes, your memory's being erased every day. Then I'd have to disagree. That's oh? 
What? If we've actually been reliving the Subzerus festival day after day, then what happened to the things we used, the money we spent, the food we ate? Common sense says my wallet should have emptied itself a long time ago. There's no way I wouldn't have known. It is another day every time. So the memory deleted is true. Right. They could but why was it wrong? Record what everyone did that day, and then use the city's resources to replenish everything. It's not very likely, but it's also not impossible. No, it is impossible. I've got proof. You have proof? You two are surprisingly serious about this nonsensical discussion. Come with me, Miss Dunyarzad. Please come along. I'm literally about to look up this quest. Paimon can't believe it's Dia who wants to show us something this time. Two days ago, we were the ones taking her to see Dunyarzad. I'm really dumb when it comes to this, aren't I? Then again, I'm normally asleep right now, so... That's probably why. This is it. Huh? This is the- See those marks on the dummy? Those are the result of several days worth of practice. Let's say the sages didn't replace it every day. Shouldn't it be hacked to pieces by now? That's true, but what if they did? Then the sages would have had to reproduce every mark I left during previous training sessions. I'm a professional fighter. My martial school has always emphasized the importance of It's another day control. every time. The force, angle, and entry point of each strike is calculated and deliberate. That's why I remember every mark on the dummy, as well as my state of mind as I made each strike. It's just as they say, each swordsman has their own unique style. And even the same swordsman can't make the same cut twice. It would be impossible to copy these marks. Is it really impossible? <gasps> what? People often say that a camera's photo can never replace it. The same thing applies here. At a mere glance, I can differentiate carved marks. <sighs> I hope that cleared things up for you. Hey, is this that new brains or something? Anyway, it's getting late. I should escort Miss Dunyarzad to Nilu's stage. See you later. What? I don't know. Back to square one. <sighs> But at least we've reached some other conclusions in the meantime. We're not in a time loop. That's true. So strange. Paimon feels like everything's huh? Leaving the city. You're right. It's really Paimon. Yeah, we never did think it. about it. Did we miss this? How about we go back and ask Nahida? Yeah, what if we leave the city? Actually, that is a good point. Then again, I'll go with anything right now. Normally I'm asleep. Nahida, we're back. You're back early today. Did you find something new? Sort of. We're mostly sure now that we're not in a time loop. Hmm, leaving the city. As far as I remember, what? we did? But we don't remember anything. <sighs> Let me think. I don't think you ever actually told me what the outcome was. Oh, it's probably more accurate to say that both times, you never came back the whole night. But you two sometimes stay out the entire night anyway, so at the time, I didn't think too much about it. It is true that sometimes we lose track of time during our investigations. Before we know it, it'll already be the next day. But still, neither of us remember anything about leaving town. Really? That's kind of strange. In theory, I should have already awakened all your memories. Yep. Something here is definitely fishy. There's the beep again. Are we going to hear the sages again? Or did I already get it too far? Oh, yeah, I did. About that. Traveler. Aside from your memories that were just restored, I have another message for you. Listen to it and you'll understand. Can't go back. There are countless spaces here. Our Subzerus Festival in Sumeru City is just one of them. Traveler, you should oh, we're in multiple two days worth of memories. Paimon will fill you in. Two days ago. It's time to carry out our plan from yesterday. Okay, let's go. 
Normally I'm asleep, so I mean... Head to the city gate to find a way out. Why can't we leave the city? What is the academia up to now? Don't ask me. It's not like I can tell you anything. This is a direct order from the Grand Sage. Uh -huh. Just so it's just this tomorrow. area. I have a real emergency. My goods have already arrived at Port Ormos. If I don't hurry, they'll be stolen. That's your problem. Make sure you make a request in advance next time. But, but it's not like you can just predict business matters in advance. <laughs> It looks like the Academia already announced a lockdown for Sumeru City today. How completely unsurprising. Let's go and question them. Hello, sir. Why can't we leave the city today? Here we go again. Don't ask me. I don't know either. We just received an order that no one is allowed to enter or exit Sumeru today. They didn't... <laughs> they don't trust you. Angering me won't get you anywhere. If I had that kind of insider info, I would have left this stupid post long ago. It looks like he really doesn't know. If we can't get anything out of him, let's take matters into our own hands. This is a good spot, and the guard hasn't noticed us at all. Stay huh? here. Why? Are you going to leave Paimon behind? Witness from this side. What if things get really weird out? It'll be fine. Paimon knows that Paimon can't do much. We live together just be the same okay. as before. Promise Paimon that you'll come back as soon and please. Careful. Uh, memories. Let's go and leave the city today. Paimon, that Paimon would never see you again. You, you just disappeared. Paimon waited for you for hours and hours at the city wall and you never Paimon, calm down. He's here now. I don't think he understood what you were saying. <laughs> Paimon doesn't care. Paimon wanted to go look for you, but you also said that Paimon should stay. Paimon was so worried and so scared the entire day. I don't remember doing any of this. I won't leave you behind. Okay. Paimon will forgive you. The most important thing is that you didn't actually disappear. Oh, Paimon was so scared that you had gone into another world. Okay, Paimon, can you tell us your perspective of what really happened yesterday? Hmm, I see. Using two people's different I'm looking it up. I don't care anymore. After that, I'm looking it up. You left the city. Paimon kept her eyes on you the whole time, but then you... Disappeared in an instant. Uh. I need a guide. I need a guide. I don't want to watch a video. I want an article. The festival in Deja Vu. Okay. No way! I'm a What's your perspective, traveler? You sure you don't have any memory of- I guess that explains everything. You also lost your memories the last two times you tried to leave the city. Those days' memories can't be awoken. So, if we leave the city, our memories will be completely erased? It really sounds like something big outside of the city is being hidden on purpose. But this way, we'll also never discover what's outside. Can we leave behind something other than something memories? Like a message? But how can we send it back? D 
don't look at me like that. I'm, I'm not used to being stared at. Well... Okay, okay. You want something that can pass on messages, right? Give me some time and take care of Dunyar's out for me. Yep, now we're talking! Is it gonna give up and just give me the answer? <laughs> Is that what it's gonna do? Because <laughs> I didn't actually get it. I'm done. Here you go. What? Isn't this just an attack? You need some little changes. Akasha terminals are already capable of sending messages. I just tweaked it so that it could connect to any node. Hello. To make something like How this, goes it? Nahida, you really know the Akasha like the back of your hand. Anyway, we can use this. I'm just epically failing this back. quest right here. Yep. <laughs> I'll help you save the it goes good, and how are you? It should be pretty easy I'm doing to fine myself. I just can't get Starting to get tired though, but I was gonna end when I finished this quest, and then it ended up being a time loop, and then now. yeah. Let's go then. Let's expose those sages. Uh, all right. Paimon isn't as worried about being separated since it happened once yesterday, but okay. See you tomorrow, traveler. That covers everything that's happened so far. <sighs> was it what I left for myself when I left the city? Yes. Although the signal was choppy and had some interference, we still managed to receive two messages from you when you were outside. Okay, now that you understand what's going on, let's hear the messages together. I looked it up, by the way. I've done this too many times. I'm giving up on it. Can't go back. There are countless spaces here. Our Subzerus festival in Sumeru City is just. I've been on since I started the festival thing. I've entered another space. I have no idea how long ago that was. I'd have to look at the vibe. And howling fish. Impossible and surreal sights. All these spaces are empty except for the occasional ones that contain mute puppets rather than people. I can't sense any human presence. Now Nahida's thinking. That's one heck of an info dump. It sounds like you left the Sumeru city space when you set foot outside of the world. But everything looked completely normal when Paimon was looking out from the inside. That's unbelievable. And if we take your word for it, the other spaces all had very weird contents. There's another part here. We only received it last night. These spaces have been disappearing one after the other, absorbed by something like a sun in the sky. And now, even the final space has also disappeared. Behind me, a lot of spaces just appeared again from thin air. I get it now. Those spaces are actually... Oh, that sucks. What are those spaces? Probably because yesterday just happened to end at that moment. Oh, Cliffhanger, right. not cool. I know, right? I did hear a beep from the Akasha. Did it come from here or from the message? The message. It should have come from the Traveler's Akasha Terminal. After the beep, Traveler said even the final space has also disappeared. <sighs> Traveler. What do you think that final space could have been? The spaces we were yesterday. My impression is that each day in this samsara only ends at the sound of that beep from the Akasha. Hmm. Was that space actually the real world? But wouldn't a real space just randomly disappearing like that be catastrophic? All the bizarre spaces I saw outside the city Fuck. one thing in common. 
a lack of human presence. I'm gonna wait for the ad to finish. Oh, I'm. I'm gonna wait for the ad. Was that space actually the real world? But wouldn't a real space just randomly disappearing like that be catastrophic? <laughs> All the bizarre spaces. Oh, it should be back very soon. One thing in common. Even if I didn't look it up, this is the one I was gonna go with. I don't know if you heard me say that, but I'm repeating. repeat it. Now the ads are completely gone. I was going to go with this one when I first heard it. My impression and I heard the other ones, I'm like, eh, I don't know. I looked it up. because But it doesn't really matter what I pick. Oh, so that's what it is. After the sound of the beep, but it makes sense. Space, the Sub-Zero's festival also disappears. And we're taking to the next day. I did see that there was another one on the side I was on, but I didn't look at the answer yet. Because I thought I was picking the wrong one. Faces appear every day? Paimon's head is spinning. Just what are these spaces anyway? Even if I didn't look it up, it makes the most sense. Because the real world wouldn't just disappear. At its heart, it was just a game where a bunch of gods fought over seven seats. So no matter how strange or spooky things may look on the surface, maybe all they point to in the end is a small Wait, we chose that one too. Secret. Ah. Wow, the Archon War, huh? A That's secret, an huh? And a half. Let's stop the academia from feeding on our memories. Hey, where are you going? Next day. Hey, look, I can glide right there. Hey. And here. I have a bad tendency of climbing. Emergency food will be talking too much for real. Emergency food does be talking too much. Maybe I could have figured it out sooner if it wasn't for her distracting me. Distracting the traveler. <laughs> Bye, Paimon. Bye. Oh, <laughs> leave us, Paimon. Go pick some flowers in that field behind there. Oh, that's outside the city. How are you asleep right now? is about to begin. I'm going to go watch it. Okay. Um. Why don't you go ahead, Gunyarzad? We still have some other stuff to do first. Okay, then. I'll see you later. Look, Paimon food. Yet, <laughs> Basically. Hey, Paimon, away. there's food over here. Go over there. Awesome! What is it? Paimon wants to know. Oh, wait, no. Let's meet up with Nahida first. You can tell us both together. This time, we're gonna get to the truth. Now we go back. All the way back over here. You know, I wish I knew how many times I've walked back and forth here. That's another worst part.
I walked back and forth so many times. This is like the Groundhog's Day movie thing. <laughs> I don't think they are inspired by it a little bit. This is memory mid walking because of the pipeline telling us to meet up with Nahida. Uh, what were we saying? <laughs> You're back. I've been waiting forever for you two. Judging by the looks on your faces, <laughs> are you ready to take your Subzerius exam and graduate from the festival? Ask away. <laughs> okay. First off, have you discovered the hidden truth? Ah. Uh... I haven't looked at the sit's answer. Okay. Nikita so I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's try to figure it out. Exam? I don't know. When does Nahida give exams? Power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace and it grants knowledge to the people. I'm thinking potentially. We've already experienced the Subzerus festival many times, and the day of the festival seems to be in a perpetual samsara. We've Fuck. I mean, I'd play it again. All the bizarre spaces oh. I saw outside the it, city had well, that one was right. A lack of human presence. People. People in Sumeru don't dream. What a strange phenomenon. The moon illusions. Those spaces remind me of dreams. So it has to be this to trigger an association. Hmm. I can't seem to cope. Uh, with no presence. We are all in a dream. It isn't that the people of Sumeru. Wait, did it take me out? People in Sumeru don't dream. What a strange phenomenon. Thought it was that one. The moon. Illusion. Um, information? Okay. Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation I of, thought the so. of wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the Maybe it is, maybe populace, it isn't. And it grants those spaces remind me of Maybe. Dreams. It's not lighting up this time. Like the one I had in the Avidia Forest. Except these have no sign of human presence. Sort of vanished when he clicked on the first time. All the bizarre yeah. spaces I saw outside the city had one. I know it was this People one. People in Sumeru don't submit. That doesn't sound right. I need to carefully think things through. That doesn't sound. Uh, dreams of no human presence. Spaces about human presence. Ah, uh, this. All the bizarre spaces I saw outside the city. That doesn't sound really? right. I need to care. Those spaces remind me of. That doesn't sound right. I do I too. To... <laughs> We've already experienced the Subzerus Feth. That doesn't sound right. Ah! The truth behind the dreams? We are all in a dream. It isn't that the people of Sumeru don't dream. Wait. People in Sumeru think they don't dream. But the truth is, the Akasha steals their dreams. I remember it. The so dream thing has and been a consistent, no correct answer. Dreams without their host. That would explain why they sounded so weird when he was trying to describe them. Huh. So people in Sumeru do dream after all. In fact, we're all in one big dream together I know. right now. Correct answer. I'm on dead. Now, how did you conclude that the Akasha is capable of this? Oh boy, here we go again. The Gnosis? The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate. It is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. I know. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace. And it grants knowledge to the people. Wait, this? Okay. This sounds like it's one giant thing all connected to me. It sounds like it's all connected in one long sentence. Like I should select them all. 
Oh, you were right. Those Congratulations. Creatures in the 100 points to you. <laughs> power from the Dendro Archon, right? That would explain why the Akasha has the ability to control people's dreams too. But yeah. is stealing everyone's dreams really how the Akasha compiles their wisdom? Isn't there anything more to it than that? Dreams are fantastical, complex. Oh, I learned you passed it down. Congratulations. People's brains are the most active when they're dreaming. I don't know how it should make laughing. In other words, dreams are rich bundles of human wisdom. So, in other words, the complete opposite of how Hypatia understood it. Karma remembers her saying that the sages think <laughs> dreams are foolish delusions. And the fact that no one dreams is a blessing from great. I don't think I had the. Oh, I don't have it. So it was all a I forget which trick. emote it is. You know the Wii the Smart emote? Better TV, 7 TV, or Franker Face. That emote. Oh? The guy tapping on his brain. You understand the current situation pretty well. So then, what about the Samsara? Again? And the beep is a prompt tone for Akasha operations. We still hear it every night. <laughs> Even those spaces kept disappearing before. Oh, I collect. Eyes. Okay. As soon as that beep sounded, many more spaces materialized. So the beep has something to do with it. My mind feels exhausted, even though I haven't done too much thinking. We've already experienced the Subzerus fest. The Grand Sage said. The Grand Sage said, "No, go." I thought so I interpreted this one. Kept vanishing, but as soon as that beep sounded, more new spaces appeared. It kind of told me when it stayed blue, and the other ones didn't. The trigger. Hmm. Nope. I'm just pretty forcing it at this point. I don't really care. The beep is a prompt tone for Akasha. Wait, was it this? Correct. The Akasha is keeping each person's brain in a constant. A normal state, mental fatigue is being realized. I know, right? <laughs> Their disembodied consciousness is placed inside the collective dream of the Subzerus Festival along with everyone else's, while their now vacant dreams are harvested by the Akasha. No one is any the wiser as another day passes in the dream, and so begins another Samsara cycle. People wake up to yet another dream about the Subzerus festival. We are all sleeping the right now. that belong to them are once again harvested by the Akasha. And so it continues. So, this is like a dream factory. And the Akasha is a dream harvesting machine. Did Paimon get that analogy right? <laughs> Very good, Paimon. Using analogies well is an excellent habit to get into. Okay. So that beep we keep hearing is actually from our real life Akasha terminals. Taking off our terminals. I know. Paimon keeps things. stealing everything right, for us. Last question. Who am I? They she did say, say the moon. Technical divination is the Dendro Archon's divine revelation. So then, if Nahida has referred Lies. to herself as the moon. Now that I think about it, wasn't illusions hinting really? at the sage's deception of Oh wait, he mentioned illusions. Now that I think about it, wasn't illusions a hint that we're all dreaming? That doesn't sound right. It's <laughs> so you know this. I the reason I didn't go the first one is it didn't light up. That's why I put it last. That's why it did me evil there. I get that. Everything about you is different. We just didn't want to expose you, is all. Now that you mention it, Nahida, you've been hinting to us since the very beginning. It's funny. Thinking back to when we were asking all over the place for info about Lesser Lord Kusanali, Paimon didn't expect to meet you like this. Well, this doesn't seem like a good time. Those can wait until we're back in real life. 
On the other hand, I'd be happy to answer any more questions you have about- Not here now. Why can't you simply you tell us? You asked me this question before. My answer was, it was literally- Is this how she's going to respond? Now that you know this is all a dream, this answer should hopefully make then, more sense. If you're going to give me answers like that, Nahida, the then why say, I Likewise, told you this before? Had told you all this instead yeah. Of you learning it on your own? Your notion of reality I mean, I know who Nahida really is. I couldn't expose you to that kind of risk. That's why I could only give you very subtle hints and some suggestions. So I mean, I'm basically really to a voice. I'm really sorry, I mean, keep you guessing. I'm so far behind. I really don't care as much anyway. Firstly, this dreamer in this. But you basically have to avoid this game if you don't want spoilers. Experienced this Subzero's festival, so it would be very difficult for them to find anything that strikes them as surreal. Secondly, you're probably wondering why people don't have any memories from earlier Samsara, right? That's because people don't remember. Fontaine is too new for me to know a lot about, though. And in any case, there are actual dreams that are being taken away from them by the Akasha. So whenever they wake up in this dream of the oh, that's why they don't remember. That's they why they say they don't dream. From their previous identical dream. Never mind, Simon. Traveler had a dream when we were in the Avidia Forest, but couldn't see what it was about after waking up. Is that an example of what you mean? Yes. Only after receiving the blessing of Dendro can Wait, I did Kazuwa's story quest today. Or yesterday. That explains the I've done a lot. Hey look, I don't yeah. even remember anything. Everyone else <laughs> has no idea that they are in the Subzero's Festival Samsara, while their dreams are stolen from them over and over again. Side effects. Can humans really keep dreaming forever like this? Will it ever end? And if so, when? We might say your mental fatigue has already answered this question. Eventually, there's only so this much... This just makes me want to college. defeat Sonor, Sonor the Archon Quest boss that's taken me a year to, to defeat. With. Hey, it's like taken me a long time this to get to it, too. Takes an even harder toll on them. People's lives are at stake here, and nobody knows a thing! I've been playing the game it's apparently since 2022, I think it said it was. Well, it's, that's when I found my first achievements. But I have to look I know, right? a bit more detail. And I hadn't been in Azuma it? till last really week, this week, uh, you you Saturday, anything? Sunday, wow. last now week sometime, I don't remember. The Academia Sages are determined to harvest lots of dreams in a short time. A bot's still on us. Twitch, though, so they it's not that long ago. Good. It's in a month. Unfortunately, <laughs> I don't know anything about it. Traveler, do you have any information? Hmm. Again? Hey. <laughs> the Grand Sage said, Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. I think that. Did Wait, they're a part of. Work? Okay, Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to is operate, this the as it is the manifestation is it the Gnosis of, the of Dendro? power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. And those spaces remind me of... dreams. Like the one I had in the Avidia Forest. Except these have no sign of human presence. Hmm. That doesn't sound right. Then is it dreams of no human presence? That doesn't sound really? Right. Oh, that. He would be a part of it. Celebrate the birth of that I got that by brute force. Could it mean? Could it mean. Okay. Deceiving the people of Samara with no regard for their safety. No matter what they're trying to do, this is unforgivable. Paimon, don't say anything. After we end the Subzero's festival, Samsara, we have to look into them. How can the sages of the Academia do this behind their Archon's back? This is ridiculous! In the end, I'm just the moon. The real sun is long gone. A sun and a moon? Ugh. Nahida's talking in riddles again. What? Oh, we're out of time today! I'll tell you how to break free of the Samsara tomorrow. See you yo, yo, yo! Welcome back! Well, I should say good morning to you. 
Why is she so? <laughs> Good morning, Nahida. Uh, wait. Who no, knows? Just Nahida. woke up. Should we ah. instead say good morning, Lesser Lord Kusanali? Yes, normally I don't stream this long. Hey, what's wrong, Nahida? You don't look too good. For the third time. Oof. Hopefully you're not too tired. Wait, where I'm is? I'm afraid that what you're thinking right now is correct. Did Dunyarzad already disappear? No way. Are are we too late? The real Dunyarzad's consciousness has indeed disappeared. It can no longer endure the constant dream harvesting. Oh, well, they got rid of it. We are so I close. Can't believe it. Wait. So what about that other Dunyarzad? Just what is she? Is she also going to disappear? She's actually something like a puppet, but not completely. The real Dunyarzad's consciousness could no longer keep playing her role in this dream. So another Dunyarzad appeared to replace her in the dream. Just like the grass and the trees, that Dunyarzad is just a building block of the dream that helps to keep it going. But personality-wise, she's nothing like the real Dunyarzad. Puppets are stiff. And can't copy a living person's vitality. After all, they're just there to fill her. No, speaking of which, the old Dunyarzad might not have been too different from a puppet. Dunyarzad truly believed that she met you within her consciousness, and it was you who. Oh yeah, you know all the world, uh, the so Ascension quests. Yeah, I've struggled with all of yes. them except for the very first one. Back then, her family was overly protective of her. No one cared about her personality or thoughts. It was as if she only lived to stall her Elazar. Especially level 35. I gave her a little wisdom. So she I couldn't like get past that way. one. I was so lazy, so I had to friend do it. Person. Instead of trying to figure it out for myself. So, that took me that many tries. And I gave up. Far from it. I'm still a long way off from being a real Archon. I couldn't even save her. If I were a competent Archon, I wouldn't have let my most faithful follower die at the sub Festival with so many regrets. Even if I picked the- or I had to have picked the right answer, it wouldn't have let me not pick the right ones. Nahida. It's the Sage's fault, and theirs alone! I- I'm not beating myself up. All I did was to rationally it resulted in a death. the distance between myself and a real Archon. This quest resulted in a death. Nahida? Even real Archons are still allowed to be sad. Except when you're venti and you're just drunk all the time. To prevent more tragedies like this, we must end the samsara as soon as possible. Great, but how do we do that? Although the sub Festival dream is under the Akasha's control, only humans can dream. Even the Akasha is unable to create them. But no, Nidahita really be using a keyboard and mouse to fight. To <laughs> huh? So, how should we find that person? Well, if this is someone's dream, then everything here must come from deep within their consciousness. Which means, with the power of imagination, they can change anything in this dream. Imagination? What do you mean by that? Imagination means breaking through what you perceive as normal. Like when a server at a Yeah, Paimon, how do you have to ask you, to know you what a... Uh... assume the food is on it. Paimon, how do you have to ask what imagination is? And you become aware but yeah, you knew everything else. When you imagine gold and more on the plate, the dream will respond in time. <laughs> And the server really Imagination. Be the but right now, Imagination land. Is that this is a dream. No matter how, find some <laughs> way to make that person realize that they're dreaming. Usually, once that happens, the person will wake up and the dream sincerely. I don't think Twitch will let me. I don't know if I could play that on Twitch. If it could be anyone, it'd be like looking for a needle in a haystack. And even if we did find them, how are we supposed to make them realize they're dreaming? I think it's meant to represent her knowledge. After all, like you Maybe. said, don't wake a sleepwalker. It's extremely difficult, yes. But the only ones who can do it are you two. Remember, We're the dream. Because we're the only one that can see her. 
has all been for Probably. the sake of finding the host and ending the samsara. As for me, uh, during this time... But how do we know where she looks like at this point? Out of town? Are you going to that place full of dreams where the traveler went? Yes. I, I want to try something. There must still be a small wisp of possibility. Nari and Go. Dreams are supposed to be fantastical, romantic, and Wait, when did we end up in the time loop? Unnecessary things like this, Samsara, need to end. <sighs> nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. I'm a little upset that we've come this far, <laughs> only for Dunyarzad to... She was such a good person, was such a... Yeah. Saving Dunyarzad is what kept us going this whole time. But we mustn't lose hope, Traveler. Dunyarzad would definitely want to see us save everyone else. So let's break the Samsara for her sake. Paimon's wondering, do you think the sages would get one of their own to be the host of this dream? Probably not. No, 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 they'd probably become aware they were dreaming. We'll be less likely to realize it's a dream. That's true. Plus, the sages Those options don't really matter anyway. Unfortunately, it'd be nice if they did sometimes, but... Who do you think the host of the dream is? Uh, honestly, oh, I think it's Ferris. Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, is a symbol of the whole Subzeru's festival, right? Pretty core character. Let's go ask him some questions. If it's not him, I'd be surprised. <laughs> Hey, nightmare, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, it's a nightmare. <laughs> hey, look, it's a dream. We teleported, see? Could that have happened in real life? Yeah, you have a vision. That's not the point. <laughs> We're knowing about devices hundreds of years in the future. Yeah? You're back. She is the Archon you after all. Last time. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Just, um, it's a little hard to explain. Uh, would you mind taking part in a little experiment with us? An experiment? That came out of nowhere. I'm listening, though. What do you need me to do? Could you make a wish? You want me to make a wish? Is that a new sub Zeru's festival tradition? Let's quit! Okay. okay. Okay, one time Paimon being pushy. My wish. My wish. Okay. I'm a little nervous saying this out loud, but I want Miss Dunyarzad to be happy. He's the only one that has a mustache. Get him. Exactly. <laughs> I noticed earlier that she looked a bit down, and she wasn't really talking to anyone. She just doesn't seem like herself. She's always so gentle and kind. And all the kids love her. I've also wondered if the reason she asked me to be Ferris Knight of Flowers is because I'm special to Wait, her. Wait, is it her? Something. Wait a minute. You have a crush on Dunyarzad? But when did it fall apart <laughs> at that very point that her physical uh, self after what couldn't I keep said, up uh, anymore with it? The hat of the Knight of Flowers onto my when head, it? So it can't be her I then. Want everyone to have a happy sub -Zeru's festival. What she didn't realize was that I'm not that interested. Okay, yeah, that was a bit much. Felt like the right moment to get it off my chest, but <clears throat> that was pretty embarrassing. Okay. I would I'm say it would be much. her. I would like Miss Dunyarzad to appear in front of me right now with a smile on her face. Here goes. Please come true. Well. I'm gonna open my eyes. Oh, you're... What? Fucky? Sorry, but only one portion of Yelda candies per person. Back home you go. <laughs> <sighs> nice try, you two. Fuck. Anyway, they didn't make it mind. obvious. I don't need to see her appear right in front of me. Uh, guess he isn't the host of this dream after all. Oh, well, they didn't. They did that because he had a mustache. You know that. <laughs> Everyone who 
knows Dunyarzad loves her. But none of them has any idea that she... That's crazy. I'll wait for the... Uh... My lady, step back. Fuck, I got another one. Is it Dea? That sounds like Dea. Oh, right. This is when Dunyarzad bumps into the kidnappers. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see it or not. That's what I think I'm thinking it is. <laughs> <laughs> Add two and three. <laughs> Five seconds. Wait, really? That's a bit ahead of when my ad in progress is ending. Well, I mean, you'll be able to see it on my stream, but. I'm back. Wait, why is that a bit behind? It says my community is back, but it still says Adam Progress. Probably because there's three 30 second ads. This is a minute and uh, 30 seconds. Let's teach them a lesson. Huh? There we go. Welcome back, it? everyone, with the I ad break. Thank you. <laughs> You got a fifth you got three fifteen seconds. Huh. It's interesting. I would assume even though I have I don't feel like before, I would assume it would be a three thirty second ads, a minute and thirty second ad. I didn't know it would vary in ads. Is it Dia's dream? It's you. Great timing. Please take. Hey, this is my job. The take her and leave. Me, not you. You're wasting you... your breath. Yeah. Fine. All right. Knock yourself First out. might be targeting. I'm so worked up anyway. It's not like to I be fair, fighting skills. Everyone does targeted anyway, ad nowadays. You go look up something. So oh, you, you see ads everywhere else. <laughs> Suit yourself. Now we're fighting them. This is different. I can't crystallize right now. It's fine, Dio. We're the main character. <laughs> yeah, we got plot convenience, right? <laughs> Well, I could just sit here and do nothing. We can't die. <laughs> Why are you up in the tree? Get down. Die, I'll kill you in the tree. Okay, you'll get down on your own. Once you get down, you die. You can live for now. But once you get down, you're gonna die. Okay. Uh, what did I say? Once you got down from this tree, you were going to die. This seems real nice. Eh. Doesn't he the infinite? Or... I mean, it's more of a team... I already had characters built. You know what I mean? Honestly, all I've been using Dindor to do is just keep the fire going more. Uh, 
Oh wait, where'd you come from? Oh, these are reinforcements, I guess. Let's light it up. If I don't hit escape, which is right next to one on my keyboard. I don't know if I took damage from there or not. Why didn't I... Oh, that's why. You know what, Bennett's about dead. Talk to Paimon. Traveler, were you just taking your anger out on those guys? I'll save that as old because I didn't really need it. But since Bennett got low in health, I'm fine. <sighs> Nikitapo, Dunyarzad wouldn't want to see you two like this. Oh, and speaking of her, Paimon just remembered some. Remember how during the first Sub Zero's festival, before the Samsara started, we came here? She said it was because she had forgotten something. I've forgotten okay, all about that. So Paimon's memory is working so far. Anyway, Paimon also remembers that she is staying somewhere around. Yeah. So we'll check out. Need on a haystack place. search. It's rude to enter other people's spaces without permission, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Hey, the windows are unlocked. Okay, uh, Paimon's gonna take a peek inside. Paimon returns a while later carrying something. This was only Kick a down the door, I know it. So there was pretty much nothing inside except this book on the table. Should we open it? I know. Finally, we'll get to snow sweat before the festival. You and Pine Pine, you join me. I was hoping I'll be able to give you time before that. Come place your folks. Looking for le concerning interviews I conducted in Innovation Rope Down. Only reason I'm interested in this because it's something with the time loop thing. I interviewed so many people, I'm afraid that there are very few who know much about her. Still, Gunnardo's Ville water supply was one forcing of Inigo very far. Yes, I'm kind of skim reading it, in case you wonder. But one day, people suddenly found that the water was drinkable again. Someone said that a green light was seen near the water towards the previous night. If anyone believes that this was the divine power of the solar crystal at work. Ah, oh, it's just speculation stuff. Okay. Junyarzad wrote all of this. Sounds like she was always thinking of us even while we were away. Even though she was also busy preparing for the Subzeru's festival and had all her health problems to worry about, she must have wanted to give this to us as a gift on the day of the Subzeru's festival, right? If we hadn't found this book, we never would have known. But now that we know, we can't even thank her. Hey! Where are you off to now? It really wouldn't matter anymore, would it? Wait, this way. I keep trying to go that way because it looks like I go that way, but I keep forgetting to pass over this way. I should know this city by now, by how many times I've walked through here. I should know it really well. My speculation was it was her dream, but... It's Dunyarzad's puppet! I'll feel better if I say this out loud. Traveler? You must be exhausted. Come to 
you think of it. We've been stuck in this place for a really, really long time. Heck, even the last time we were chatting happily with Demirzad feels like an eternity ago. All the memories are there. It was all just a dream. Yeet! <laughs> <laughs> Paimon still remembers when we were Oh, that would have kept going, but I want to get it going. Her eyes sparkled when she talked about Milu's dance of Subzeru's. There will always be frustrations in life. <laughs> living is not to leave behind any regrets. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that. Good timing there. That was what the real Dunyarzad said, wasn't it? Does that mean... Yes, Traveler. What is it? Oh, so she's still just a puppet. But just now, how come... How come... Not leave behind what? any regrets. Where are we going this time? To watch the dance. Let's actually watch the dance. Since it's a dream, I mean, are they really gonna be able to stop us? Just do it! Make your dreams come true! <laughs> <laughs> if you continue to resist, we will have to order an investigation into every. The Grand Sage has already granted you much leniency. I advise that you exercise tact. How... How did things turn out like this? Uh, traveler? Uh, you don't have to get involved. He's a sage from the Academia. I don't want to drag you into this. Traveler? Traveler? What the heck are you doing? If you get arrested by the Academia, that's another day gone to waste! We know. <laughs> Wait, they're not reacting. Have they been scared stiff? Just oh, <laughs> of course! If this is the Sage's plan, they wouldn't put themselves through this. <laughs> so they're just substitutes. Why does my mom get shocked and know about the Tarians? I don't know, Paimon should know. What's up with those flowers? <laughs> like I said, they symbolize the goddess of flowers. It's just a shame that all the real Bodhisaras went extinct after her death. Wait a minute. Yes, the greater lord brought forth new Bodhisaras in memory of the goddess of flowers. But she ultimately could never truly replicate that beautiful shade of purple. Ah, that beautiful shade of purple. Aren't these flowers real Parisaras? Just like the ones from the legend? I didn't even notice. Tanyarzad, did you find these? But didn't you just say all the real flowers went extinct after the goddess of flowers passed away? So, how? Yeah. What's going on here? Uh, huh? Wait, is it Nilu? You guys are acting weird. Wait, I wouldn't have suspected okay. it to be Nilu. I would not have suspected it to be Nilu. I would not. That was surprising. What a surprise! Purple body Saras don't exist in the real world anymore. But in Nilu's subconscious, they can appear as decorations on the stage. It's just like the example Nahida told us. People assumed there will be food on a plate, and Nilu assumed there would be real Padisaras in the flower pots. 
So when you saw the flowers, you instantly knew it was Nilu? I know. But if we want to end the samsara, we need the host to become aware that they're dreaming. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> How should we make Nilu realize that? Am I dreaming? Huh? <laughs> so I'm right. Is this Lesser Lord Kusanali responding to our celebration of the Sabzeru's festival? I doubt well, it. Yes, but you aren't completely wrong either. The point is, what made you think this is a dream? As far as you know, people in Sumeru don't dream, right? <laughs> yeah, but have you heard uh. the tale of the first sage? To prevent a calamity, he went on a journey. I suppose we are. Ooh, sounds familiar. Dunyarazad told us a story like that when we first arrived in Sumeru City. So it was about the first sage. We're not even going to sugarcoat it, are we? But We're just going straight two, for it. He hadn't become the first sage yet. There's more to the story. His piety and wisdom were acknowledged by the Dendro Archon, and she finally gave her blessing to him. All kinds of spectacular scenes appeared in front of the first sage. As if all the knowledge in the world was being painted onto a canvas right before him. He was captivated. After who knows how long, he mastered all the knowledge he could comprehend. Afterward, he said to the Dendro Archon, I miss my parents, my wife, and my children. I've been away from home for far too long. They must be worried. The Dendro Archon smiled. I wonder how long we've been dreaming the for. The sage found himself lying in his bed, as if he had just woken up from a dream. His wife, lying next to him, said, You're off to search for the Dendro Archon today, aren't you? Have a safe journey, my love. In the end, the first sage took care of many disasters in Sumeru City, and founded the Academia. <sighs> what a happy ending. So, the first sage was dreaming ever since the beginning of the story? He never went on his journey? Yes. But his faith and determination were conveyed to the Dendro Archon. So she blessed him in the form of a dream. Paimon understands where you're coming from now. That's a really interesting connection. I no, see. Nilla is aware of it. The dream should well, be over soon. It just so happens that today's sub festival is almost over too. Since we're in a dream, let's make this final dance of Sabzerus as beautiful as we can. Are you going to see Nilir dance? Are we going to see her dance? Yeah, we are. <laughs> After how many days? Hey. <laughs> Dedicate this to our god. The dance of sub -Zerus. And she's aware it's a dream. I suppose she could do more things. <laughs> Are they showing us a dream's ending? Are you waking up now? <laughs> I'd be lying yeah. if I said I had no regrets. I would have loved to see Nilo's dance. I wonder, did she actually get to see it? Dreams falling apart. Right? That was really long of a quest. 
<laughs> like, I'm... Am I halfway through Samira at least now? <laughs> Good morning, Paimon. Super happy. Paimon thinks it was after the Sub Zero's festival. The Sub Zero's festival. Have we finally escaped from the Sub Zero Sims? Quick! I am there now. Your Akashi terminal. At the end. Yeah, let's go see. Take off the terminal and go see her. Well, she's not in her room. What happened? Huh? What you the usual spot, the bench. Hey, wasn't that one spot looking over everything? No? Oh, Nahida. Traveler and Paimon, and thank you, Dunyarzad, for organizing the Subzeros Festival for me. I'm sorry, who are Dunyarzad? <laughs> oh, a traveler, Paimon. I have something amazing to tell you. I just had a dream, and I saw Nilu performing the dance. Oh, she's Zeros. fine. That's good. <laughs> Chapter three. Oh, I can level up the Traveler now. I can get C1. Talk to Catherine. That was a long, long, long quest. Actually, did I max this out yet? I did. <laughs> it's fine, though. How far are we from the Adventures? Oh, Catherine. Oh, I was going to the Adventures Guild. You're actually Nishida, aren't you? Paimon felt like Catherine was acting weird when we met at the Sub Zero's festival. And. Dunyarzad, did you save her? It's a really long story. We shouldn't disturb her. Catherine? Her consciousness is still weakened. <laughs> Let's chat somewhere else. Hmm, how about by the traveler's favorite bench? I know where we're going. But I need the guide anyway. It's that uh, bench on, uh, that overlooks the city kind of water. That was a long ass quest. Let's finish chapter three. Ah, this is a spot. and saw what the Traveler had described. Among the countless dreams, I found one that was growing fainter and fainter. This proved my suspicion. Once Dunyarzad could no longer bear the Akasha harvesting her dreams, her consciousness began to dissipate. But this also meant it escaped the Akasha's control. Such a small fragment of consciousness can't last for very long, though. It will return to its original dream. Where both will gradually fade until they completely disappear. My internet dropped out like almost 15 minutes ago. I used to keep her dying dream alive as long as possible, but it still wouldn't have lasted for much longer if it hadn't been for you two breaking the samsara. 
So it looks like we did manage to save Junior Zod in the end. Not a moment too soon. Hey, look, it's raining tacos. Hey, Paimon, see? This is what you needed. <laughs> it's a miracle. Huh? Why are you two smiling so happily? I thought you'd be so moved that you'd start crying. Hmm. I need to spend more time observing human emotions. Both are fine. Everyone reacts differently. All right. You two must have a lot of other questions for me, right? After all, you saved my faithful believer. As your reward, I will answer any and all questions. At the Avidia Forest... Yeah, what about the... Incense, the oh, Paimon. You're doing a talking for us again? And dream of a huge tree and a red sky. You also heard someone's voice, right? It's <laughs> and forget me. Wait, there's a difference between the two? Yeah, so you do know. You're telling me ask you what that people was think about. there's a difference. And if the red sky was related to Conria. Hmm. <laughs> it seems like the traveler established a connection to Ermansol. That was a message left by Greater Lord Ruka Devata's residual consciousness in Ermansol. Perhaps her last memory before she died. As you two probably know, Greater Lord Ruka Devata disappeared after the disaster in Conria. The timings of these events do line up, so your suspicions are reasonable. A message from Greater Lord Ruka Devata? We thought it was from King Deshred. King Deshred? That god who died even longer ago? Uh, some present day desert dwellers still worship him. Hi, Mun. Stop going believing in conspiracies. Okay, so what does the message mean? <sighs> I still haven't managed to decipher it. Even the Akasha isn't currently capable of doing that. Greater Lord Ruka Devata's residual consciousness in Ermansol seems to be contaminated with something that has a very dangerous aura to it. Many devoted scholars go mad as soon as they connect their consciousness. I've warned ah. academia about this many times, but people still so that's what happened. But I believe this is the key to saving Ermin's soul. That's why I've kept trying to decipher it. So the tree in the vision was Ermin's soul? Oh, Tainari also said that Ermin's soul is sick. Is it because of the contaminated conscience? But even if you can't figure out what that vision was all about, it seems like our search for you was all in vain. The Traveler wasn't affected after coming in contact with that consciousness. <laughs> I've never seen anyone like that. With you here, we may have a chance at deciphering it. No, we must decipher its secrets. I've already eliminated all other factors that might affect Ermansoul. This is the only one left. This puzzle has life and death at stake. It could determine Ermansoul's fate. As well as to bats. Well, yeah, why do you look like Catherine? Accurate, That's all. I'm using the Akasha as a medium to occupy Catherine's consciousness. Uh, how did you do that? Poor Catherine. Uh, does this mean you can also occupy other people's consciousness? Oh, it's not a puppet. I thought it was. Theoretically, I can enter anyone's mind as long as they're wearing their Akasha terminal. The Akasha is the legacy of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. As Lesser Lord Kusanali and the first Akasha Terminal, my consciousness has always been linked to the Akasha. I've always respected my people's free will, so I've never actually occupied their consciousness. When necessary, I just borrow this bionic Snezhnayan puppet. Uh, oh, hold on. Did we <laughs> dark secret? So Catherine is... No. Your Paimon felt something was off about her. What about your own body? Why do you need to borrow other people's? Don't you live in the sanctuary of Suristana? That story begins a long time ago. After Greater Lord Ruka Devata disappeared, the sages found my newly born self and took me back to Sumeru. At that time, I was young and weak. The sages kept me in the sanctuary of Suristana, ostensibly for the sake of protecting me. But I've hardly heard from them since. However, 
I do understand that they had hoped to find Greater Lord Rukadavata instead of me, a symbol of her passing. So, the sages basically put their new Archon under house arrest? How dare they! Why don't you teach them a lesson, Nahida? In some ways, they aren't wrong. Greater Lord Rukadavata was omniscient and omnipotent. Even after her death, the Akasha is still empowering this nation. And I... I'm still really far away from being able to call myself the God of Wisdom. Moreover, the Academia is also more proficient at governing this country. My existence has little meaning. Okay, option. Only one option. Okay. I'm just looking. I look for someone to raid. Hey, this person's life. Huh. Huh. Add skipper. I mean, I do. So I get very. Ah, fuck. <laughs> okay, that one really got me. <laughs> I was typing. In the middle of that. <laughs> Your magic. <laughs> yeah, you got a lot of believers. Just look at the sub -Zero's festival. Everyone who showed up truly loves you. <laughs> Thank you for the kind words. But I honestly don't need physical freedom as long as I can connect my consciousness to the Akasha. I'm Trying to my trackers. Find a way okay. to save Ermansoul is my life's mission and top priority. I will work on that and try to live up to being a deity in the meantime. Every once in a while, hey, I let's take up the duties of the God of Wisdom. And enlighten a lost soul here and there. Doing all no, he's just really <laughs> answering yeah. these questions deep. All the other archons would be like, Yeah, this is why. Next. There has never been any big problems with the Academia's governance of Sumeru. This is the first time I've seen them step out of line. I wonder what caused them to go down this path and what they hope to achieve. Even though the city's residents haven't noticed anything strange. If the Traveler hadn't broken the sub Samsara, the situation could have become dire. I tried to do some investigating in the Akasha, but I couldn't find anything suspicious. And all the people of interest seem to purposely avoid wearing their Akasha terminals. I think they're deliberately trying to hide something. Oh, that reminds Paimon. In Gundarvaville, there was a sage who had invited Kainari to join some kind of project. Could it be related? Regardless, I need to first investigate the sage's motives, make things right, and punish them if needed. But I'll have to be discreet, or they'll see me coming. And then... You mean how the Akasha stops you from having dreams? Yeah, it's been such a long time. No one's noticed something's up? It's not that no one noticed. It's more like no one cared. Ultimately, it's all rooted in the sage's misdirection. Misdirection? The sage has convinced everyone to believe that being unable to dream is a sign of rationality and wisdom. Not dreaming is a badge of honor in Sumeru. Even if the truth is that their dreams are being reaped by the Akasha. With their propaganda in place, the sages can maximize their use of the Akasha to facilitate their research. Besides, Greater Lord Rukadavata must have created the Akasha in the hopes that it could be used to its full potential. 
that's why I've never come out strongly against this. <sighs> anyway, the perspective advocated by the sages drowned out any voices of doubt. By now, even those who never use Akasha terminals find it too shameful and embarrassing to talk about their dreams. I don't have any other questions. I hope my answers were satisfactory, seekers of knowledge. <sighs> to be honest, maintaining Dunyarzad's fading dream took a lot of mental energy. I think I may need to rest for a while. Oh, and you don't need to worry too much about the sage's activities for now. The Akasha won't be able to conduct another project on the scale of the Subzerus Samsara in the immediate future. That's Go good. And get some sleep. Leave everything to us. <laughs> what a relief. <sighs> this is truly the most exhausting birthday I've ever had. Hmm? Traveler? Paimon? Why am I here? Do either of you know? Uh, maybe you were sleepwalking. You know you can't wake up a sleepwalker. We, uh, we happened to walk by, so we thought we'd wait for you to wake up. Yeah. Let's see. Huh. I should visit my maintenance personnel sometime. Oh, I'm Maintenance fine. personnel. I better go. You know, I wonder if that's Thank what you. the lock is on the back. <laughs> in Tamaru City. But ever since we last said goodbye to Lesser Lord Kusanali, we haven't heard anything from her. Oh, we can't just keep waiting around like this. Let's go find Catherine and pick up some work so we can at least keep ourselves busy. I need to go by the Adventurer's Guild anyway. Is this part... I'm still on 3-3. Where is the Adventurer's Guild? What's this? Uh, but the Adventurer's Guild... Let's just take us to the closest one. Yes, my brain's really not working now. Ah, oh, here it is. I need to do daily commission, thanks. And you get those. Add Astra Abyssosk. We meet again, you two. Hi, Catherine. Do you have any commissions for us today? Commissions, huh? Hmm. Let me think. Oh, how about this? Please attend the Academia's Academic Symposium this afternoon and recite a love poem on... Uh, wait, say what now? And if possible, please also use your camera to capture the reaction of the audience upon finishing the poem. What? Huh? What kind of commission is that? I see. It appears that you're not interested in this commission. Yes. In that case, please go to Port Armos and convince the Aramites there to spend some time volunteering at the local orphanage. Nope. Hey, that's not any better. Mm -hmm. They don't go together. I'm sure the mercenaries will have some interesting reactions as well. Uh, Paimon's gotta ask. Just who exactly has been submitting these commissions to the Adventurer's Guild? <laughs> oh, the commissioner? Mm, well, actually, I just wanted to see the two of you in action. <laughs> Was it so obvious? I was hoping you would actually take one of those commissions. That kind of chance to observe humans doesn't come by often. Hey. <laughs> So it's Nahida. Hyman just knew Catherine wouldn't crack those kinds of jokes. When did you get into her head? I never left. Mm, from when she said, add Astra Adasosk. So it's been you this whole time? <sighs> Are you done resting up, Nahida? Yes. I've been sleeping ever since we parted ways. And I even had a really, really long dream. I can't take it away dreams of gods. Dream about the Subzerus festival, except it was a happy one. In my dream, I was sitting in the middle of a flower terrace, and everyone in Sumeru City was holding hands as they danced in circles around me. 
You know, Nahida's that's probably the kindest here. Archon. Everyone looked really happy. I also got to sit on a gigantic flower carriage. Bears, the night of flowers, raised me really, really high above the ground. And I was throwing an endless amount of Yalda candies at the children. You know, Nahida, maybe your dream is how the Subzeru's festival really should be. It's meant to be a joyous time where everyone gets together to celebrate your birth. Yeah, but in reality. Wasn't I describing a really happy dream? Why are you both looking at me like that? Wait, could this be an example of the emotion known as pity? No, no, we are pitying you. That would only make everything worse. We just don't want you to feel too sad. By the way, have you had a chance to visit Dunyarzad? How's she doing? The Homiyanis haven't allowed any visitors after the festival, so we haven't been able to check on her. Yes, I paid her a visit right after I woke up. She was resting at the time. Her condition it just got dark. <laughs> However, the time of day has nothing to do with it, though. The manifestation of the withering on the human body. We can only cure it by finding a way to take care of Ermin Salt's own withering. But for the moment, our top focus should still be figuring out what the sages are up to and what they're planning. Right. Who knows what will happen if they manage to pull off another scheme like the Samsara of the Subzeru's Festival. So our first priority should be investigating and putting a stop to the Sage's activities. As for how we should pull that off, let's discuss it somewhere else. <laughs> oh, good point. Uh, sorry adventurers, we're gonna be borrowing Catherine for a little while. I want to get the, uh, I want to claim the daily reward things. Let's continue our chat here. Okay, so do you have any ideas on how we can investigate the sages, Nahida? Actually, I've already done a little bit of work on that. But for now, I want to hear your thoughts. Possess the key. I've already tried that, but all the key members of the academia, even the core of 30 guards, intentionally avoid wearing their Akasha terminals. It seems that from the very beginning, they've been guarding against info leaks from the Akasha. Of course, it could also be because <laughs> they're weary of me. Have you already caught What's the funny? attention? I'm guessing not yet. But this trusting me would make perfect sense if they've ever paid I'm trying to go to, to Catherine and, uh... In any case... Claim the daily commission award things. Child boys in an adult body. No way, that's too risky. <laughs> you mean, it'd be too easy to get caught? No, it's not that. We shouldn't involve innocent students in this. A single mistake could completely ruin their lives. Doing that would be ignoring the safety of my people for my own selfish goals. How is that any different from what the sages are doing? That's a good point. Spoken like the god of the Catherine, I am now man functioning. Should I have some close to the sages? It's dark as of now. Since we still don't know anything about their goals, any rash move could tip them off and lead to terrible consequences. After all, every person in Sumeru City is one of their hostages. Hmm. Are we really out of ideas? Nahida, you're super smart, so you already have something in mind, right? Don't keep us in suspense. Spill the beans already! According to a popular theory from the Bahumana Darshan of the Academia, rejecting impractical motions at the beginning of a planning session will give more weight to the actual proposal. Okay, okay, but aren't you the god of wisdom? You don't have to use that kind of gimmick to make us think I'm gonna have to get off after this. Well, I've been thinking that if I can't I didn't think hit so soon. the leaders, and if I can't get ordinary people involved, then I should find someone who's already involved. I'm starting to get the effect of being on my computer too long. You're saying we should recruit a spy? Hmm. 
That does sound like it could work. Oh, as soon as I can talk to Catherine, someone named I'll hate them. He seems like he I'm gonna go once I can talk to Catherine, like actual Catherine, not Nahida. Actually, I already have someone in the I don't know how long that's going to be, but yeah. I can go a little bit longer. I can probably go another hour if I really want to push it. Maybe. Still remembers the smug and mean way she always I could always teleport me. away. Mm -hmm. I've always liked observing all kinds of people. And so You're gone in 40 minutes. Oh, I should be off path. within then. She was born in the desert and was hailed as their greatest genius. Her academic gifts allowed her special admission into the academia. And uh, you know, I like how he moved just a little bit as further. She was from the desert. She must be pretty special then. Paimon feels like most of the desert dwellers around the city are working as mercenaries. The name Sitaria means star. When she lived in the desert, she shone like the brightest star in the night sky. Hold on, I don't care about watches. I just wanna. She was chosen by the sun. Star is given ah, a place fuck. in the daytime <laughs> sky to complement the sun's dazzling light. Ah, so this Soon after, six chapters. The star witnessed the sun scorching the earth, which brought forth many disasters. Seven? The star began to waver. Instead of staying beside such a sun, wouldn't it be better to return and light a part of the night sky? But in the end, she couldn't give up the radiance of daytime. Act two. Wait, there's six parts? To cope with her shame, the star no, one act three. her guilt and oh. closed her eyes. There's a bit to it, but not long. From the sound of it, Sataria's just hung up on the research opportunities here. But she doesn't really support the academia. She still feels guilty about not doing more for the desert, right? She's just running away from her problems. Indeed. When they are presented with complex moral issues, Many people will simply plug their ears and go with the flow until the problem can't be fixed anymore. She's suppressing a lot of guilt, but before she realized it, she had already become the sage's accomplice. She can't deny her part in their schemes anymore. Right. We must somehow make her face her problems again. That way, not only can we get useful intel from her, but she can also use it as an opportunity to redeem herself. From my past observations, Sitaria will take a day off from the academia every 10 days to do some shopping in the city. Tomorrow afternoon just happens to be a shopping day for her. That'll be our chance. To prepare, let's go can check you out stop? some of her favorite okay, shops good. and have a quick chat with a few of the vendors there. Okay, I'm gonna, you know, we'll go to, uh, I'm too far zoomed in, that's what messed with me. Hey, look, is and the player thing there, or is the quest thing there? <laughs> the Catherine should be here, though. Wait, where am I going? Fuck. Brain. Work. This is what happens when I get really tired. Oh no, it's further this way. Ad Astra Abyss. Thank you for completing today's. Okay. No, I'm an int. I just don't know who to uh, raid, so I have to go find someone. Well, I mean, I don't have to raid someone, but I like raiding someone.
Let's see. Hit the raid. But yeah, you know I can do this, right? And you can see sort of what I'm looking at. Anyway, let's see someone, let's find someone to read. Um... But yeah, see, uh, I mean, I haven't found someone to raid yet, but and thank you for staying so long, or coming back and all that, yeah. Ah, I don't see anyone right now. I just go with, uh, what do I feel like reading this particular person? You know what I mean? Now, now for just a dollar ninety. Oh yeah, I don't have ad block thing on here. Hey, I'll put that on a them on a potential. This is the worst part about my stream. I never have anyone to pre queued up the raid, you know what I mean? Yeah, I do this every stream, at the end of every stream, so I mean. Wait. Okay. I know who I'm raiding then, if they're live on Twitch. I know who I'm reading. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. This is why I should turn on music, but. Oh, it's catching up. I'll see you later, everyone.